Hello, my country people. Let us jump Papa Tini Boo to rock this little dance when they dance. I be me na come na me we come dance with Oga Tini Boo. <laughs> Hello, my country people. Let us jump Papa Tini Boo to rock this little dance when they dance. I be me na come na me we come dance with Oga Tini Boo. <laughs> And there it is right there. Uh on the Ole Ogba, Baole She She O Te Ni Wo O Wo O Mon Koko. And there it is right there. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen. One man went to more. There it was right there. Here I am, right here. Hope you are there with me. Uh, the session starts. Your company required the usual protocol. As you are just coming in, start clicking on the like button because we have been uh, doing reasonably well with that. So let's continue in that tradition. The target for today in terms of our subscribers is an ambition, uh, is an ambitious one. We're looking to hit 50 subscribers in the course of this session. So set us on the way to that uh, achievement. So 50 people to subscribe. That's the target for this session. Uh, so the session commences. Uh, I'm here. Hope you're there. Uh, one man went to Mo. The eagle has landed. I know that says Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafran war mm -hmm. In the thickness of the Biafra genocide Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight And they were singing out Holy, 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 holy Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, this is Mobier. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPM families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra one war mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one my rivers the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 holy. So that is right there, the holy, holy song uh, from the eastern parts of Nigeria. So that's the holy, holy song uh, from the uh, from the tribe in the east uh, of Nigeria, known as the Igbo people. So that's the holy, holy song from the uh, Igbo people. So holy, holy, as guys, I bring you this. 137 borders in Nigeria are unguarded. And who is saying this? It is certainly somebody that should know. It is the chief of defense staff, Lucky Irabo, that is bringing this alarming news to the attention of Nigerians. 137 borders in Nigeria are unguarded, a headline attributed to the chief of defense staff, Lucky Irabo. So there it is right there. And you wonder, they say they are fighting insecurity, but uh, anyway, uh, so, so there it is. Uh, uh, need I say more? Uh, why I met Atiku Obasanjo Tinobu. Uh, so this is Wiki opening up now, still luxuriating in all the attention that he is getting. Uh, hopefully he adds something meaningful to this, but we doubt that very much. He just an attention junkie. Why I met with uh, Atiku Obasanjo Tinobu, a headline attributed to the diminutive uh, governor of um, of a river state, the Emson Wiki. Uh, he wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. Renu Omokri reacts as Shetema discloses reason for footwear to Nigerian Bar Association. So there's a viral video which is posted on this platform where uh, Shetema came out to say he was essentially uh, as a banker having that uh, just a uh, professional joust with the lawyers. And he said, uh, to quote, quote him verbatim, that he deliberately wore the sneakers to smirk at the uh, at the lawyers. So uh, here is Reno Omokri's interpretation. Uh, he wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. Reno Omokri reacts as Shetema discloses reason for footwear to Nigerian Bar Association conference. So there it is right there. He has pivoted somewhat uh, uh, in his position. Because it was in the last uh, tweet that he put out, Reno Mokri, of course, he was telling us that it was a, uh, a technique known to the military of diversion to, to deviate, to pivot the narrative from Tinobu to uh, uh, this, the sartorial or lack of elegance of uh, Shetima. But now he's now pivoted again to say that he was actually uh, mocking the obedience. So there, there is Reno Mokri, of course, a uh, flip flop opinion every single minute. British Airways stops travel agents from paying in Naira, considers flight suspension. So it is that space again where our monies belonging to the, to the airlines have been seized somewhat by the Nigerian state. So they still have running an operational cost, of course, but their monies is being held hostage uh, by the Nigerian state. So they have to have some form of a reaction, and this is how they are reacting. British Airways stops travel agents from paying in Naira, 
considers flight suspension. So there it is right there. Uh, it, it, it gets worse. But is there rescue uh, in the in the in the ethos? Is that uh, rescue in the horizon? Uh, Nigeria's G. Oh no, that was in the headline I was bringing you next. So this is the headline I was bringing you next. Uh, breaking: CBN releases two hundred and sixty-five million dollars to airlines to settle outstanding ticket sales. So there it is, right there. But uh, this is an ongoing concern, of course, the business of the airlines. So it is just not, it's not this, uh, it's not just this one, one of beliefs. It has to be a, a cyclical automated sort of system so that when their money is, is, they want to retrieve their money, there should be an automation that facilitates for that. It is not so that they will have to go through the international space threatening and then you release a tranche only to hold on to another tranche again. Central Bank releases $265 million to airlines to settle outstanding ticket sales. So, so there, is the, that's, there is that one right there. But then, of course, can they afford it is the, is the problem. Uh, no, no, and, and the question, so can they avoid it is both the problem and the question. Nigeria's GDP drops to 47 trillion naira in Q2 2022. NBS, so National Bureau of Statistics, that's, that's the agency that gives us all the facts and figures. So that's a record low, of course, as uh, the Buhari administration continues to hemorrhage the, uh, the economy at an al alarming rate. Nigeria's GDP drops to 47 trillion in Q2 2022, headline attributed to the NBS, which is the acronym for the Nigerian Bar Association. Police break silence on alleged arrest of foreign armed dealers with helicopter in, in Niger. So, so there it is right there. And this is a narrative that has been a recording decimal all the way through. Uh, throughout the Inan de Kano's uh, phase, we, we heard endless stories about uh, how helicopters uh, were dropping weapons to bandits in deep forest in the southeast. So this tallies with that uh, what were what what we uh, once upon a time thought, thought was a fable and probably still do think that it's a fable from the because all all, all they do in the inamdi kind of space is to make up fantastical stories but this somewhat uh, adds uh, some pause for thought that uh, to that fable telling uh police break silence on alleged arrest of foreign armed dealers with helicopter in niger so there it is right there. So yea or nay, are they going to confirm or deny? So there it is, a rich and diverse menu. So lean back, kick back, take it easy, relax into it. The usual protocol, click on the like button as you're coming in. Click on subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, uh, click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard uh, if you want to come join me on the screen. So that's the hy hyperlink. That's, that's the message showing on the screen right there. And it's in the comment section as well. So if you want to come and join me on the screens, click on that hyperlink that says StreamYard. That brings you into a studio space. Soon as I finish reading out the talking points, I'll let you onto the screen and engage you in a conversation. It's an open microphone session and the open microphone, the hyperlink that says StreamYard. So that's the task. And just to tell you what the task is for today, we're looking to hit at a minimum of 50 new subscribers in the course of this session. So that has already started. Just a few have already headed to that call. So take us in that direction, 50 new subscribers in the course of this session. And I should be giving you a count as the subscribers are coming in. So click on like, click on subscribe, click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard at your discretion if you want to come join me on the screen. And as you set about those tasks, let me uh, provide you with a little bit of a musical backdrop. Uh, have your calabash to the ready. We join the care guys. <laughs> you 
And there it is right there. The kegites uh, may death have nothing to do with us, is what that means. Uh, so, <clears throat> pardon me. So, as guys, I bring you this. Uh, 137 borders in Nigeria are unguarded. The chief of defense staff, Loki Irabo. <clears throat> Loki Irabo, the chief of defense staff, has said that 137 out of the 261 borders in the northeast and northwest regions of the country are unguarded. Delivering a lecture on security, defense, and development in Nigeria at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs in Lagos on Thursday, August the 25th, Irabon noted that porous nature of the borders has made it easily accessible for terrorists and bandits to enter the country to commit mayhem. He said, our borders are largely unmanned. The penetrability of our vast unmanned land areas, the northeast and northwest zones, particularly Borno, Yobe, Sokoto, Zanfara, Kassina states, with neighboring countries such as Niger Republic and Chad, amongst others, has continued to be a key source of criminality and violent crimes in those parts of the country. The porous nature of the borders has made it easily accessible for terrorists and bandits to enter the country to commit mayhem. For instance, there are about 364 approved international border points in Nigeria, with 261 in the northeast and northwest regions. Out of the 261, only 124 are manned, leaving the remaining 137 unmanned by security agencies. Intelligence suggests that the violent uh, intelligence suggests that the violence actors are using some of these normal border points to move freely from countries into Nigeria to cause mayhem. Irabo, who advocated for the use of technology as a tool in strengthening, uh, Irabo, who advocated for the use of technology as a tool in strengthening the Nigerian borders, erection of physical structures, and an effective management added that there is a need to have a broad-based integrated border management system to be established, he said. So I am looking ahead. When we bring te technology to bear in the management of our borders, in addition, of course, to physical structures that need to be established across the length and breadth of our borders, then we can contribute to the overall security of our land. We move to correct this, but the point remains that a good number of borders remain unmanned. So I wonder if this is it's quite alarming, of course, but not at all surprising. And it goes very much to the heart 
of all of the woes that are, are befalling the Nigerian state. <clears throat> so just for clarity, <clears throat> there are 200, there are 261 border crossings uh, in the northwest and northeast of the country. So those are the countries that border uh, places like Niger, Chad, etc. So there are 261 border crossings. Out of the 261, only 124 are manned, leaving well in excess of half of them, 137 unmanned. So this is the chief of defense staff alarming to that, and he's telling us that technology will be a tool and manning the borders with physical uh, structures and manned structures will be uh, also a direction to follow. So I wonder if this is a new phenomenon, uh, because of course, uh, the, the budget for, uh, for security is half the Nigerian budget, so they're not under-resourced, and they've never been under-resourced sadly throughout the entirety of the life of this administration. So where, where is the technology that, that you are going to use? Uh, so, so I, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Uh, you are saying you are fighting insecurity, insurgents are streaming into the country, and you can brazenly come on a rostrum and tell us, you being the chief of defense staff, that over half, over 60% of the borders in where the bulk of the insurgency and uh, terrorism and banditry are coming from, over 60% of the border posts in, uh, in those regions are unmanned. And you tell us you're fighting insecurity, but there it is right there. There it is right there. But they can't man the border, can they? Will Buari allow it? Certainly not. Uh, why I met Atiku Obasanjo Tinobu, uh, this is James Wiki still flapping his feathers and peacocking all over the place. <clears throat> River State Governor James Wiki on Friday said his team was more interested in a better Nigeria and they are consulting widely with those who mean well for the country. Wike spoke when he interacted with journalists at Potakot International Airport in a query local government area shortly on arrival from London on Friday. In the company of the River State Governor were the governors of our Benue State, Samuel Otom, and Abia State Dr. Okazia Akwazu. Wike who confirmed their meeting with the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar or Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bolatin Obu, Labour presidential candidate Peter Obi and former president of Nigeria Olusegun Obasanjo in London explained that topmost on the agenda is how to make Nigeria better than what it currently is. The River State Governor noted that all is not well with Nigeria and they are seeking remedies that will restore enduring hope in Nigeria. He said, I can confirm that this is the first time as a team that we are meeting with presidential candidates. We met with the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, and we met with our leader, former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo. We met with the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, we also met with our presidential candidate, Atuku Abubakar, for whatever it is worth, consulting, consultation is ongoing. Uh, whatever we are talking about is for the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. It is not parochial and tied to one man or group of persons. We believe that with what is going on, it will be for the interest of Nigerians at the end of the day. We can decry the situation where standard training and competence have always been traded for mediocrity. And look at the person talking, by the way. Who more mediocre than them than we can? He said leadership should not be about one individual and the, the interest of his family, but about the collective in, in interest of everybody. Consultation is still ongoing. Never mind some people who do not believe in the existence of this country. Leadership is not about you and your family. Leadership is about everybody. It is unfortunate that we are in a country. Uh, it is unfortunate that we are in a country now where a man finishes eight years as a governor and brings his own son as governor too. 
and as a member of the National Assembly. It is only in this part of the world that you can see that when we are talking about poverty, uh, it is only in this part of the world that you can see that when we are talking about poverty everywhere, these are people who do not mean well for Nigeria, he stated. Wiki also wondered why religion and ethnicity are used as the tenable identity to describe Nigerians when competence is required. Continuing, uh, Wiki said, the only identity they have in this country is religion and ethnicity, nothing more. It is either I am Christian or I'm Muslim, I am Fulani or I'm Igbo. Nigeria cannot move forward except they think it will be them. That is where we are. We are in a country where someone with a primary school certificate can be appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs. That tells you how bad this country has become. But with our consultation, all these things will be of the past. No amount of intimidation or blackmail will deter us. We are determined to right the wrong. In response, the leader of the team and Benue State Governor Samuel Otom noted that they have met with renowned persons in the last few days because of their belief that Nigeria is in distress and required concerted efforts to rescue it. He stated that they had fruitful talks with those they had met and it was beyond partisan politics because all well-meaning Nigerians need to work together in ensuring that Nigeria survives. For us, we are looking at the larger picture. Nigeria today is in distress. It is about what we can do. No man or woman alone can get it right for our country. We are looking at how we can harness ideas and put ourselves together to ensure that we get out of the present challenge we are in in Nigeria today. Uh, from top to bottom, consider what happened from 2015 and where we are today. So what are we doing? Uh, so what we are doing is a concern that we have for our country, Nigeria. This is beyond partisan politics. We are looking on how we can come together and find a way of ensuring that Nigeria survives. Nigeria is on drips. Uh, Nigeria is on oxygen. And it is about how we can get out of this, Otom said. He stated that the three separate meetings they had within the week uh, were worthwhile, were worthwhile sessions for them. The consultation is ongoing and will continue to go on. We are still going to meet here. We are still going to meet some persons some other times and see how we can work to ensure that the project Nigeria works. On his part, Abia State Governor Dr. Okezia Akpazu emphasized that they are on a mission and are determined to find a way of rescuing Nigeria. He noted that they are mindful of what society to bequeath to the present generation, their children and grandchildren alike, he said. Uh, and this is a country with great potential and we have to protect uh, it well. We think that we need to engage across the board. We are also looking at speaking with civic society organizations and those whose ideas are with, uh, uh, we are also looking to speak with civic organizations and those who have ideas with Nigerians in diaspora. All the resources available in this country have come together at this time to see how best we can move Nigeria forward. So I'm not quite sure. That sounds like a presidential mission statement. Uh, I think the memo has still not got into Wiki that he has not actually gotten a ticket, but he has put together a very strong posse, and that's just the thing. He has put together a very strong posse, and that uh, that posse can well be the determinant in the in the upcoming. So that's that's the potency of it. So it is not in anybody's interest to go and kowtow. Imagine. He's moved the whole of Nigeria to London to come and bow at his feet. It's only because of the accoutrements he has. So the Benue state phase, the uh, Oyo state phase, Abia state plus his own home state, that is a, that, that, that is a determining uh, 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 voting group right there. That, 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 is a, that is a determining clue, uh, clique right there. So that clique can make or mark the, the, the election uh, come 2023. So that is why they are all going to 
uh, cowed out to Jameson Wiki, and that is why he's printing and peacocking in the news. So printing and peacocking, but nobody prints and peacock more than Renaud Mokri, of course. He wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. So this is uh, Renaud Omokri now trying to rebrand. Uh, 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 let me actually see. Okay, let me play you this video clip first. Uh, I'll play you a tiny little clip. This is uh, Kashim Shetima speaking to the reasons why he wore those now infamous sneakers to the, uh, to the uh, lawyer's uh, uh, annual conference. One of the presidential candidates he pondered his agents, they held meetings for three consecutive nights to commend this chief. Mm -hmm. When I was told that it's a hostile crowd, I'm a banker. I was trained by one of the best bankers mm -hmm. in the world. I'm a Jim Obia boy. I deliberately wore sneakers to swamp at them. <laughs> So there it is right there. You heard it in the man's own words. He deliberately wore, wore the sneakers to smirk at them. And by the way, uh, uh, forget his accent. Kashim Shetima is by far the most articulate Nigerian politician that I know, at least a, a, a politician in contention. Very, very, very at ease with language and, and very elegant in his use as well. Uh, how many Nigerian... Uh, how many Nigerian uh, politicians even know the word smirk, never mind uh, being able to use it in context, beyond and above all of them in articulation, supreme brain, of course, highly educated, probably the most educated man in the political field at that presidential space. So the people try to be derisory at this, uh, uh, at this uh, guy, just trying to dismiss him as just some malam. That's just really, that they call that inverted snobbery. That is inverted snobbery. When a, like, when a nurse is looking down uh, at, a, at a surgeon, that is inverted snobbery. So that's inverted snobbery right there. But let's invert this. Uh, <clears throat> so you heard why he said he wore it, but now let's hear what our Renaud Macri's uh, interpretation of it is. Uh, he wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. Reno Omakri reacts as Shetema discloses reason for footwear to NBA conference. Former presidential aide Reno Omakri has reacted to a video of the All Progressives Congress vice presidential candidate Kashim Shetema stating that he deliberately wore gym shoes to the Nigerian Bar Association NBA annual conference. Recall that correspondence earlier, let me remove this thing. Pardon me. Recall that correspondents earlier reported that the former governor of Borno State had revealed on Thursday that he had received word that there was a gang up against him, so he decided to throw them off with his outfit. He noted that the outfit was deliberately worn to throw people off during the event. I was in Lagos for the NBA conference. It used to hold at a co-hotel and was largely funded by the APC government of Lagos State, he continued. Subsequently, they moved it to Eco Atlantic, a product of an idea sanctioned by Aswaju Bola Tinobu, one of the candidates. He funded his agents, and they held meetings for three consecutive nights. Uh, I think that might well be a mistype, because, of course, it, could, it would not be talking about Bola Tinobu. It probably meant our uh, article. Uh, one of the agents, he funded, uh, uh, so he continued. Subsequently, they moved this to Eco Atlantic, a product of an idea sanctioned by Ashwa Dibola Tenobu, one of the candidates. He funded his agents and they held meetings with three uh, for three consecutive nights to cause mischief. When I was told that it was a hostile crowd, I deliberately wore sneakers. Reacting to the latest revelation, Reno took to his Insta Instagram page, uh, shared a video of the former governor speaking on the incident and went on to make a quote which alleged that the crowd the governor, the former governor was referring to is the obedient movement, he wrote. I deliberately wore sneakers to the NBA conference to mock or obedient uh, Shetima. The obedient movement is a group uh, the obedient movement is a group of supporters 
who have pledged allegiance to the candidacy of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter B. So bear with me one moment. I just, I, 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 I probably have to, uh, bear with me one moment. I have to sneeze. So let me sneeze, but listen to Atenobu. Hello, my country people. Let us jump Papa Tinibu to rock this little dance when they dance. I be me na con, I me will con dance with Oga Tinibu. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, sorry about that. It's just unsightly sometimes when you when you just do that uh, on the screen. So so let's go on to the next uh, uh, talking point. Uh, British Airways uh, stop travel agents from paying in Naira. Consider flight suspension. <clears throat> British Airways is reportedly considering stopping flights to Nigeria from December the 1st, 2022, as they trapped $464 million foreign airline funds crisis lingers in the country. The airline has reportedly closed its inventory, meaning travel agents would not be able to issue fresh tickets to their clients, but individuals can buy tickets only online, only in dollars. It is speculated that the decision was taken to mitigate the effect of blocked funds as foreign airlines plan to take drastic actions, including suspension of flights to pressure the Nigerian government to release their funds. Emirates Airlines had already announced that it would suspend flights to Nigeria from September the 1st over the same issue as the UAE carrier uh, has over $85 million striped in Nigeria. Correspondents reported that the National Executive Council of the National Association of Nigerian Travel Agencies confirmed the development with regards to British Airways. Members of the association were told not to issue or pay for tickets beyond December following the new development and deadline issued to the Nigerian government by British Airways, the memo reads. The National Executive Council of NANTA just concluded a business meeting with British Airways and British Airways Convoys. Uh, the National Executive Council of NANTA just concluded a business meeting with British Airways and British Airways Convoys are sure that it remains committed to servicing the needs of travel agencies in Nigeria. As members, as members may be aware that British Airways closed inventory this morning, please be informed that this inventory closure is a necessary action taken by British Airways to mitigate increase of their trapped funds. However, British Airways provides reassurance that it is still flying in and out of Nigeria and is currently seeking earnest solutions to address the demands of its customers. The travel agents were also told that the tickets can only be issued online with payments made in dollars, the second memo. The above message is the new development with regards to British Airways. Tickets will be issued in USD henceforth and only online. They have also given the Nigerian government a deadline in December, by which time if payment is not made, they will stop all flights into and out of Nigeria. Please do not pay for or issue tickets beyond December. We will update you as soon as we receive any new development. So there it is right there. The news uh, continues to tighten around the Nigerian space. But they move quickly, of course, to try and rescue. Central Bank releases $264 million to airlines to settle outstanding ticket sales. In a move to check brewing crisis in the country's aviation sector, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, on Friday released the sum of $265 million to airlines operating in the country to settle outstanding ticket sales. A breakdown of the figure, a breakdown of the figure indicates that the sum of $230 million was released as a special FX intervention. We, uh, while another sum of $35 million was released through retail SI, SMIS auction, confirming the release, the director, Corporate Communications Department at the CBN, Mrs. Mr. Osita, was, uh, I won't attempt his last name, said the governor, uh, Godwin Emefele, and his team 
We're concerned about the development and what it portends for the sector and travelers, as well as the country in the Committee of, Le of Nations. Uh, Mr. Osite reiterated that the bank was not against any company repatriated its funds from the country, adding that what the bank stood for was an orderly exit for those that might be interested in doing so. With the release, it is expected that operators and travelers are, are, as well will heave a huge sigh of relief as some airlines had threatened to withdraw their services in the face of un unremitted funds for outstanding uh, sales of tickets. So it looks as though so a solution somewhat. But then, of course, the tickets continue to be sold. So are we going to have this fire uh, fire, fire auction, uh, fire brigade sort of uh, intervention the next time again? It should be an automated system, of course. They sell their tickets and they remit their money in an automated sort of a fashion. Uh, Nigeria's GDP drops to 47 trillion in Q2 2022, says Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. The Nigerian Bureau of Statistics says Nigeria's gross domestic product GDP dropped to 47 trillion in the second quarter of 2022, as against the 47, uh, let's take it again. <clears throat> The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, says Nigeria's gross domestic product GDP dropped to 47 trillion uh, naira in the second quarter of 2022 as against the 45.32 trillion recorded in the first quarter. On a year-on-year -year basis, however, the nominal GDP rose by 3.54%. This is contained in a statement issued by Statistician General uh, Siamu uh, Adenira on the Nigerian Gross Domestic Product Report Q2 2022 in Abuja on Friday. Mr. Adenira said the Q2 2022 GDP performance is higher when compared to the second quarter of 2021, which recorded at 39.12 trillion, indicating a year on year nominal growth of a uh, growth rate of 15.03%. Uh, he noted that the nominal GDP in the preceding quarter of Q1 2022 stood at 40, 45.32 trillion. Mr. Adenu Adenu said in terms of the real GDP, the second quarter of 2022 are uh, recorded at 17.29 trillion. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't know, but uh, Essentially, it's all it's all embedded in the figures. Uh, it's dropped and then it's falling and then it's dropped and then it's falling. So it's really accountant double booking, you know, the accountant double booking. So they want to lose you in the figures, but we all know the state of the economy. Uh, police. So this is now the final readout, and then we see who's available to take it on. Uh, police break silence on alleged arrest of foreign arms uh, foreign arms dealers with helicopter in uh, Niger. The Niger Police Command said it had not arrested any foreign national distributing weapons with a helicopter to bandits in the state. A commissioner of police, Monde Kaya, told news agency of Nigeria in Mina on Friday that such an incident never occurred in any part of the state. Mr. Kuyas described the report as fake news circulating on social media as such incident never happened in the state. So we have to blame this. Uh, if it is fake news as this guy is asserting, then we have to go very quickly. <clears throat> if it's fake news as this guy is asserting, then we have to go very quickly to the Bihafra uh, IPOB slash obedience space. And, and, and put the attribution and the blame to that space. Only because they are notorious for doing this, they were the ones that told us uh, Tinobu was taking 50 billion uh, naira per month, uh, which is even higher than the, the, the returns of the state from Lagos State. They were the ones that told us that the Ghanaian president told uh, Tinobu to step down for, for, for Peter Obi, 
to force the Ghanaian president to come out and debunk that. So, so, so we, they are notorious for that uh, sort of news. So they are the ones that you, you can tell the accent. You can tell from the accent of the news where it's coming from. And this very much has a, a southeastern accent. Now, the police, uh, let, let's stay up from top again. The police command, the Niger police command said it had not arrested any foreign national distributing weapons with helicopters to bandits in the state. Commissioner of Police, Monde Kuya, told News Agency of Nigeria in Mina on Friday that such an incident never occurred in any part of the state. Mr. Kuya, described the report as fake news circulating on social media as such incident never happened in the state. We have not arrested any foreign national with helicopter distributing weapons to bandits in our area of supervision. He called on members of the general public to disregard such report and support the police with required information that will aid in apprehending men of the underworld in the state. All we require from good Samaritans is vital information on the movement of bad characters in their midst, especially those in rural areas, to tackle the menace of kidnapping banditry and castle rustling, he urged. The commissioner said that the police will remain resolute and focused in, on exterminating enemies of our collective security. Mr. Kuyas urged law-abiding citizens to be vigilant and promptly report all suspicious characters to security agencies nearest to them. He assured residents of the state of confidentiality of all sources of information. So there it is right there. And I'm very quick, you would say, to leave to give the attribution or slash the blame to the uh, to the southeastern space. I'm only quick to do that because severally and endlessly we heard this narrative from the southeast that they were dropping uh, uh, helicopters, uh, dropping weapons in Afalofu uh, uh, forest, in Igbaludu forest, and all these funky named forests that they have in the southeast. So this very much in tandem with all of the storylines that they've been presenting all the way through the Namde. So that fantabulous uh, fable telling that we had through the Namde Kanu phase. This had all of the colorations of that. So if the commissioner of police of that state has come out to the bunkage, then you quick, of course, make the attribution to the Ipobians. So there it is. They, they will never change. Uh, but so there it is. Uh, they will uh, never change. Uh, and here they are. They have not changed. Uh, Joel of Nashville, uh, I, I see you. <clears throat> the mighty of you, I see you. The man with the data collata, I see you, and the elegant uh, San Diego, I see you. So, so go have your gentleman. Go hold on, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah? Well, before, you, before you go, already so, no, 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 no. I mean, are you already we, fighting we have, even we, before we, we start? We have to eh? start. We have to start on a on a fiesta note, right? right? So now you tell you. So the, a, a news event from Niger State, then it has to do with Igbos. Like for real, it, it does not have the accent of the Ipobians. Do you remember all those, do you remember all those times that we, they were telling us during the night that oh, they saw a helicopter in the Gulugulu forest dropping something, and then they saw another something in the Gulugulu forest? Is this not the same? It's, it's them now, you know it, you know, you know them now, you know what they're like. Eh? The, well, the, no, no, no. This, this shit is cracking me up because the, this news you were talking about, like people yeah. dropping. Um, Ammunitions from a helicopter yeah. was not was not uh, uh, a South story. It was from the state. I, I was saying really say let's leave uh, in the when I was in that land, you know, because you know, I used to really digest a lot of Nandekano stuff. And there wasn't a week that it didn't tell us that the gallant men of our uh, ESN they intercepted uh, some uh, uh, something, and then they, they we will even give you video clips from maybe Niger Report Block Chad. You know, you know, you know what they are like now. You know what they are like. <laughs> you know the accent. The, 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 the story has an Ipobian accent. You know that. I know that. We all know that. Oh, uh, man, please. Uh, oh, oh, please. Oh, oh, all right. So since you started it off, let's kick it off with you. So the uh, the mighty uh, duel of Nashville. 
So, you Thank know, Marshall, you. Uh, always a delight in your company. We've not been with you for uh, quite a few days now. Yeah, about... it's been a it's been a busy day. My uh, my mom had a hip replacement. My aunt all of a sudden was complaining about pain to her right upper quadrant, and it happened to be it was a, a gallbladder stone, and she had it removed. So it's been it's been a hectic week. But I mean, all right. I, 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 hope, I, I, hope I, I, I hope they are both on the mend. I hope they are both on the mend now. Yeah, they are both stable now, and they're doing quite well. Thank you. All right. Well done. You have been a good son. So good son, dwell of Nashville. You see, he does have a good side after all. It's just that he doesn't present it on this platform. Hopefully, he presents it today. Uh, 137 borders in Nigeria unguarded. And you can take that as fact, the chief of defense staff coming. So, so what is the fight against insecurity? It's just a simple question. 100 and... <laughs> I mean, you uh, the head. Good morning, afternoon, evening, everywhere you are. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, um, one man, it, it, it has been an issue uh, we, we've always done. The issue of border, it has, I think, I think the, 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 our inability to guard our borders is deliberate. And I tell you why. Um, when we hear some of the rhetorics that comes out from some of the northern elites, especially the likes of Buhari, I told you about, I think it's the Magudu guy or something that was speaking about how the Fulani relates. They do not want, because most of those brothers, you found those brothers in the north. Yes, we might have a few of them in the south, but where we have those problems, is coming from the north. So that is why I keep telling you about our data. You see, we can fight it in two ways. When we know how many we are, and people come in and they see, oh, man, you cannot penetrate the system. They either work like menial jobs or they go back to where they're coming from. Or if, we, if they get caught, they get, um, they, uh, they get deported. That's another way we can fight it. Another way we can fight it is by doing the, doing the Trump's way. Building some wall where we can and humanly man some places. And no, it could, you know, uh, still uh, fall to human error and human corruption. But at least let it be guarded. We have a system where we can interchange those security operators over there. And making sure we guard our borders. What happens is that the insecurity in the north cannot be far-fetched. One of the reasons why they are having successes is because of our porous border. So, any country but, um, uh, uh, so, so the fight against in insecurity and insurgency is a lie. That that's that's what we have to conclude. Uh, but, because uh, if the bulk of them are coming from the south, south the, from the northeast, northwest. Because they said he said there are uh, there are two hundred and sixty one borders between uh, uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the in the in the in the northern space, and uh, out of that, a hundred and thirty seven they are unmanned. So yeah. these people they just uh, completely unmanned, of course. So there is no demarcation mm -hmm. between what constitutes Nigeria or what constitutes another of country. Course. So they're just moving freely. And then you're saying you're fighting insecurity when you know full well that that is where they're coming from. So exactly. that's to tell you that there's no fight against our uh, insurgency or anything. Because some of them, some of them do come into Nigeria, commit this heinous crime, and go back to where they're coming from. And you cannot chase them beyond your border. Do you understand where I'm coming from? You can't no, chase them it's, beyond it's, it's, it's quite frightening. Yeah, you, you can't chase them beyond your border. So if they come inside, they do whatever thing they want to do, and they're out. So, so in some places in the north, I heard it's like, if you want to, I, you just walk in Nigeria, you walk out, maybe uh, Niger or Chad or all these places. We need to guard our border. If there is need for us to build those walls, we build those walls. Let us know how many people that are coming in. But that is... The, we still go. We still go back to the corruption of those that have been in power, especially from the northern extraction. Remember when we were talking about census? 
How do you think they amount those those uh, those numbers? It's still open borders. So why some of us were even mad at the train track building to Niger? Because what that guarantees is like you can transport people, you know, in, in, in badges and nobody is there to even guard them or even check on them. Like, or even, I mean, our uh, oil, you can drill it and you take it over there. Nobody is there to check you. Come on, they talk less of human beings that want to come in based on religious belief. So we have to make sure that we guard those borders. Especially, we do it in two ways. It's either we build walls in certain areas and man those other areas with human or with some technology like drones and all that. In you, 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 you know, you know in, in, in sort of the manner of um, that they used to have, that the Americans used to have no fly zones in, in parts of the Middle East. Maybe we should have um, no movement zone in, in maybe two, three miles to that border. So there is no cause uh, in, in, in all of those spaces that border this, these countries, especially where we're getting trouble from. So there is no reason why any human being should be there and anybody that are caught, that's, they, just, they just shoot them. Yeah, and the thing that is this, right? Apart from that, you have to make sure that you have a mix of Nigerians working at those borders. Not Abubakar, so, Abubakar and Anladi. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because for these guys, even though they're in your army, they, it, is, it is their religion first. It is their Orapo first. So they don't care if the person comes in. You can see the way they act in, at, 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 at the wharf. Go to the wharf and you see how these people act. They act, it's like there is no, there is no protocol. It is my person, it's my person. You can do anything. The arrogance. So that's some arrogance will be portrayed at the borders. That I am will be put at the border. So it is something that has to be, we have it, we have to have a dynamic approach towards solving the issue of because at the same time, if people come into your country and they can't get a job and they can be easily identified and deported, then you have made that coming into Nigeria, you know, you know, unattractive. But it, if it, they is there, it, so sorry, is there in Nigeria is the question. Is there a Nigeria? Because if there is no demarcation to 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 state that these are the parameters that constitute this country, then is there a country? Is there a country? A country without parameters? Is there a country? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I mean, like uh, like Wale, Wale would say, it's a, jo uh, uh, a geographical expression. Uh, is it Wale or Awo that said that? It was Awo that said that. <laughs> is that, is that yeah, you know. It's just a geographical that because you see, you see, what we have is we, we just have Nigerians. We do not have a nation. Do you understand? We do not have. We do not have. You see, you see. Look, I'm from Nigeria, right? And I came to the United States. Immediately, I came into the United States. There is this feeling that I was given that made me feel that I am part of the group. Right. So you come in, you say, you know what? Like, um, somebody help me. I call the police. The police comes and say, oh, no, 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 no. no. You know what? Um, this person was wrong, and I get the person arrested without charging me, without questioning me, without harassing me. I go to the school to, um, um, to apply, and I just get the admission without anybody questioning me. Do you have a job, or do you have this, or you have that? You understand what I'm saying? So it always happened that way. Like you make, they give you that feeling that you is are. That, part is that of your daughter people. wanting to come and say hello? Uh, no, it's, it's my son. He, he oh, just, right. I, he always likes to eat something. All right. I go, I ask him to go get something. You get so, so these are the thing, right? So in Nigeria, we do not have that system that wants to make you patriotic. You know, we only celebrate one of our own. I mean, you can see it when we win. Maybe like um, uh, 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 maybe like a junior World Cup, or we win a soccer a soccer game, or you know with some one of us maybe in the track and field and all that. You see how happy we are for each other. 
But how have we been able to translate that into building a nation? We have not been able to do that because of the kind of leadership that we have. If we have a leadership of entitlement and make people start seeing themselves as second class citizens, they can never be a part you, of you that know, you, you, you know, um, 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 uh, Joel, what really irks me is this um, Amiche, is that vodka? You, you have issues or smoking, drinking, no. or, or hopefully not no, humanizing because that, your that wife is, might be is. listening. No, that is just some that's water. My mouth is dry. water. Look at that. So who 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 pulls that face when they drink water? Look at this guy. Uh, but uh, what 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 irks me is the chief of defense staff telling mm -hmm. us that they have to deploy technology uh to tackle this thing. But uh, excuse me, you've been there for seven and a half years, and that is that's, that's not a new occurrence. Your budget has been the most generous. So, and the technology you need to deploy is easily, readily available, not at a great spend. So, how dare you be telling us that you need to deploy technology? Why has it not been deployed from day one? It's, it's just a nonsense. The Profos, the, this Profos, I think, in, I don't know if it's in Ogun, Ogun State or Oshun State, they build a uh, military malware, right? Hardware. You know, um, those guys I know, I think that at the time they were talking about building drones that they, what the, the technology they have can do in solving the security issues in Nigeria, especially I think the border areas using drones. These things are not rocket sciences, these things can be built in Nigeria. I mean, we can get more sophisticated ones from abroad, but I mean, to man those areas to make sure that, you know, we have surveillance. We're talking about surveillance camera here on the drone. That's not, that, should, that shouldn't be a big issue for, for many of us in Nigeria. But the thing there is that the willpower. So that's why I said Nigeria is the hardest country to govern, and Nigeria can also be the easiest country to govern. Because as it is in Nigeria, many people are already tired. And when you see the reason why we have the, 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 uh, the kind of followership, the kind of cult-like followership that people will be has right now, people will have right now, it, it just shows that people are tired of the system. The system keeps burning them down. Look at Abike Dabri the other day. He was talking about um, was talking about Nigerians. Uh, they, they were complaining about Nigerians leaving. That a, 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 I think four nurses leave the, for, uh, the workforce every day. And Abike Dabri was like, "Oh, that uh, it doesn't matter that as Nigerians are leaving, Nigerians are coming back too." So you know, people are like, "What?" Why are you lying? So you see someone in, in, in a position of power lying instead of saying, all right, trying to see, all right, even if they are traveling, how do we make sure we harness and even make them productive towards our growth in Nigeria? Because you cannot tell me that the, uh, the, the diaspora funds is at 18 billion and you cannot like make use of at least 7 billion from that money. I mean, you cannot have a, a, a system whereas you can ask these diasporans to get this money and you have to investment and you have a return for them, whether in terms of bond, in terms of shares, in terms of anything. But this, most of these monies that you see coming from the, from the diasporas, you know, goes into real current expenditure. So it is still a consumption uh, uh, atmosphere that we have in Nigeria. Even though we have this money being sent to Nigeria, mostly it's because, oh, they have to go to the hospital, they have to eat, Daka had an accident, uh, uh, somebody uh, No, 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 that's not, the bulk of, that's not the bulk of the remittance. No, no, the, no, no, no. The, the bulk think... of the remittance to Nigeria goes, to, it goes to, to the real estate sector. I know, I know, I know. But what I'm just saying is that we keep doing like we we which, we, which is we, a production we, by the way <laughs> an employment. Uh, 
Uh, uh, see, see, we, we can still go with the issue of buying properties, right? Now, you can buy properties to enrich yourself. But if you had a better option, many people would take that option. Many of us just buy land because you know that if you have a normal business in Nigeria and you're not there, then it's almost as gone. So you say, well, you know what? At least let me go and get the land. But if you are given a better option, from the government. I think we might invest. That's my point. And it does not matter. It's not like the money that we give for recovery expenditure is, is not much. It is also much. But if we can, if the government can harness the diaspora fund, how much are we sending between 18 and 24 billion? How much are we taking from, 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 from loans to build railway? How much are we borrowing? So these are the things we don't know. Have a leader in Nigeria that was. Uh, let let, 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 that let me guess. Are you are you going to campaign for Peter Obi with every question? Uh, um, I mean, to campaign for Peter Obi how? Uh, we are already, we, we do <laughs> we already yeah. doing it. We are already doing it. We are already oh, doing all right. it. All right. And, uh, and 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 you know, the other day I was laughing at your, you know, I listen to you guys every day because I know I could not talk because I was at the hospital. Yeah. But you know, so I just tune in, you know, to listen to the stuff you guys were saying, and I was like surprised. We were talking about the permutations two days ago. I was like, what are these what guys? Are these guys? Like, like, it's like, it's like, oh, 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 back. He said, well, now somebody was saying something. No, I, I think the feedback might be coming from you, suddenly. We'll oh, carry okay. On. Yeah. Okay, so I was listening to you guys. You guys were giving some permutations. Oh, that, uh, what is that? I think it's that Tinubu met BK. Oh, it is over. It is this. I was like, what are these guys on? Like, Tinubu is already reading. Uh, Tinubu is going to take, uh, BK is going to take Portaco, blah, blah. I was like, come on now. Look, this election... It's going to be a serious one. You can see the game being played. Joel, Joel, just simply no, say yes. No, no, every, no, no, opportunity, no, no, no. every opportunity you get, you have to campaign for your candidate. Why are you there here? No, 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 yes, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, look. Okay, 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 okay do something okay. about the okay. feedback that we're getting from you. I mean, it's not it's not mine. I no, no, it's from over here. It's from over here. Yeah, but carry on. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I think I it might back. be on two devices, as uh, Solly often says. But well, sorry, carry yeah. on. So, yeah. but, but the thing there is that woman, it is getting serious, right? Now, when we came met with uh, when we came met with uh, uh, Tinibu, uh, and I saw OBJ and I saw Atiku, I I knew what was going. I, what I think I have an idea what is going on. First and foremost, it has to be a southern candidate. That is the game that is being played. Secondly, in case of a rerun, where is the support going to go to? Okay, it, so you think that's where they're negotiating? Oh yes, the, it, yeah. It, it, I, I'm, total, I'm not, I'm not far is, from you there. It, yeah, is, carry on, it yeah. is, it is a total package. So, mm. but I think the idea, the idea of it all is, you know, it has to be a southern. Uh, president. Now, how we get to it, that depends on the negotiation that is going to go on. So, if um, someone like a Peter B has a has a, a a huge a huge number, uh, maybe the person that came first, maybe let uh, maybe one, maybe with you know few, uh, they have to come together, and his support is significant. It could be like a one time, one time you know, sharing formula, right? But um, the election is going to be interesting. And um, even WK, I was listening to WK, they just came back um, and they were asking them questions. People were like, oh, he said yes, that they are back and all that. I said, Who, where did WK say that? No, they are back. And they're still saying, they're still talking about, they're talking like in elaborate terms, in vague terms. No, we, we, right? read out, we, we read out what they said just now. It was a long okay. read, but you, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't get <laughs> so, anything out of it. There was no, so you can, no you substance. Can, you can get so, Joel, yeah. Joel, I yeah. think 
so far on this platform. This is the very yeah. first time you say something that I say, come on, man, you spot on. That what yeah. is happening in London is a, is a kind of a conspiracy to make sure a southern yeah. president is being presented yeah, and yeah. the case is going to yeah. say, this is the first time I say, that's yes, okay, no, that makes that's perfect sense. Yes, uh, yes, that's 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 you know, uh, who are you going to support? Uh, in case of a I'm glad world. you are. I'm glad you are a very you know, so a student. He's a, a, a very clever man. He's just he's he's he's, 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 he's blinded pass, by his prejudice. So Peter, he's, 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 he's no, letting no, pass no, from no, me. He's no, letting no, pass no. from me. Kudos. You don't need from from, from, from from you. He's not letting from you. I'm surprised. Mama, he knows in a conspiracy theory. I'm surprised. No, 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 because, because I'm of that thought too. There's a part of me that agrees with uh, what uh, Joel is saying. But uh, yeah, Joel, uh, flesh it out for us. Flesh it out. Yeah, so 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 that that, that that's is where I, I see it coming from, right? So um the article camp, the article camp um shot, like I said earlier on, I said between religion and tribe, what is more important if we had a um, a week, for instance, as um, as the PDP presidential candidate, uh, candidate uh, or uh, yeah, presidential candidate, um, Tinubu picked a Muslim Muslim ticket. That Muslim Muslim ticket, religion was going to be top on the on the ballot, but with Buhari doing sixteen, doing eight years, and I think you're trying to come back to do another. He says he's going to do four years, but you know how these politicians are. Atiku wants to do eight years, so that means. Well, Buhari told us he was coming to do four years. Four years, and, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, he, that, that's what I'm talking about, right? So mm -hmm. you have another Atiku coming to do another eight years under this same Fulani uh, agenda that we are all seeing, even with the water resources bill that is being is being deliberated on. No, no. It, that mistake by PDP now made tribe or re region top. It now dwarfed the Christian, uh, the Muslim Muslim issue that uh, Tinubu has. Now everybody is talking about why do you want to come in to do that six, uh, to do another eight years. So that is where we are coming from. I believe, I believe, and I'm I'm sure that um, um, OBJ was not in uh, London. Just for um, just for jamboree, it was deliberate. Uh, anybody that thinks that OBJ just traveled to uh, was going to somewhere and all of a sudden they just met. No, 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 no. I, 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 I think now, that was some of the things we were talking about yesterday, and I entertained oh, it, but uh, I wasn't fully mm -hmm. on board with it. No, no, no. They have they have flown him on a private jet down to London. It had to be there, right? Are, so, we, are we reading anything into the fact that he was present at the Peter B uh, meeting, or, or it was that just a coincidence? No, 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 no. It, nothing is coincidence. At this particular point in time, any person you see at any point in time is a deliberate move. Whether you see them at the IBB uh, 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 stuff that went on like over the weekend wherever you see any politician at this time it is deliberate you know it is calculative it is a strategy towards his or her goal so that is how it is right now so there is no miss there no miss movement the, at this particular point in time don't believe that any movement you see obj make and we all know who obj who obj is you know what happened when um uh, OBJ went to see, uh, uh, or when people went to see OBJ, and everybody was like, "Oh, Baba, Baba supported uh, uh, Tinubu and all that." I said, "Probably." I said, "These guys don't really know who Obasanjo is." I have studied Obasanjo like a book. A man that never forgives. Uh, oh no, 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 no! Like I was like, see, the worst. Obasanjo will get from this is like, okay, this is the South side. That's the only way, you know, interest, interest still, you know, prevails, you know. Um, but to just say that. But I'm going to is long in the political states enough to know that Peter B is unlikely to win the presidency. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no,
nobody is unlikely to win any position in Nigeria. If you have, look, let me tell you, if you have the right support, you win. If they want to give you that support to win, they will, make, they will help you win. No, it, no. I'm it, telling it, you, it, if they it, want it, to give it, you it, that support. It, look, look, let, let's, let's just go straight to the heart of it. It is an unspoken understanding uh, within the Nigerian space that the power, the power space it's going to gravitate between the northerners and the southwesterners. I think I think we all know that. Uh, no, no, that, that 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 is that is crazy. I I think I have. Do you not do you not know about. that as the, the that's no, the no, no, that's no, the no, unspoken no, no, understanding no. of the Nigerian space. Uh, no, 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 no. See, see, let me tell you something. One man, one man. You see, you keep uh, pushing this narrative about um. And, and the north and the southwest, you know, you use the word in a uh, uh, ruling in perpetuity. And I'm like, what are you on on that day? I was like, what did you drink? Did you did you do but, like so? But, but, but you know, there, there's a sense that that is the fear of people outside that are uh, that that nah, uh, that nah, quality. Nah. That they're, they're concerned. All, all right, but uh, let, let me leave that. But uh, no, politics, that is, but, politics uh, is politics is dynamic, right? Um, and that's the reason why uh, when somebody was, I think it was solely yesterday, that was questioning the uh, the decision of uh, Pa Adebanjo. You see, in everything you do, you have to look at, you have to look for posterity, right? Whenever you move in the line of fairness and justice, you will always get a reward that is equal or more. What Pa Adebanjo is doing for the Eurobas today, it is a, it is it's a masterclass. Wherever any Southerner is, those words will be made reference to. So it's not about you know some of you here you know some of us here are always almost like a wasted generation. I mean we have contributed nothing to the Nigerian space other than trouble. Speak for um, yourself. You know, Speak for yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, uh, I saw like is a gold winner. <laughs> it's a gold. Uh, yeah. His name is it's documented in the Nigerian history books. of VA. It's not just an Amoboda. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, I, mean, I can tell you, I can tell you people yeah. right here, I can tell you people right here that uh, that belong to the Western generation, like they are about to, you know, like they are taking their jam, their jam of Western generation. So they're about to. Uh, you know, lump in, like jump in into that wasted generation space. It is one man, it is some. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Your, your definition no, of wasted generation. That, I told you it is war today. I'm all out. Today. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Let me understand something, Joel. So, your definition of wasted generation are those generations who did not contribute nothing to Nigeria. Nothing, is nothing. that what you are saying? Let, 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 let me tell you, <laughs> wasted generation, anybody, under, anybody over the age of any Nigerian over the age of 35 is a wasted generation. No, no, yes. no, 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 no. Yes, I'm not because, because, because you've lost eight years to Buhari, and, no, and, and, so, so, and, you, and you cannot recover from it. So if you are over oh, age of 35, you're a wasted, no, no, you're no, a wasted no, no, generation. No, no. Someone like you, someone like you later, you know, it's part of that. Because after 35, you have no bounce back. Oh. You, there's no, no bounce no. back after 35. Oh. So no, 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 uh, anybody over the age of 35, oh you're a wasted generation. No, no, some of us, what we right. just did was, what we just did is this, right? What we just did is always support the right thing, right? So my conscience is always clear. You know, I always tell people, this is what I see. These are my beliefs, you know. And it, most times, 95% of the time, it has never failed me. I have never supported corruption in Nigeria. You know, unlike some of you here, you one man, you, are, you, support, you support tribalism. This guy. I thought we were friends, Joel. What is this, eh? Eh? That has to be eh? other, so it's part of the <laughs> generation. Thomas is not a baby, no call. Marcy Thomas, or whatever thing, but if you tell me, I'll vote in the back first. So, eh? all this, this guy, 
Oh, are you drinking Tennessee whiskey? Uh, are you on Tennessee uh, whiskey? No, no, I, I, think it's, I think it's on double portion. It's on double portion today. <laughs> double portion. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's nice to be with you guys, nice to be with you guys man. I will uh, go to the oh, next oh, question. Oh, all right. I, I was taking you to the next question, but you've, but you've already opened up on that space. Why I met with Atiku Obasanjo Tinobu? So uh, it is Wiki now sounding somewhat nationalistic as, as though he's above partisan politics and saying that he and his posse, they are, are embarked on a Nigerian project. Operation Rescue Nigeria is what is trying to tag him, his new Monica ass. Uh, but um, what, are you buying into this narrative that is presenting? One, and uh, two, he continues to audition and is saying consultation still ongoing which is to suggest that decisions have still not yet been made. So now, Wiki, holding River State is a powerful enough position because that can be somewhat decisive in the upcoming election. But the policy that he has formed with the Abia governor, the Oyo governor, and the uh, Benue governor, if those four uh, spaces, if they move in unison, they will be a deciding factor in that election. No equivocation. So as Wiki positioned himself now as a kingmaker, and is he luxuriating in it a bit too much? The real kingmaker now is the Wiki group. Um, wherever they swing to, when the person will be in, in, in contention or we win the election. And I'll tell you why. If Wiki goes the way of Labour Party, it means that P2B has um, five states in the southeast, and we most likely win the six states in the south south. <laughs> because yes, because right now, no, I'm telling you, now, now this, 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 one, this, this one, this one, telling you this right. When you go to Akwaibom and Cross River, right, you have you have the obedient movement like rising in the south-south. What they need is that little tip. And that little tip is a leader, like probably in, in a place like Cross River, if a Donald Duke say, come on, let's move. You know that a little emotion. Do you think Donald Duke still holds sway in Cross River? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's still a beautiful bride in, a, uh, in, 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 um, in Cross River. Right? So I, when you go with Donald Duke, you go with Leo Imoke. So that structure is still there. So all these guys they are seeing, whether Atiku or Tinibu, they still have like small percentage or like maybe like a 20-25% uh, 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 kind of uh, pop uh, uh, voting population in most of these states. What they just need is someone to say, I support you at that group, you know, you know, as to, to, to the one that they have, and they put them above. That is why I'm coming from. So if you have a Wiki, for instance, and you give it to a Labour Party, it means that Labour Party is winning the six states in the South South. Then when you go to the South South, and when you go to the Southwest, then you are looking at someone like uh, Mimiko, right? And you're looking at someone like uh, uh, the governor of, uh, of Oyo State. Whoever they give their support to, they even if they don't know me, they will make you know a reasonable you know, a showing in such, in those elections. So if whoever they support, and you now go back to like, place like Benue, then you know that you are taking all those middle belt areas. <laughs> because, no, I'm just telling you honest, that's what is going on in this election. Everybody has a chance in this election. Now, some of the Christians that you see have not even forgiven the Muslim Muslim ticket. Do you so know what constitutes what, the middle belt area? Middle Belt area. Yeah. Yes. You have you have a uh, Benway, you have uh, uh, Plateau, uh, Kogi. Yeah. Let, let me give it to you because I have the list on my on my screen. You have mm -hmm. Benway, Kogi, Kwara. So Kogi and Kwara, they are Yoruba states, by the way. You have Nasarawa, you have Niger State, and then you have Plato. And you are saying what? You are saying Peter Bill is with that? No, what I'm just saying is this, right? These areas have good Christian numbers, right? They have good Christian numbers. Which one so, has good Christian? Benway has a Christian number. Kogi and Kwara, they are Muslim states. Nasarawa, 
some Christian, uh, no, 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 this place, Muslim, this place have, Plato, this places have, have like Muslim, this place have like Christians, right? What I'm just saying is that Joe, even if they Joe. don't win, even if they don't win, they might they will make a good showing. Okay, understand where I'm sure. coming from because at the end of the day, you remember you still need like some your 25 percent in certain states. So certain states you go and you just work for your 25 percent. Certain states you go for a kill. So, but when you look at the demography of this election, it does not favor anybody. No, Joe. not even the Pinibu, not even uh, one or so. Every, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yes, when you said um, some of these uh, states have like Christians, were you trying to refer to it like because it's like mostly a Christian state, they would not vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket? Because some of those states are Yoruba states, and Yoruba people, Yoruba people don't care about you know religion for making decisions like that, you know. So that is that no that, no that is that 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 is for, that that is for you though, right? Yeah. But the thing there is that you see, um, when they when they when the house of when the head of any house of God, right, as they put it in Nigeria, is crying, right, and when it's like um, a, a slap in the face, like what are you going to do, kind of thing, you're going to get some reaction. From that community, that's my point. Yes, whether we like it or not, but we don't we like it or not. Joel, we don't react you know that, like uh, that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We don't react like that. In I, I, no, no, that that is that is what you think. But don't worry about don't worry about it. Don't worry about Joel. this election. I'm just it's telling you how. It's what I know. That's my people. Okay, no Joel. problem. The majority of them. Joel. Go you ahead, know that yeah. in Mina, you know that in Mina, ninety percent of the Christian in Mina goes to Bishop Edouza's church. Okay. <laughs> so all okay. his members will come and vote for your OBRB. Mm, what do you mean ninety percent? Where are you getting all this? Uh, 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 why people he has the biggest church in the whole yeah, <laughs> in no, yeah but you know, no that's different from 90 percent of the christians go to his church now you say he has the biggest uh, church in mena one man in, in the north uh, right? you can you you can count the people that goes to catholic church all those deeper life church, all those small small denominations just like in kaduna for instance you know if you take the deep once you take it are, are, you, are, you, say, are you saying are you saying uh uh the one church has the only Pentecostal church in Mena. Wama, well, you need to research on that. No, no, I'm church. asking you now. Are you saying he has the only Pentecostal church in Mena? Uh, pay, pretty much swallow everybody. What do you mean? Does <laughs> he have the only Pentecostal church in Mena? It's not the only. Uh, well, so there you are now. So you can't say 90% of the Christians there. Go I share the 10% with the remaining the no, other you, 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 and you the... He has the largest Christian church in Mena, which, which um, I don't know to the contrary, but certainly to say 90% of the uh, oh, yeah, that's a bit far fetched now. It's a bit like <laughs> that, that, so, 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 so that, that, that's why I keep saying, like, you know, I keep seeing this from permutations, right? And just like I keep telling you guys, and some of you don't believe me, I am telling you that the middle belt is in play. Every state in the north that has every state in the north that has Christians is in play. So, but, no, but the stats don't show that though. You say the stats don't show that. Look, uh, 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 Solly, Solly, all those stats that you see, all those stats that you see, you see this election, you're going to see a different demography in this election. Do you you let me agree with you. How do you have given OB3 zones. You have given OB3 <laughs> zones, so which is the last zone. You need four zones to win automatically. So that you have given me South East, South South, North Central. So which no, one? No, which no, is no, the no, last no, one? I, I, did not give him, I did not give him, I did not give him even Southwest. What I'm just saying is that in most states, in some of these states, he's going to have a good showing. It still does not make him a winner. That is why I said it is still going to be a government of, of you know, of uh, it's going to be an election where there will be a rerun. That is my point. Draw. They are going to yeah, be, so you know, you will my, not be in the second so, ballot. Though, so you believe in my own permutation now. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. Draw. You, you know, oh, oh, as they know. So you now believe uh, in that. You now see. I, 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 I know. I, I, I supported. I supported that 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 notion. I've always supported that notion that look that if it will be comes out from the east, 
Tenebu, we I've always talked about, about the Wazobia election, right? Tenebu from the southwest, Juan Paso and Atiku from the north, right? Okay, Joel. Right. 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 Hold, 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 hold on, gentlemen. Let, let's hear from um, Kulata. Joel, quick one, quick question. Okay. Joel, rank, rank the top four as you see, as you feel, as you see fit. You mean this, in this election? R right now, as the, the stand, well, current standing. What do you mean standing. the top four? What's the, okay, Cur current standing, who is number one to number four? If you say it's current standing, like in terms of... Yeah, oh, it's going to be a rerun, but who's going to win the most vote as they stand right now? Okay, this this, this is where I see it from, right? I still see Tinibu. Right? Number one. And... If we don't, can, don't, don't go with your heart, go with your head, don't go with your heart. See, 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 see. <laughs> Let me tell you. Kulata, <laughs> good question. Good question, Kulata. I like no, that. No, 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 no. See, 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 see. It's going to be Tinable first. It's going to be number one. Pete will be number two. I think number three. Kwankoso number four. And if you ask me why, in terms of in terms of popular vote as it is right now, look, it's going to be um, Tinubu 1, P2B 2, Atiku 3, and um, Kwankoso 4. Then they're going to go into a rerun. Now, what is going to happen in the rerun is what I cannot just say. But with what is going on right now, I think it is going to go to a southern candidate. But they will have to broker a kind of deal. Because if you are number one and I'm number two and we, the difference is not that much, then there has to be like a concrete arrangement in that government. And we move. But in this election, it's going to be different. Sorry, I can see you laughing, right? No, no, because you, you led with your, your heart. Your imagination is You led with your heart. You, like, you led with your heart. <laughs> Meanwhile, sorry, sorry, before before I stop, please. Um, I think I'm heading to Nigeria in November, right? So I'm going to go to um, um Netherlands. If you're in if you're in Netherlands, then I'll see you on my way uh, to Nigeria. You, you can you can put the date. Um, yeah, well, why, why don't you exchange uh, yeah exchange details in the private chat? Then uh, yeah. you can uh, arrange. Okay, uh, okay, we can. Yeah, we can talk. Yeah, yeah I'll we, put we my, can talk I'll my WhatsApp number there. Yeah. So, so you, you you understand you understand what I'm you understand where I'm coming from. So, I mean, it, it it might look like a Cinderella story, but I'm just telling you what is going on right now in Nigeria on the street. Um, it is Tinubu one, Pito B two, and Article three. Oh, oh, all right, you're yeah, right. You're right to say Cinderella story uh, woman, because it's sadly woman, Disney please. Disneyland. Uh, oh my, please, uh, Joel. Why you stop in uh, to meet Soli? Remember, you're a nurse, so don't take any substance, and they will test you for one. <laughs> 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 why, why do you think uh, Joel is innocent? Uh, why do you think Joel is innocent? Uh, he has to. You know, he has to. You know what he does. I have, have to, to. I have to. I have to do it. Okay. I will be. Thank you. Thank you for the tea. I will. I will be influenced. Because so I just yeah, want to my influence you to where you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I'm actually, I've, I've um. And I think in 2019, I um I, as I was going to Nigeria on my way to Nigeria, I stopped um at um Netherlands, went in there because I had like a nine hours layover. So I went into the into the area, looked around. It was a beautiful place. You were looking beautiful for the place. sex shops, weren't you? No, no, I didn't go for the sex shop. <laughs> so then, then I uh, I mean, I didn't know that they even sell their weed in a in a shop, like you know, it was beautiful. Um then the 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 uh what they call, is it the ferry the normal ferry that they have immediately you get up from the train, train station that you see this ferry on the left side oh it was all beautiful it's a beautiful place is it, is it the tram i think the tram yeah yeah so yeah it, it, it i think it's like a one about about an hour right to to downtown from from the airport that i stopped at in, there, there are two. If there are two types of trains, you know, you can go direct or you can take one that goes around. Oh. If you take well, one, well, direct, well, well, like they go back. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, just uh, <laughs> uh, exchange details and then take uh, take take Sully round when it comes to Amsterdam. Um, so I, take, I, uh, rather, <laughs> take take um Joel round. Uh, but Joel, let let me take you just to another uh, another space and then uh, 
I'll go from you to San Diego if you're still with us. Uh, so we're, we're, we're back in that space of uh, uh, um, 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 Shetima and his sartorial elegance or lack thereof and the explanations as to why he wore these comical things uh, to a law conference. So he said he was in anticipation of a hostile crowd. This is um, this is Renoir Mokri's interpretation. But as Shetima, he, sa he said that uh, he as a banker was there to smirk at the lawyers. So what are you making of the co of the controversy around uh, Shetima's uh, uh, funky fashion sense? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, you know that Reno, Reno, Reno is, is a loud mouth, is a loud mouthed uh, fella. So I knew that that defense that he gave, he gave was just nonsense. Now, um, Joel, Joel, sorry, Joel, sorry, Joel, sorry, Joel. One man, I'll take offense to that. I deserve that credit, not Reno. I said it first. You said what? Why did they, why, why they credit Reno for waiting to take from me? Said what? Was. Said? Well, what are you crediting to Reno? No, 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 he, he, no he's have... saying that he wore the outfit to mock the obedience, which was not what I said. said it first. One man, no, on this show, this no, you said you no, 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 promote your show. No, hold on. You even said, though if you don't like me, promote your show. Can you hold on, please? You you said he, he wore it as a distraction. That's what you said. So what did the man say? No, no, no. He said, no, no. There's two, there's three strands to it. Uh, Breno is saying that he wore it to mock the obedience. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Shetima is saying that he wore it to mock the lawyers. He being a the banker. Lawyer. You know, banker. So that, uh, and so, why has that different from what I said? But now, it's what actually it, capture, capture it more than they are putting segment to it. I captured the whole oh, everybody. Oh, all right, let, forget one man. Let, 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 uh, one man. Uh, 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 one man. Sorry, sorry. Promote okay, your show but, because the credit okay, should go to your show. Okay, yes, the credit right. should go to your show, not Reno. Well, no, I just can't no, promote no. your show. Even though you don't like no, my no, face, no, that's no, okay. No, but promote no, your no, show. Nobody, no, nobody objects to your face. I'm not obliged to like your face. You are not a girl. Oh, uh, 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 that was what Ovia said. No, no, right. no, hold on, hold on. What Ovia said, but Reno, let, let me show you. Let me show you. Um, let me show you a DM that Jafar sent me because um, Ovia, Ovia was right in an instance, but not in this instance. Because uh, what Ovie said, uh, and Jafar saw this and he sent me the DM. So uh, yeah, let, let me see. So le let me share this screen with you. This is uh, this is something sent in from Jafar. So when we were discussing that story originally, Ovie said that he wore that outfit as a diversionary tactic to to change the narrative from Tinobu. And and just the day after, uh, Reno Omopri, he, he tweeted the exact same word. So this is Reno. He says, Shetima was not sent to the NBA conference to tell Tinobu. He was, he was dressing, his dressing was deliberate. It was a military tactics called, if you can't convince them, then confuse them. It worked, which tallies exactly. So this is why Re we are Reno what? copied. Um, this is one man, one man, let me, one man, let me, let me, let's, let's do something here. If you can take time, just go copy that segment. You say me when I did talk and play it back. It's not, it's, play it's, that it's, not, it's, not back. it's not that big a thing. Uh, let, let, let's hear, no. let, let, let's hear. Oh, come, okay, okay. I'm Let's not answering this commentary so we can move on. Uh, it's not that way. Okay, Ovie gets the credit. Ovie gets the credit. Let's let's uh, uh, I ballet for you. <laughs> I I I let you do what you you do what uh, right. So <laughs> this was your idea. I mean, I mean, I get I get where you're coming from. I mean, if you if you if you um I predicted something rightly or you know we're able to able to have some influence into something and you made it open i mean you should be given the credit i don't have a problem with that but yes, I was just but, but, but to the wider point um the, um the uh shetima sertoria presentation and the comfort and the controversy so, that so he, 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 he didn't have to he didn't have to he didn't have to come out that's to tell you that it wasn't a planned it wasn't planned right so he didn't have to come out to defend what happened you know um um, I mean, unfortunately, that's the that's the kind of country that we are in. I mean, I didn't take that so seriously. The challenge came out. I saw it. I, you know, laughed at some of them, but it wasn't something that really differed. My thing was that Tinubu wasn't there. Um, he should have. He should have. Uh, but with him and his defense, 
and the controversy behind what Reno says or trying to, I mean, I think that's just waste of time for me. I didn't even pay no attention. Uh, 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 all right, let me take you to one more space, um, uh, Joel. Uh, take you to the space. Central Bank releases $265 million to airlines to settle outstanding tickets. And off the back of that, uh, uh, British Airways fed up they are now insisting that tickets now to be purchased in uh, in dollars. So you, your commentaries on the, on, on that space, uh, uh, Joe. Uh, um, um, I mean, we 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 have definitely we have a uh, we have an issue with foreign exchange, um, and it's been on. I mean, how do you get for those foreign exchanges? You know, you make you make export and you get foreign exchange, or people donate, or people send money into uh, 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 into the economy. Um, these days, there are no even foreign direct investment coming in uh, that much. Um, all the all the areas where we can get these dollars from, you know, is being blocked. It's not even even those in diaspora. I would I would like to know what the uh, uh, the remittances is therefore for this year because um, some people did not just buy; they don't want to go because of what is going on the insecurity at home. You know, uh, and so I mean, some people still went ahead and bought some uh, some property, but um, it wasn't like you know people wanted to go home and enjoy. So I would like to know what our remittance is in this, for this year. I mean, for those from the diaspora. So um, uh, it, it, it's, it's a situation that you know we have to sit down and decide on what we're going to do with subsidy. We have to decide on what we do with subsidy. You know, I was thinking about something. I said. What if we write a if we because we 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 spend about eighteen billion a day for swept and for subsidy? Can we give every state twenty billion in tax in a fuel in fuel uh, in fuel? Joe, Joe, let me share my, let me share my idea on this subsidy matter. We have to get rid of the subsidy. But I think yeah, we true. have to, we have to subsidize transportation, so we can't do fuel subsidy again because I mean you we know it's stolen, it's stolen in different ways. But what if like every Nigerian files their taxes? It doesn't mean you have to pay no, taxes. No, 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 no. Now let me land. Let me land. Let me go land. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, at, go at least, you know, in America and UK, whether you whether you get got zero income or negative income, at least you will file something. So mm -hmm. if every Nigerian can file something, and then the government can look at okay, for the people that are poor, these poor people that have zero income or low income, let's just say less than thirty thousand naira per month, then they can now give you a return, a tax return for you i mean they'll they'll refund you money for to ease your transportation pain so yeah, zero so, sub it's, it's a bad idea all the way through it's not because, a bad idea because, because, because that's is, the way it, it, that's it the is. way that's the way they they do they do that in the u.s effectively forget the u.s now you and in, is and in other countries society. whereby it, it, it's a bad idea all the way through now, they, why they, they, because you will end up paying more in subsidy when people no, start to file fraudulent, i don't think so oh you will because people no, will file fraudulent accounts in order to to take advantage no, of whatever look at it do. look at it this way government has your biometric you, you you i mean everybody there's there's biometric data are you talking if about you're... nigeria yes no, go, <laughs> nigeria don't we have pvc isn't p doesn't pvc have biometric what are you talking about like we have biometric technology we need to get serious it doesn't yeah, mean wait, we are going to pay how many people are in that system out of 200 wait. million Less than 100 million have a PVC. But, you know, million. Million. but oh, if, if you money. have, if you are going to get returns back, more people will, will comply. Then you will know that, okay, these are the true numbers of unique people that exist. It's okay. a way of kind of like combing, it's solving a lot of problems at the same time. No, so mean, if you don't have a job, so, so, you, so, 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 you don't have a job, you still file taxes. It doesn't mean you pay taxes. It doesn't mean you pay. Hold on. Let me help you out there. It doesn't mean you pay taxes. Hold on. Can you hold on, please? Uh, how, how will Mama, that is frying a car uh, just at night, 
Uh, how we say filing taxes? Mama will go. Mama will go and declare something. If she can go and declare zero dollars, I be I said zero dollars. She can go and declare zero naira, but Mama will still go and file and file something because here, even if you are not working, even if you didn't earn anything, at least you will file. The, the, cost, of, the cost of the bureaucracy and the... And no, the it's simple. I've talked about and, for my guests. And, and the volume of the fraud. No, I, 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 the no I've talked about for my guests. You can cap it. You, you can put the formula. There are many ways you can do it. You can... The extensive ways will be like, you cal I mean, mileage calculation, and you cap the mileage. Or you don't do all that fancy stuff. You just kind of like put this is in Nigeria. Just put the yeah. Yeah. This Nigeria or no Nigeria, these are basic stuff. Like you can put some calculation to it and say for each person, this is the cap that you're gonna do. And for the entire country, this is the cap. You can control it. So if you cap it, however you can however it falls. You just redistribute it based on that population. It's still better that, than not being able to account that, for that the right. number of vehicles you don't have, the that, 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 that's going that's outside the country. And it, I mean, it's a better system, in my opinion. No, it's not better than fuel subsidy. I don't think so. It's way better uh, than fuel subsidy. And, 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 and one man, what, what I was thinking was this, right? It sounds Since convoluted and unworkable. You, uh, you will simplify it now. This is just rough idea. I, I can, I can enforce that. I swear. Uh, look, look at look at the phases you have to go through. You, you it's have to, simple. You have, you, you have to sweep up all of the working population, both the formal and informal. Formal, informal uh, sector. And, 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 but and, you and know, then, and, and then you have but, to build a But look at it. But do you know? Do you, you know what you're solving for? for. The uh, but, listen to, but listen, but listen, listen again. Do you know what you are solving for? If you can get both formal and informal sector to go and register, so they can get refunds. Do you Polata, know the, Polata, do you know what you just built can I, can I with that question? move? Polata, can I ask you a question? What happens There's something in the Sorry, background. We are hearing somebody heavily in the background. Mommy. Who's that? Okay, it's gone. Oh, okay, it it's, yeah, yeah. No, carry on, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the plan if it fails? What's the plan if it fails? The what's the plan if it fails? You look for you another you, you look look the ultimate yeah. thing you want to do is you want to give the people that deserve money back. Those are the people you want to subsidize. You okay. don't want to subsidize other country. You don't want to subsidize rich people. Yes, but but one man said some people will, you, they will fraudulently work the system. So you. Lose I mean, them. what will happen? What will happen is you will declare a lot of people will declare zero income or declare maybe depending on what the threshold is, maybe less than thirty thousand. But that's fine. But you can when you say I'm capping the uh, transportation uh, refund, I'm capping it to this amount. Then it falls where it falls because you cap that amount. You, con you can control that amount. You cap it, it and it redistributes. Like let, let's look at it this way. You put a cap on it, right? Like 30K. Okay, what if somebody... No, you don't even cap it by individual. You can cap it on the country. For the entire country, and then let so the you, you have a budget. Well. You have a budget, and so uh, when it, once it's spent, it's spent. Have it? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. cap it. Kulata. That's your transportation Kulata. reform. What do you say? Is an idea. Is an idea. What do you say? Kulata. Kulata. Is an idea. Is an idea. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time, please. Kulata, I even thought you would say that. Okay, you know the poor people, and you cap it for them. But of course, you you will cap it. No, so someone like me, if I'm earning the kind of money I'm earning in America, and I live in Nigeria, someone like me will not. Someone like me will not qualify for subsidy system. Yeah. Is there's socialism in almost in america too now no, it's a welfare system. Say yeah, it's a welfare it's almost system. every developed society has some form of yeah, welfare so, 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 socialism it's true okay You're yeah right. every so, society. Ulata, Ulata, Ulata. let me let me give you let me give you an example now if what if one person decides you know it's nigeria now these people are not that educated somebody decides that okay he starts his own business and says that okay he can get like maybe 10 people you get and pay them five five k each and use their own paperwork to work thirty k. Of course, now they don't. I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's going to have biometrics. There's, 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 you know, there's biometric. Okay, there's there's biometric. biometric. There's biometric. We will all those five people not have biometric. We all we we all have biometric. Kulata, let us stay. Let us stay. Not pass the one tax bill that has to do with a backpack. Where you you the owner of you as the owner of vacuum you get house to park in your own premises you still have to pay. 
Do you have you you did you heard about it? I think it was just passed a couple of days ago. Oh yeah, I saw that, but should be this someone was denying wait, that wait, it was fake. Where, where are we going to now? Right, can I, oh, I mean, I'm not saying what is the acceptance of that because is that right. what the bad administration is going to implement all over the nation? Are you I'll be bad, I'll I'll be bad administration. administration? Sorry, <laughs> so, sorry, let's stay on topic. Uh, let's hear from uh, Babate. Yeah, can Babate. I speak briefly yeah. on uh, what Plata said, Mr. Yeah. Tagi? Yeah, yeah, go let on. Me, let me just help him out here. So, uh, since the goal is to shield the poor from that taxation, right? So, what you can do is sales tax. So you look at what the people consume the most, what the middle class consumes, and what the rich people consume. So what the poor people consume, you, you avoid the taxes from there. Then you go with the upper middle class to the rich. So you, you want the, mo the money to come into the, into the cover of, of the government, right? So you can do a sales tax. It's more workable for the Nigerian environment. Income tax, there's no enough data to track to help in that system as of now. Maybe uh, in the Baba Future, Baba you know, I, I, I agree what with you. What is Baba Nove, please, wait, now. Wait, let let wait, that wait, conversation wait. take so, place. So, sales tax, sales tax Baba is more workable right now in that system, as opposed to... Baba, Baba, Baba T, that is general. You're talking about general taxation. Me, I'm talking about being able to give people relief for subsidy targeted not general taxation like yeah, i but want what babati just said is targeted relief now that and, is more, um, more, more, more that's yeah, okay. than this convoluted yeah, i mean what do you do like i mean you, if you want if the country wants to make money you have to put uh vat i mean there's vat already and you I have know. to put taxes then yeah. you have to put taxes on what a lot of people consume like uh, sugar i mean like soft drink like no, no. beer no, no, like, no, no. Wait, it's not talking like, no, no, those no, are no. luxury goods now. It's not about the uh, essentials. Uh, no, I'm the... Saying for, wait, wait. It, I'm saying for the, for the things that the poor will, you cannot shoot them away from that tax. Right? You see what I'm saying? But you go but, at the higher point of that money. But, you but look at it. A lot of things, there's background, there's some background stuff. A lot of things the poor consume, and even how they buy it. A poor man going to buy issue went buy coco yam and all those things how can government can't even, even tax those things those are unrealistic so poor people are shielded from like sales tax so uh, luxury yeah you can tax a lot of luxury goods if you want to target a lot of the middle class and the rich people but my my thing is we need to if you remove if you deregulate petrol now people are going to suffer because prices will go up how do you give them relief on transportation? How do you replace that? No, subsidy no, you don't system? have to necessarily give the relief. You have transport. to. Oh, hold on. What, what, what Babati, uh, uh, correct me, Babati, if I'm wrong. I think what Babati is saying is that you don't necessarily have to give them the relief in transportation, but you can insulate in tax courts in other areas so that the savings yeah. from that will insulate but the. What? I get it. But what yes. I'm saying is they are already insulated because their markets, what they buy and all those things are not taxable. It's not feasible to tax those things from a consumption perspective. The things you can tax, the poor people will not be able to buy them anyway. So it's net neutral. Okay, Kulata, Kulata, you said that you put a cap on it. What if there's inflation? There is I mean, inflation already. There's, there's always inflation. No, 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 what happens, okay, what happens you have to factor all that. In. No, there's always inflation. Will you increase the budget? There's always inflation solely. So there's okay, nothing you do in Nigeria when, okay, that you will not factor comes, inflation. What happens oh, to oh, your oh, oh, plan? All right. The, the idea sounds elegant, but I'm not sure how workable it is. It, it needs to be flushed out. It's a, it's a rough it's idea. It's a rough idea. It will crash the economy in the long run. No, no. Okay. Your idea sounds more expensive than also. Wait now. Wait. How is it expensive? You guys, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not saying you people go and pay tax. I'm saying. Yeah, it's not a strong currency to be tested. Farabale, so need Farabale. I'm saying file taxes. I'm not saying pay. Just file, declare income, declare this, give the government the paper that bam. Government will now look at you and say, well, because of uh, uh, deregulated prices in petrol, we have certain amount available to provide release for transportation, and we're only going to give the people that fall into this uh, criteria, and then they distribute it. That's all I'm saying. It's not going to be more expensive than the subsidy where we don't know the number of cars. We don't know how much is getting exported. We don't know the, tr the true petrol that is brought to the country. You, you don't know if you're paying subsidy on water or, or, or a ship filled with water. 
and someone is saying it's it's petrol that's in it you don't know okay all right all right let's get back to sorry sorry let's get back to joe and then i want to move where are the poorest people in nigeria if you do that the diamond the money will go up north then because yeah it's just unworkable it doesn't sound workable the money will stay up north it will take time to build out well it's a rough idea like i said it's just a rough idea all right it's an elegant idea but probably not for the nigerian state uh but, but maybe I'm wrong, guy. But uh, uh, round off your thoughts on the airline okay. and their refunds, and then I'll go on to. Uh, I mean, I mean for me, go. for me, for me, what I was thinking in that plan. I mean, if we waste, if we spend about eighteen billion a day, what I was thinking was just take out about for the five days. It's just simple. Take out about for the five days of that amount. Um, give every state about twenty billion annually. Whatever you do with your stuff. Put it cap, but focus more on those areas that are like the transportation sector. Subsidize those transportation sectors so that you know the people will not really feel the price of um, um the price of the uh, uh, the price of good go up or the price of transportation go up. Since these areas are where uh, most Nigerians you know are, and uh, give a few. Tax credit to people, you know, and it maybe be below, uh, maybe like sixty or seventy thousand, and you know, you now cut your cost too. As a, as a Nigerian, you don't have to go to uh, uh, house A, house B, house T, house D. No, you have to cut your cost. I understand that this is the country we are living in now, and as time now goes on, then you now use those other money because a place like Lagos. Will not get the 20 billion, it's just could get like 60 billion, right? Because you cannot tell me most of these things happen, most of these scars that we have are in Lagos State. So, how is it that you know we have or we have more people using gas in some other areas combined up to the tune of 100 or 60 over 60 million uh, 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 liters a day? Come on. So um, that is where I'm coming from. But you see, if we make it unattractive for these guys that live off this amount and uh, this uh, subsidy money, um, then channel it towards the people, then we can use the rest of the money um, uh, accumulated to invest in, in, in critical sectors of the economy that will show up, you know, our revenue. But um, with um, the airlines, I feel that does we have a, a position on full subsidy, by the way. Uh, yeah, I think um, uh, no. He's, if he, you don't what, know, say I don't know. No, 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 no. He's he spoke about it. He spoke about it. he spoke he spoke about a uh, subsidy, and his his for, his point is this: How many are we consuming? If no, we, no. If I'm it, talking about does he have a solution? Because he has this uh, propensity for talking about the problem, but does he yeah. have a solution? Yeah. Oh no, no, no. That, that's that's what I'm saying. If you if, 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 there's no way you can solve an issue. If we do not know, uh, yeah, we all know the problem. problem. We all know where the, the problem, problem is coming so, from. So yeah. what he's just saying is just this, right? One of the way to solve that problem is knowing how much you are consuming, right? If you know how much you are consuming, then you can now say, all right, can we substitute to the tune of this? Can we make, for instance, if our our annual budget is maybe thirty billion exports, right? If our annual export is thirty billion, right, we get about thirty billion. All right, so we say all right. Our total export, we say all right. If in actual fact that what we are subsidizing is about six, seven billion, do you want to put Nigerians through that? No, you can allow it to be. If what you're actually subsidizing is about 10 billion, you might say, you know what, let's allow Nigerians to leave. Oh, 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 right. do so it doesn't, it doesn't have an if idea. We, uh, right. uh, if we, if we, if we, uh, uh, uh uh, you know, work with if we can get twenty billion dollars, right? So, but that's how it is. So that's where he's coming from. His point is that you look at the, the issue and see if we actually consume this, and if you have to take it away, we take it away. Then we compensate in other areas. Um, taking a subsidy shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be a hard policy. It just takes the willpower of um, our incoming president, President uh, uh, Peter Obi, to do something that is. I mean, it's not something hard for me. I don't think it's something hard. It's just that we, as a people, it's just the interest that is really guiding those in power oh, not to do right. what is right. That's all it. Right. 
All right, right brilliant. Well, well put. Thank you. Thank you, um, uh, uh, Joel. So let's go from Joel to San Diego, who I suspect may not be ready. Uh, San Diego, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. All right, brilliant. Fantastic. So, so thank you, San Diego. So that's San Diego, who has been joining us uh, uh, recently. Uh, so to it, then, San Diego, the most alarming yet of all of the news that have come across over the course of this year, uh, 137 out of 261 borders in the northeast and northwest unguarded. So uh, does that not tell you everything you need to know, uh, San Diego? Wow. Well, uh, when, I, when I heard that, you know, I was listening to you earlier before I left anywhere. I didn't get the whole information. But from the little that I, hear, I heard from you, that is so alarming. You're talking about like almost about half of our border is unguided. So, I mean, I mean, what he just said is very alarming. I mean, how long how long he has known of this? It's not something he just of know. I'm just wondering, why is he coming out right now to say it? Is that any hidden agenda behind that? Because that doesn't make sense coming out right now to say that. And I mean, more importantly, what is he doing about it? <laughs> right. What is he doing about that? It doesn't have any solution. I mean, with the latest technology we have right now, drone and everything, you know, I mean, you can even build like, you know, like like over here in, in California. I mean, there's a border, you know, around Mexico area. I mean, between, between San Diego and Mexico City, you know, even in Texas and everything. Why can't we have like a, a, a border boundary, maybe like what Trump, what Trump did over here, you know, I don't know how feasible that is. I, I'm thinking it's more feasible in Nigeria, particularly in the northern part of Nigeria. But Trump, no border, border. Trump border doesn't work now. The Mexicans, they yeah, scale it all the time and they cut it. They cut the, the, they cut the metal and they scale it like it's pole vault. They just scale it every time. It's, it's okay. the vanity okay. again. Be careful. Okay, we can you... Be careful. Trump we... fan here. Be careful. We are we... Be careful. Okay. Who, who said that? Uh, that's Baba T. Oh, Baba T. Oh, who is the Trump fan? fan. I'm, I'm, I'm also a Trump fan. fan. I'm, a I'm also a Trump, Trump, Trump fan. fan. Yeah, be careful. Obi is a Trump fan. Wow. What's wrong with uh, you? You, 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 can be, you can be a Trump and And uh, Joel of Nashville is a Trump man, too. I can't, I can't oh, believe yes, it. I am. I am. No, the man lives in California, for God's sake. You know, they're very liberal over there. So. I know. <laughs> not you know you people now. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. So. No, no, no. Ba Baba T, um, all of you, Trump call you a shithole country. And you're still okay. supporting you. What's the don't get emotional, man. It, okay. Was he lying? You know, was he lying? Was he lying? Was he lying? No, but 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 not be lied to. Not be lied to. But the thing that where did he say it? All these things are just like rhetoric. They just uh, the media just used to you know confuse some of you and, and Democrats. Um, you see the power I'm, of I'm media. So I'm, you know, I'm you know, surprised. The man is in California. You should know that the man is in California for God's sake. You know what? We know how that works now. You know how they, they behave over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 no. Apart from that, I still have Nigerian origin in me, but I'm I'm just bad for that. At least four of three of you supporting Trump, you know, with his behavior and what's going on today. I voted I mean, for that's... him, and when he comes back again, I, I, I'm going to do the same again in 2024. God will. I will vote. I will campaign for him this time. I will campaign. The man like, said what he was going to do during uh, the campaign tree, and he did it. That is a point. Uh, 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 arrest, arrest my case. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. So, 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 so rest that case, and let's go back yeah. to Nigerian borders. Yeah, Nigerian but anyway, borders. Yeah, yeah. yeah, going back to Nigerian border, I mean, all this latest technology that could have been employed right now, I mean, you know, I mean, drone and other kind of means to remedy the situation, or at least deploy, of course, our military kind of depleted anyway. We don't even have maybe one third of no not even one one tenth of the military that was needed so that's another story for another day just i mean this is not something new i mean i'm me being a layman you know i mean i live here for most you know most of my life you know after teenage year i mean i know about the nigerian border being so porous already to begin with so i mean what's he telling us that is new he should have been doing something about it how long he's been there almost about five years right yes it, it, right. it, it, it's just alarming because um, the country is overwhelmed with insurgency and right. all of it coming from the from the northeast, northwest. And they, they dedicate so much in, 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 uh, the, in the country's earnings towards insecurity. And then he comes out and tells us that the borders are manned. Uh, I'm so, thinking so how this are you? I mean, what, what does that uh, even mean? 
I'm think I'm thinking it's deliberate. He just saying it to say because you know what is happening in the northern border is part of Usmanda Usmanda Fodio philosophy. You know they are traveling and conquering, so you know they're part of ally of the you know Buhari regime anyway. So it doesn't surprise me. You know they wouldn't have done it. I think he's just saying it right now. Like, of you, you know what's going to happen tomorrow? You know Buhari government say now nah, they're going to start saying we're going to do something just to confuse you. You know to vote for APC or that kind of things. You know nothing is going to come out of it. Because this has been known even even before Buhari came in there. Of course, he made it worse. So he's promoting, he's pretty much promoting, you know, Usman Danfodio, you know, philosophy, you know. So he's part of them. He doesn't really surprise me, but I'm I'm surprised he's coming out with he's speaking about it right now. So that that has something to give me that there's some hidden agenda for her, you know, for coming out right now to speak. So any whatever they say doesn't baffle me, but the whole thing is so baffling because most of this. Criminal coming or, 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 or jihadists coming into the country. They are from only like Senegal, Mali, and other places. Most of them, I mean, I don't know how much, in what percentage you can give them, but I can say most of them. So they pretty much align with some of them. Because if you look at West African nation, you know, I think a lot of the state in West Africa, Fulani, uh, Fulani head of state, from Senegal to Mali to my own recollection, I don't really know how much. I know definitely Gambia too. So I think all of them, they are all planning about all this to Islamatize, you know. Is, Islamize the whole part of you know West Africa, so it's an agenda. What I'm thinking in my conclusion, he's just coming out with this just to deceive us, to see like they are doing something when there's no plan to do anything. They don't have any plan. I think it's just a rhetoric, just to make oh, it oh, seem oh, like. All you know, right, and, 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 and unfortunately, he is from the south. South, they have this uh, thing of always doing it. If they want to speak a language that they know, the south cannot digest. They will send a southerner. You usually hear it, Femi Adesina or somebody like that. Yeah, that's what they, don't 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 you see what's going on? Um, one man, all these postmen that they put in different in different area, like is all is always southerners. You know, that's the people they put up, apart from Lai Mohammed. But other department, these postmen, they are always you know from from the southern part of Nigeria mm -hmm. for them to make for them to put some legitimacy to you know what they are saying. That's what that's what you're doing. Of course, they have no power to do it. They're going to do whatever a Buhari regime or whatever, you know, people around Buhari tell them to do. So that's pretty much, you know, he may be the chief of defense, you know, but I don't think he has that much power. I mean, yes. that's the way I see in that country, you know, it's just a fair, pretty much fair, fair state all around. So I don't know. That's, 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 that's all I can say about that. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, let me take you to a different space. Uh, why I met with Atiku Abbas or Jotinubu, this is Yemsen Wiki now still peacocking off the back of uh, the space that he seems to occupy. So he tells us that talks are still ongoing and that he has, uh, he has uh, auditioned all of the front runners and he's not yet made a decision. That his project is to rescue Nigeria and to rebalance the country. But um, the, the language of Wiki, the way he's politicking, and this endless stream of him commanding the headlines all the time, uh, where do you think this will end, uh, San Diego? I, I think we can like to be romance, you know. He's just like a, a wife who like to be romance. But beside that, you know, I don't, I can't really make up about what we care, you know, what the kind of, you know, the kind of ball he's trying to play right now. So, I mean, is he going to go to APC, PD, I mean, APC, Labour Party? Ah, I, I, I don't think he's, he's going to leave. He's just trying to broker, you know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Who knows what, you know, who knows what he's going to do, you know. So just try to broker a deal for himself, you know, for his, for his future. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't believe what he said. So all the, all, he made a trade party there, right, to talk about the future of the country. Hmm. Um, I mean, why not? He's not the president. I, I mean, don't know. Well, it sounds he's presidential, doesn't it? Yeah. So, right. So how, how can he broker, you know, I mean, broker any kind of relationship about what's going to happen to the, for the future of the country? That I don't understand about where he's going without you know without that he's just very confusing about what was wiki you know I mean sometimes I stop listening I've stopped listening to wiki you know so until I hear from him whether he's going to stay with PDP because I stopped you know I stopped following him whether he's going to stay with P PDP or he's going to go to APC or Labour Party so when he make that statement you know so all this he's there, he's just playing around you know for now that's what I think and, yeah. and the controversy around uh, Shetimas are. Uh funky cool uh rapper outfit to the bar association dinner he says he was so, somewhat trolling them and um uh uh, uh is telling us he's trolling the obedience 
But are, are you buying any of that? Or is this just how these people are? Outside of Agbada, they don't have a clue. But but that wasn't what um that wasn't what Ronald Mercury said before. The, he, yes, uh, yeah, you know, yes. He said something different, contrary to what you just said. But beside that, you know, I don't think so. I think Shetima, you know, Shetima just come out, you know, just come out with this 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 line that he's portraying right now from the online message. You know, no, it was it, that wasn't the intention. I don't I don't think that was the initial intention. He he was just throwing throwing the obedience or or whatever he said. I think he borrowed he brought that from the online space, you know, because but people have been saying. Why do you, why do you think he turned up at the bar association uh, conference like that? Why do you think he dressed like that? <laughs> I mean, everything we are doing is speculation because I I think he's more intelligent than that, you know. So there has to be a motive for the way he dressed. It's not that he can dress. I mean, you know, this man is a former banker, you know, so he know how to dress, or you know, or he yes, has some people that can that can put him in a proper universe. You know. So there has to be maybe. If I have to speculate, I'm just saying, you know, he, he did that for distraction purpose so that people wouldn't talk about Tunumbu anymore not being there because knowing that, you know, that would have been the topic, you know, I mean, Tunumbu is one of the front, you know, the front runner and he, you know, he wasn't there. So people was going to be talking about that. So uh, he decided to dress like that to come. It's not even because of he put on sneakers. That's not even, I mean, over here, you know, I mean. I put on sneakers. I mean, depending on the kind of sneaker, not every sneaker. Uh, you know, to work, to, do you put, put, put on, on yeah, to work. Some, I mean, I don't wear a suit when I go to work. You know, we don't do that anymore. Okay. Over here, it's business casual. But when I used to put on suit, I mean, I put on sneakers. I put on sneaker, but it's a nice sneakers. You know, it, it, it's part. It's part of you know GQ. You know, dressing right now. So there's nothing wrong about that. But but just the way he dressed and the way he was sitting down and everything, and the suit was so lot was it was so big. You know. And all that kind of just the whole outfit anyway was not just not just the sneakers. So I'm thinking it was a divider's attention just for people not to talk about Tunumbu absent. That's what I think. So coming up with what he just said right now, I, I don't buy that. He just it, it, it wasn't because he was trying to throw, you know, the, the bar association or whatever what he's saying. That's not uh, how, how do you that's... rate Shetima? Uh, how do you rate him as a person? How do you rate his presentation uh, as a as a politician? Well, I heard you say that he's the most educated or that kind of thing, but it's not yeah, a lot. The he's the most eloquent, I, I think. Well, he speaks okay, but, you know, I mean, but he, even I thought he's the most educated. It's not a lot about education. And as far as, you know, you have at least, I mean, I look at education level. I'm not sure to see if you don't have any bachelor degree. I, I look at the education, you at least have a bachelor degree level. That's good enough, you know. Anything below that, I don't know. I'm not saying if you didn't go to college, you know, you are. Yeah, smarter than or whatever, you know, look at Big Gate and other people. But anyway, um, going back to the question you asked me, how do I think about how he speak and everything? He no, how okay. do you just rate him as, as a package, the overall package of him? Um, from one to ten? Yes. Um, I give him about I give him about seven. I mean, he's you know, I mean he's eloquent enough, you know. I mean, but some of the statements like he made is very alarming. You heard about what he said about um about the power sharing between him and Tunumbu. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, I had snippet of that that Tunumbu will be in charge of the economy and he will be in charge of uh, security. Oh, we are done. If that's if that's the case, he's gonna. I mean, what what is supposed to be the president? Is he not president supposed to be in charge of defense? I mean, do, that's do, do, do you know why he said that? Did you hear the explanation he gave? No, I didn't. I didn't listen. That's the only. That's the only caption I got. He, he said because uh, he is at the epicenter, uh, the theater of the insurgency in Nigeria. So okay. he has uh, more than most uh, a first-hand understanding uh, of uh, just what the insecurity is and how to tackle it. So he will be uh, seeking that concession from Tinubu because no, of course, uh, we, we, because of course, he's uh, from Borno State. I, I mean, he can subsidize uh, Tunumbu or be, you know, maybe Tunumbu can say, okay, I want, I want you to, be, I want you to have this responsibility. But in the constitution, as the head of state, you are in charge of, you are in charge of the defense. I mean, that's well documented both here in Nigeria. I don't know, but I've not really read Nigerian constitution. But if you ask me, I would think that would be in constitution. I mean, the head of state, suppose he shouldn't have said it that way because that's kind of frightening to the southerners, knowing what we think about him. I don't know how true he is. You know that he's he supported Boko Boko Haram and all that kind of things. And I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think that's been debunked. 
on where he debunked by how many people knew about that. Every lay people in the southern, they still believe that he is. I mean, even at all, it's not true. And he debunked by maybe some media or you, you know, like you say, he debunked. Um, how many people know about everybody still associated him? You know, if we pull Nigeria right now in the south, 80% of Nigerians we still feel that way, you know, regardless. How, did they but, get but, news but, from how many of them um, get news? Uh, uh, as an idea, uh, how does it resonate with you? Having somebody that has been at the center of the insecurity in Nigeria for decades, having a first hand understanding of it, or somebody that has lived in Lagos State completely removed. Uh, it just reads about the insecurity in the papers. Who would you want to have the uh, the lead on the insecurity uh, uh, amongst those two? Well, well, I mean, to be honest, I would like to, somebody who has been in that arena, you know, like he has been, you know, you know, to command in that area. But um, you know, not to hand, not for him to be head of the defense. I mean, like like over here, you know, when Trump was, you know, uh, right now. The present, the present, the present government we have, you know, I mean, the um, the vice president, they gave him something, you know, to be in charge, like the immigration when he went, you know, when he went to oversee in charge of immigration. I mean, something like that, you know, to be in charge, you know, but it's not going to be like you are the head of, you know, defense. I mean, that don't be, that don't make any sense. But knowing what Shetima history, you know, or knowing what the Kaba history from the north. Is he really going to do it, or is he, or is he just do, is he just just staying there, you know, just as a camouflage? So that's what's frightening me. Is he going to really do it, or is he going to be perpetuate what is really going on right now? Because if you look, the northern elite, they are the one, you know, encouraging all this thing. I don't know how what kind of role Shetima played or what kind of role he's playing. So I don't really trust anybody. All this from the north. Is he good? If he's going to do it, it's good. But is he going to do it? That that you know that's the problem I have. Because even well, people uh, working for Buhari right now, they are part of uh, all this insecurity going on. So how San can Diego. I trust him to do that? San Diego. <laughs> yeah. So, um, please. So uh, um, I, I wanted to just like chip in a little bit because it's one Go area ahead. that I was I was really um, I was really pissed too. So one man, you do not have problem with that speech. I read I I I had a speech and I I felt so um, I felt so shocked for myself. Like I was like, what is going on? So um, he was talking about him being in charge of security and Tinubu in charge of economy. And they were going wow. to give us a replica of Lagos and Bono. Like, so who is going to be Lagos and who is going to be Bono? It, it, you, know, you, you know, that is exactly what I will hope for, that he would have uh, a, 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 um, an influence, in, say, on insecurity. And Tinubu will have a the, the no, 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 has, no. Has, I mean, have they been able to manage the security? That is it. So, if you are, has, has he ever been in charge of uh, an, an, an opportunity? Well, he was the governor when all these things were going on. He is complicit in the whole thing. How, we how, is not the the security. How, how is he complicit? Sorry, oh, how is no, he complicit? Is that a, no, 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 no. There had been allegations here and there about him, whether he is or he's not. For the fact that they were able to incubate Boko Haram to the monster it is today, we have heard about the different sentiments from even the present president, Buhari, that gave wins to all these guys. We cannot allow those people to be in charge of security. Who, who, is, those who, is, who is those people? Who is those people? They're not talking an elite. about the northern elites. The right. northern elites cannot be in charge of that security. Oh, Look oh. at the amount of budgets. Look at the amounts. No, no, we know, have... we, we, we know, we know all that. But um, yeah, one man. You, you, one you, have man. To, you have to under, hold on, please. Um, you have to understand that the Boko Haram space is essentially a Fulani space, and and some of the people that carry the the biggest pain of it are the people of Borno who are Kanuris. Okay, uh, uh, one uh, man. One man. I did not I, I, I right now. Subscribe to that. Because they were failures in managing the affairs of security in the north. Who, so, who, 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 not, what do you mean? Who, who is they? I mean, I'm talking about the security apparatus in Nigeria are offered by northerners, and they have not made when, any. When you progress. say this, isn't this tribalism? Isn't this tribalism? No, but that is what it is now. Okay, who but is no, no, this not what you are oh, me of? Is, oh, Can you hold on, please? It's not about you, uh, Sully. Um, it, it, it's, it's more really ignorance than tribalism. Uh, because you see, when they say, say this all encompassing north, 
then that completely misses the point. Because the North, as we know, is dissected into so many ethnicities, uh, vastly oh, that, more than we, uh, like, that we have in the South. And um, we're okay. saying that uh, um, Chetima, a Kanuri man, who, who the insurgency has vested the most upon his own people, is complicit in the in insurgency that vests okay. upon his people. One man, one man. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Whether you like it or not, I am not here to tell you what you like to hear. I am trying to tell you what are facts. If you are managing mm -hmm. a company, if you are managing a company and the company is bleeding and the company is not right, I cannot in every honesty, even though you have worked in that company, allow you to take charge of that company in the rebuilding process. That is my yeah, point. Yeah, but, but, but that, that case, example does not fit I, this narrative. No, it does. It does. It does because it, no, no, no. And secondly, secondly, you said that I was being, I was being, I was generalizing because it's the north. No, I'm not generalizing because it is the north. And before this uh, guy came in, to, uh, uh, before this Irabo guy came in, for the past seven years, six years, who has been in charge of our, uh, uh, who has been the uh, uh, chief of defense staff? Who is the Minister of Defense? Who is the head of the police? Who is the head of the uh, Air Force? Who is the head of uh, 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 civil service? Who is the head of customs? No, but what point are you, sorry, what point are you so making? My Take point us to, yeah. is, so when I say that they have all the apparatus to keep us safe and they're not able to, that people from there should not have the apparatus to rebuild us. It is not being that I'm big tribal. I'm just telling you the facts. What, 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 where is the oh, hold on? Where is the epicenter of insurgency in Nigeria? The it's in epicenter. the north. It's yes. in the north. And, and in the north, where is it most prominent? Whether Bonu or wherever it is, it is still in the north. That right. is why I keep telling you that the problem there is that when I talk about the north, I'm talking about the northern elites, the ones that are in charge of all these places. They are the ones siphoning this money. You are talking about Brontai the other day. Do you know how many houses Brontai has in a, in a Dubai? So that's the point I'm trying to make you understand. Do you know how much of our resources that have been siphoned to Niger? That is the point. So we cannot allow them to be in charge of our security. It is hard nothing to do with politics. This is just but, common sense. But, but each tribe has people that are stolen money, and each tribe has people that have it, uh, Sorry, it, sorry, it has nothing to do with, with tribes that have stolen money. No, no, no you, are, you are specifically pointing to the north, but you are, what, you are, what, wait, wait, what you are saying that they have done, all our tribes have done is too. No, no we that, 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 that's, about not, that's, not, that's not where the quibble is. The quibble is, um, it, it's, uh, it's talking about the North as one homogeneous North. Which I know that he knows that. Who are the Northern, northern elite. Elites? So, so there's still a chasm in that space. Who are the Northern elites? The Northern elites are the Buharis. The Barontais, the uh, yeah, those uh, are the Fulani uh, elites. Those are the Fulani uh, elites. No, 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 no. That no. see, all of them in that power <laughs> connive, connive to keep us where we are today, whether you like it or not. All of them in which power? Knife. Oh, hold on. I'm talking about the Buharis of this world. Yes, Buhari, but, Burutai, uh, they are Fulani people. They are Fulani the, elites. So what I'm just saying is this, right? When and Shetima is a Kanuri. Zulum when, they come, when, 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 when they come into power, when they came into power, right, who were those that were heading all the security agencies? It was people from the north, right? So even what inflection in the north? It, it doesn't, the, at this point in time, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And, and, and there it is right there. there it is. The thing there is this, right? It is easier for you in the southwest to dine with me in the southeast, right? Because of proximity. See, is it is it easier for, for a general from Oyoalafi to solve the insurgency in Abono? Which is possible. It is possible. It, is it easier yeah, for, for a general from Bono to solve the insurgency there? Oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes. And this is the this this is how it goes. You have seen you have seen many instances where these soldiers at the war front. 
are dropping their weapons, saying that they know who's going to fight. There is no morale. They don't pay them. They no, tell no, them, that's oh, a they different. No, no, you are going to a different space. That's not what no, we're talking no, about. No, 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 no. But no, no, no. The thing there is that if you want to fight, if you want to fight insurgency, the people at the forefront fighting insurgency, insurgency, ought to be. Uh, uh, equipped. They no, no, that's not what we are talking people. about. Though we are talking about Shetima saying that he will he will be the best fit to tackle the insurgency. No, that's so we are not talking point. about soldier morale. I am talking about things that have made this uh, this uh, insecurity fail. No, that's so a that wider people. point. We were talking about Shetima saying that he is the panacea. Uh, look, uh, 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 Shetima, uh, what I said in Shetima's uh, 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 case is that he is from the north. He is part of the problem. That Tinibu well, it's not part of the problem, to, though. To no, it, no, no, no. He's not part of the problem. Is 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 the greatest probably victim of the problem. Uh, I I do not think. I, I mean I mean if if a, a northern elite that encourages Amajiri can encourage anything. Oh, come if on, you man. That, that's too, I mean, that's too, to that's too pedestrian for you now. You I mean, I mean, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. What has what has the issue of Amajiri has to do with this? I don't know, well, man. It's just this crazy the narrative. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hold on. Let him put hold it to you. Yeah. Who is the chief of defense staff right now, and where is he from? Maybe you came late. You didn't, you didn't hear me. No, I'm, 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 I'm asking you a question. Answer those questions. Who is who is and where is he from? Who is from the south? So where is that from? So so why are Before you leaving this saying the north, the north, the north? I address that. I he, so you were if listening. he as the chief of defense staff from Delta State, all the seven other services they are under him. He is the most superior one. Even the chief of army is under chief of defense staff. So what? Why? Why? Why are you saying? Oh, is is the north? No, can, 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 can you listen? Well, you the, asked, the, you the, question, the right? funny part is both of you, both, both of you have both of you have points. Because Buratai is from Bono State and it was a disaster. Uh, so what, 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 what I'm saying is this: uh, what I'm saying is this, Kolata, right? And uh, what I'm saying is that Erabo, how long has been has it been in power? Not long. As, uh, not long. That's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, I understand that who has been in power since Buhari came into power for over six, seven years. Buratai. And, that is when, and Buratai is from Bono Buratai. State. And it's, and it's that's been where a we had, that's where we had unmitigated that disaster. Had, that is where we had the worst disaster in terms of insecurity, right or wrong? That is my point. You're right. You're, that's why I said you're, you're right. Remember, he was part of the crew that shot those Shia Muslims. I was shouting for a man like this because they blocked the road. You now came out and you murdered over 300 citizens. I said it. So when I'm thinking about the elites in the north, the, the issue that the northern people have is that the elites keep them down so that they can use them anytime they want. No, you are going to a wider... It's, it's all this it's lazy... Uh, of, scam, no, uh, so I'm not, I, I'm not part of that lazy scaremongering about you the can, north. You can, you can, no, you know, no, it's it's the, too the lazy, case, man. Come on. The case is in the pudding. What I see is what I'm talking about. I was no, born no, in you're not, Forget where no, you're I going for, man. man. Uh, one man, one man. One man, I was born in Kano State, right? Wait. Right? I was born in Kano State. And the difference between me and Amajiri were my parents. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's the point I'm trying to make you understand. That if you Wait, go there, Joel, the Joel, are you saying there's some sort of conspiracy across oh, the north that oh definitely. Huh? Oh, definitely. Really? Oh, definitely. But, but wait, wait, but you have a lot of like in when you say the north, that's way too general. Like the thief. The thief, the Jukuns, will they say those do, they are also conspiratorial to keep insurgency al alive? No, 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 are... no, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not talking that. No, 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 no. If, when I'm talking about keeping uh, you see now, alive, what you just said, not, not, not. That's like, no, 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 that's, no, that's where the problem is now because it's, it's very easy to do that, you know. See, just too see, easy. see I thought I talked about it. Remember, I said about I talked about northern elites, right? The other elites, yeah, but there is elites. I mean, boss Mustafa is it not elite? Uh, that grass cutter guy is it not elite? Baba part Chia. of the elite, Baba uh, Chala, wow. Yes, now uh, those people, those people you see, no Baba Chala, wow. those Baba Chala, uh, wow, right? What they do, what they do in their own instance is that it is hard for them to speak out because they are being paid, they are amongst the, 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 
the circle. So it's just like you're not even speaking they are, they are, they are because you're benefiting from it. They are that is the point. Joel, yeah, that's the point. So Joel, whether you, you like it or not, you're, see, the, what, the broad but, stroke is not fair on the north. There's way, way too much diversity in the north to kind of just push that broad. I mean, if you say Alsa Fulani elite, you kind of like you pick a section of the north, which is the the chunk. But there's way too many groups in the north that you just kind of brush the whole thing. Southern Kaduna, how many ethnicities do they have in between that Southern Kaduna and Nasarawa? Hundreds. No, I mean, that, sorry, that, not that, hundreds. That, maybe more. I mean, more than plenty. I mean, plenty. You know what I'm saying? Plenty. Yeah. It's not hundreds. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You understand? So, but but this, this this is what goes on in the north, right? What goes on in the north is that these guys. This uh, 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 Fulani, uh, they, they have been in power. You see, we we're talking about the South is the other time. We we're talking about, oh, why can't they go to power? No. The reason is that one day that you are off power, right, it will take you several years to recover. So that is what is going on in the North. Whenever there's no power, you see, they keep shouting because that is all it is they know how to do to get oh, how to get. Oh, all right, you are going to right? a completely different space. Let, let's get back to San Diego because I'm not quite sure I'm, I, I understand what you're talking about. But I'm, uh, I'm what, you, what, what, what are you not sure? Bye. Uh, no, I'm not sure. You just uh, you, you are trying to scare monger, but uh, we're not doing scare mongering. Uh, let, let's back, get back to uh, um, San Diego. So, San Diego, back to you. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad I, re I reclaim my time. But anyway, mm -hmm. everybody has a point, you know, but I'm not going to be broad and say the whole northern, as you know, I mean, I think my main emphasis is the elite, you know, the so-called so called Kaba. But the only issue, the only, the only issue I have with his statement, you know, he, you know, he wants to be the commander in chief. I'm not talking about assigning him to be responsible for the, you know, for the, for the, for the terrorists or the whole crime going on in the north. That's okay. As a vice president, you can be given, you know, on ceremonial portfolio, you know, what I mean by ceremonial portfolio, not something you're going to have for the rest of your, you know, until you solve that problem, you know. Yeah, you can assign a portfolio to him for, you know, on ceremonial portfolio to him. Make sure, you know, for you to achieve this within certain years, two years or three years. That's good. But for him to say he's going to be commander in chief and the... Um, yeah, it's not going to know, be the commander in chief, is it? Because no, that's because what you see that. Yeah, but the constitution does not facilitate for it. And but I, that's I, what I, I mean. I, yeah, but I he's, think we know Tinubu enough that he's not going to surrender himself. But but I'm going him. by yeah. one man. I'm going by what he said. He says, um, "What's his name? Tinubu is going to be strictly for the economy. He's going to be in charge of the defense." I mean, yeah, but those are broad. He's, going to be in commander. He's, he's speaking in broad strokes now. Yeah, I, I'm sure I, I, he's speaking to an audience that he's hopeful and sophisticated enough to understand what he's saying. Tinubu is but not going to. The constitution doesn't even facilitate for that. How do you know instance. that's not an agreement between him and Tinubu? Hey, the constitution does not facilitate for it. It doesn't matter. Tinubu can say, uh, I'm not, I, don't, I don't know anything uh, about that. Uh, you just take uh, over. Uh, all right. All right. That, uh, I'm uh, just concerned about that broad statement that he made. That's my only issue about that. I'm, I'm not really concerned about who's in, who in charge. You know, as far as you are a capable. You, know, you you you, you see uh, you, you you see the one thing that I'm hopeful is that we're a bit a, 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 in fact not a bit but a lot more nuanced in the understandings that we're having of the political speech as we start to continue to digest them uh, and not just go to uh, uh, the prejudice space to latch onto wordings and reinterpret it uh, from a place of prejudice. It's a bit like when Tinubu was saying that uh, he will recruit um. Uh, 50, uh, 50 million soldiers, and they latched on to that. And, but the, the underpinning, which everybody understood, it made infinite sense, which was the point that... So it's just all this... Uh, I, will, I will become the commander-in-chief. The constitution does not facilitate for it. Tinubu, as we know him, who is a power-hungry sort of a person, he certainly is not likely to cede that to him. Uh, so really, uh, but what he was saying uh, in, in a broader sense was that he has a better understanding of that insecurity and he will seek to have a really frontal input in that space, which will be your expectation that a person from Bono, which is the heartland of the insecurity, is in a position of power to try and address the insecurity. Is that not what you would wish for? Well, I wish, you know, if he can do that, you know, I'm just, I, I guess I'm going by the antecedent, you know, or, or 
That's what I'm going by. But I just oh, yeah, going by was... uh, 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 Joel's mindset. Oh, wait, uh, it's, it's the no, 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 the Northerners run for the hills. The Northerners, no, 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 his predecessor Ali Modu Sharif because yes. they're, they're different people and they play different I don't roles. Know who that, is. that is it was the governor before Shetima and it was under his watch a lot of the Boko Haram started. It's the only thing that happened of significance under Shetima was the Chibok girls, and we know how he reacted to the Chibok girls. So Ali Modu Sharif is the one that people feel causes up to terrorists, and I think people are mixing both of them up. Okay, is that I'm narrative just, again? I'm, just that I'm just overarching I'm just the going by, Like I said, I've not been following Nigerian politics until recently, so I'm just going by the narrative that I read that I read recently. I'm not I'm not saying it, it's true. I mean, of course, everything you read online is not true. Some of them could be just a made up of propaganda, you know. So I'm just going by what I read, you know, that they have given him that antecedent. So I'm, that's why I'm going by that. I don't know much about him, you know. So. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Yeah. Let me take you to a difference. Uh, you generated a bit of a controversy there. Uh, okay, it's good. Uh, uh, but uh, hopefully less controversial. Our British Airways uh, stopped travel agents from paying in Naira. Uh, and so they are inviting now that if you, they are looking to actually stop flights to Nigeria if they're not able to get their money out of the space. But uh, in the interim, they are only taking payments in dollars now and you can only book online. So what are you then making then of this uh, saga that is uh, brewing, that, that is even in full bloom uh, between the it, Nigerian government and the airlines? It just, is, is that a breaking news, something of recent? Got yeah, no, that, no, that's a development because what we had was um, Emirates taking an aggressive stance and it looks mm -hmm. as though uh, British Airways has now come out to take an equally aggressive stance. Wow, we, we are finished. I mean... So you, when you travel out, out of Nigeria, you know, not, I'm not talking about traveling to Nigeria. When you're traveling out of Nigeria, you have to pay in dollar. Mm. That's crazy. I mean, that's going to, you know, you know, future devaluate our currency because what, 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 what they're saying right now, our currency is not value. And when a country like British, you know, when a country like British is not accepting our currency, what's that going to do to our, you know, Naira? I mean, and other countries may follow suit. That's where this head into. I mean, we're already about 700 right now. I don't know what is it today, you know. So, like everybody's speculating here, by the end of the year, it might be a thousand. So, that's that's going to kill the, what we have already. I mean, if they uh, do but, that. But, uh, does that policy actually make any difference? Because if you're buying yes, your does. ticket, you'll still be buying it, uh, hopefully, at the central bank rate. So, yeah. We, but, yeah. but internationally, you know, the narration coming out that naira doesn't work anymore of course it, you know it, i mean it's going down every day you know it's depreciating every day you know but just the perception of it you know i mean just like stock market it's going to affect the naira believe me because other com other countries going to follow suit a perception you know will lead to that narrative that naira what nothing and it's going to inflate the buying power of naira it's already in terrible shape i mean Economically, it's going to affect Naira. Believe me, if that happened, because oh, it is, it... that's a direct disaster to the Naira. Because yeah, that's CBN, what, that's CBN what will not, CBN will not give them that official rate. I mean, official rate. So they have to go to the black market. So right. that's more demand for dollars that we don't have. So exactly. Naira is just going that's to, my concern. Naira is going to be trashed. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Right. I don't think it will be it's that significant. Uh, no, it will. Trash it's, it's already trash. It's already trash. It's already trash. At yeah. seven hundred, that is trash. I'm sorry. Okay, but it's gonna be. It's gonna be more trash, Babati. You know, if they I wouldn't say it's that. trash though. At seven hundred, that's market forces, isn't it? One man, it was barely what two hundred. <laughs> how many years ago? How do you jump almost how many percentage within five years? That is trash. Yeah. That is true. Well, the, well, the world no. has gone through a recession. No, and that's from, from, in no, Nigerian. from no. 20 to 20, for within seven years, it went from 200 to seven. What that is, five, that is trash. You've lost the value now. Come on now. You've lost the, your value. If you had that kind of money in the bank, how much do you have left now? One man, what, what was it before the before the recession? It was already sliding down. So, recession made it worse. I mean, Nigeria is not the worst recession. We, we should have been earning a lot of money right now because of the oil boom, you know. 
But of course, we are going contrary, you know, to that. So beside that, you know, other countries have reception. I mean, we have reception in the U.S., you know, yeah, you know, but everything is kind of creeping up a I little bit every, better. I think every currency has lost value to the, to the dollar. Right. But Nigeria has, you know, ha Nigeria has gotten the worst of it. Uh, can I Even interject, though, we're not please? We're to be in this position right now. Except yeah. Russia and Rufi. I said Russia. Uh, no, no, no. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are run, they are running a scam in Russia. Who, who, who care about Russia over here? Who care about Russia? Can I interject, please? Russia is not part of the. It's not part of the. It's not part of the society. Uh, as, I said, go, go as a Democrat, I'm not surprised you said that. You're a Democrat, so I'm not surprised you said that. It's okay. Go ahead, Solly. Yeah. Uh, no, no. That was Thomas. Yeah, Thomas, come in. Oh, Thomas. I'm sorry. Go ahead, yeah. Thomas. Um, uh, good evening, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Good, good evening, everyone. Yeah. Um, but what we are facing in Nigeria is not peculiar to only Nigeria, but I think maybe our home is a little bit extreme. It's not Even a little Australian bit. Actually, not a little bit. Actually, it's not that. Let extreme. me finish <laughs> now. Compared to Ghana, we're me, better off. Let me finish. And yes, we are okay. even better off. Let me finish, my brother. Australian dollar is losing value to US dollar every day. Every day. How, how much just in percentage like, has it lost uh, in a 12 month period? It's, it's just fluctuating. It will go up, come down, go okay. up. Okay, so, so, uh, so in this time, uh, in um, August One last month. year, in, uh, how much was it to the dollar? Do you know? Oh, I can't really say precisely, but it's flunt weight. Sometimes it will go so down, then later on, it will pick up. So, one man, even interest rates here, they've increased it three times in a month. Yeah, because of recession. Three times. Because, yes, because... So, so why do Nigeria be an pay. exception? <laughs> so, why would Nigeria... Let me see, let me let me let, let's not kind of absorb like Nigeria. Nigeria oh, please let, let's not absorb Nigeria. I beg. All right. Yes, there's global issues. Yes, dollar is strong because of America increasing interest rates. Everybody's going after the dollar. Dollar is gaining. I mean, right now it's one dollar to one pound to one point one seven dollar. One point one seven dollar. Before it used to be one pound to one point one point five or something like that. So yes, apart from Russia ruble, but Saudi Arabia. All the all the oil producing co uh, countries, they I mean they're able to resist the shock better than every other area. So Nigeria doesn't have an excuse for all this runaway inflation we're having because we should hey, be making it's not money. The now. Runaway inflation it, it's consistent with uh, with um, global affairs and uh, and, a, and a slowing economic space. Okay, well, at what rate? At what rate? Because look at those. No, are I absorb them now. Let, let me let me see if I can let me see if I can take this. Okay, COVID cost yes. global wala. Like, I mean, we went. Everybody got locked indoors. There was no money. Government pumped money anyhow outside so people could still survive. Then people were not buying. I mean, supply chain cracked down. So there was way too much money for the goods. And then by the time they now unlocked us, I mean, what's one man? What's the English? They they released us. That we can now go and work. Supply chain is still cramping down. There's a lot of they've not government hasn't stopped that flow of money. Many people are now looking for fewer goods to buy. So the entire world is inflated because Nigeria too pumped money. Everybody pumped, everybody printed money. So that is what we're suffering for. But in order to beat the inflation, everybody's increasing the interest rate. And if US should increase the interest rate, everybody wants to go and invest in US debt. So you you will lose against the dollar naturally. And, and so, to talk about this oil boom that they say Nigeria is not taking advantage of. This oil boom has only been in the last what what three five months. But six at the, months. Uh, Russia, yeah, the, Russia yeah, the, the, yeah six months. But in the six years preceding that, uh, oil has been at uh, maybe not at a record low, but certainly it, throughout the low. ten of the administration, it, it has been somewhat at a very well, especially when they came in, I think it was around about uh, 30, some 30, 35 You're right. dollar. You're so, right. So, so the, there was nothing that insulated the Naira, because that's the only thing that does insulate the Naira. 
So it's, it's global forces rather than and, and, and in addition to poor what? management of course. Yeah, but, so, I mean, yeah. Wama, you... Wama Rakulata. So is yeah. that a credit to the Buhari administration for managing the economy where there's no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what no no that's what you're doing now. Wama, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to I don't want to be in any position to defend Buhari, but let, <laughs> let me put it this way. What oh, Wama said, what Wama said is very, very true. For a long time, oil was less than fifty dollars per barrel. So, but you see, the reason I can blame Buhari when it was less than fifty dollars per barrel, the government stopped paying subsidy. So we did not feel it. So when it went up, the government had to start paying subsidy. So right now, that is up. All our money is now going towards subsidy. If it goes down, we'll be, look at Nigeria. We're so messed up. If it goes down, so Kulata, AP, Kulata, in a special APC government are waste. It's a waste. We don't need APC, them back. APC government is a waste. So we don't need them back. We don't need them back in power. If you are voting on power, <laughs> if you are voting on party, please don't vote for APC. If you are voting on party. <laughs> but no, honestly, Nigeria is so messed up. So you see, if, if the thing comes down now, one man. there's nothing to subsidize. So our economy will be better. One, now, one if, if it goes up, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, one man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one man. Is that his yeah. Yeah, carry on. Is that yeah? Time yeah, carry. um, I'm yeah. I have to tell you uh, before I leave because I'm going to watch. I'm going to I'm going to the bar to watch football. You know. Yes, right very now. good. <laughs> from from my former from my former team, you know the LA. I mean the LA Chargers it used to be San Diego Chargers. So we are going to the bar to watch them play this the final preseason. But anyway. Oh, there are different people from California. I keep telling you. So look yeah. at what you say. There are just different people that state. So go ahead. Sorry. Whatever. <laughs> One man. Um, before I leave, what time are you coming on tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I'll be on twice. I'll be on uh, in the afternoon for around about uh, 1, 1, 1 20 p.m. UK time. And then about 9.45 uh, uh, p.m. UK, uh, UK time. Uh, but okay. before, you, before you leave, what's the bar menu uh, for watching football? So what would you have on your table as you watch the game? Uh, you oh, have drinks, of course. I'm gonna have my chicken. You know, um, I'm 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 gonna have um, the chicken with different kind of spicy sauce on it. You know, but I normally I normally like um, um, the one with no bone. You know, that's what I normally you know get from the bar. I like it. I like my chicken and some other things come with it. French fries. Mm -hmm. You've left uh, Nigeria uh, for too uh, long. Uh, 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 hold on now. Uh, hold on, please. Uh, uh, what no, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't drink beer. You know, but I I drink a little bit of mixed drink. You know, I don't like a cocktail. I don't I don't drink beer. Yeah, but anyway, chicken is my favorite. Are, are, are you one of those people that you eat those chicken with a glove? Do you wear gloves? Do you wear rubber gloves to eat chicken in America? No, who does that? As some weird people do, they wear I don't all these uh, I use, I use, gloves too. I use my hand. I dip my you know I dip my spicy sauce. You know, yeah. Ah, but Listen, there's no you. bone in the chicken now. A ah, chicken with no bone. Ah, it's, well, it's sometimes funny. I eat chicken wing, you know, but sometimes I eat one with the, without the bone, you know. So it kind of depends. It kind of depends what my chicken, want, chicken you know. tender. Yeah, yeah. chicken <laughs> tender. <laughs> I but it depends right. anyway. I but anyway, um, before I leave, one man, um, are you going to talk about this guy from um from Delta uh, to put um what's his name Topola or whatever Tom one that was uh, doing four billion. Uh, yeah, but I, I think that might well be in contention because I think they are debunking it. But then I think they are also fighting over the money because I think other criminal gangs. Other oh, group, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyway, whatever you do, um, I'm living right now. So everybody, my brothers and sisters, I, we don't have any lady here, but my brothers and sisters, you have a good night, okay, everybody? Love I pop. I pop, I pop, please, before you leave. Your team, should have, your team should have stayed in San Diego. You know, in, in LA, the Rams own LA. So why did they move to LA for God's sake? They should have stayed back. I think it's because no. I think it's because of financial reason. I mean, that was, just, that was dumb, man. It was a dumb move. Nobody. Ra, ra. I mean, they are my they are my team. Mm. There's nothing I can do. You know, they moved to LA. You know, yeah, from like San Diego to LA. But oh, I still oh, go. Right. I still go watch them. I mean, I can't go away. I'm very. You know, that's that's the team that I know. How, I learned how to play. They're how to terrible. Play, how to watch they're, they suck now. They they terrible. No, team. they are not. All we right. have one of the best young quarterbacks. 
Yeah, we exactly. gonna conclude this year. No, no, no playoffs. I be no playoffs. Don't super boy. Forget about that. It's a different year. But everybody, everybody, my brother, your team, yeah. All right. I I hope your team wins. The only thing I object to is you guys calling it football, which is which is not. It's just a preseason. This is just the last preseason. Listen, I'm a cowboy fan. Oh no, forget it. All right, good night, everybody. All right, all right. Thank you, San Diego. So thank you, San Diego. So, uh, so yes, so so, uh, yeah, so that comes under Ove. So let's go on from San Diego to let let's go to Ove. Let's go to Ove. So Ove, let's take you through it. Uh, since you are not virtually half asleep, uh, so uh, are you in a different location today, Ove? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, all right. So to it then, uh, the main talking point: a uh, hundred and thirty-seven borders in Nigeria unguarded. So, of course, then that tells you that there is no war against insurgency in the country, uh, okay? <laughs> well, I have a different view to that. I mean, okay. as a supporter of uh, borderless Africa, and Africa to be one citizen, one passport, I, I don't know, I think I'm for it. All the borders should be thrown open across the continent. We should be, we are not animals, for God's sake, we don't hate ourselves like that. Yeah, all we need to do is to you know put things in order, and I don't think we'll be scared of who comes in and who goes out. So, but I understand uh, you know what what is at play there, and uh, is that just like what you say? You may comment that I quite agree with that. Yeah. With all those billions and trillions of naira that they've spent within the, five, within the seven years, why is it now that the man is coming out to say almost half of the country border is not protected? You know, so I, I I I don't see I don't know why he's saying that. I don't see any sense in you know even letting us know. I wish we would be sympathizing with them for not being able to protect uh, that much uh, space or why well, should we be saying, Yeah, you guys tried? I don't I don't know why uh, oh, oh, okay. You know. Is is that not the most befuddling uh, thing that you've yet heard? Uh, we've had, we've been having a lot of problems and I'm saying a lot, uh we are just overwhelmed by it. Uh, of our uh, insurgents and bandits and uh, terrorists coming in from those identified spaces from Niger Republic and Chad. So um, the chief of defense staff has now come out uh, after having been seven years in the, in the space, not him particularly, but his government, uh, to tell us that uh, the spaces where the insurgents and bandits and terrorists are coming in through, there is no border post there. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> I think it, this goes down to what uh, we are going back and forth over the other day with the uh, rational mind when we are trying to let him know that it's just the political will when it comes to this uh, bandit and terrorists or whatever that lack of the political will to contribute to you know what is happening. And I don't think this is a, this is a clear example. I mean, if you can identify that many routes that you know that is open. And you are not telling me that uh, you don't know who is coming in. You don't know how to, you know, actually deal with these people. You just, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I, I'm, I'm trying to rally my rally around it. What is the point? Why is it coming out? Should we, the citizen, be saying yes when I don't try, or is that an excuse for the trillions and millions of naira that has spent, that has been spent just to even protect that place? I mean, the president locked uh, the border for how many months? So are and you saying that? Yes, but that was in the south, though. <laughs> How can you lock a border that is not manned? <laughs> you can't lock a border. Who, who, <laughs> in, uh, yeah, I mean, even though, as I said, I'm not in favor of you having borders, but if that is the route we are going to take, let's be serious about it. So, I, I mean, if the military man are saying this, which is okay, what, they, what are they, what is the point in coming out and telling us? You know, I mean, it doesn't, it's, uh, I mean, we just have to decide if only so one is, is it asking us to go and solve it? Is that what is it? What is it inviting <laughs> us to do? Uh, to, to <laughs> go and man the border like... in our uh, no? uh, what, what What is it saying? What sort of. Uh, you know, uh, those are the questions too I'm asking. Well, why, why are you telling us? I mean, are you saying, okay, oh, we, we the military guy, we can't. Citizen, we're not taking our fit. Or is it telling our, us that or... it's beyond their capacity to man borders? Is, what, what is it that we are meant to take from that? 
that's 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 what I'm saying. That exactly I mean. Well, as you know, this government that maybe we should pay attention within the near future. We hear some kind of ridiculous uh, news that uh, some billions that uh, come out or coming. Or, I mean, that uh, weapon coming. Something. Yeah, I think when these people come out and speak like this with audacity, if 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 we are if we are wondering why he's saying it, we should pay attention to the future. Some kind of ridiculous features come out. See one million a weapon the entire country about blah 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 something just out of this world that will just blow everybody mind probably is on the cooking so because it, it, it doesn't it, make it, sense. It is it, really uh, my question to um to to Joel when we first started that uh, do we even have a country because if you don't have a border then do you have a country do we do we have a country? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think uh, if we want to define a country, it's beyond the, the borders. But I, again, I see well, where you are coming from. It's primarily the borders. It's a geographical <laughs> space, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, for the fact that I'm talking about it, we have borders. Is it well uh, protected as it ought to be? Yeah, well, that's the question we all live to answer. But just as I said, me as, as a person, I don't subscribe to that idea, but, you know, it is what it is. So... Is it also a cash cow for some people, not just uh, for some Nigerians, as you keep saying at this point on? For some Nigerians, are they cashing, cashing out from that, you know, project that uh, failed uh, unguarded area of the country? But if it's coming out from the ministry, one man, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If today now, normal citizens come out, prominent citizens come out, they complain about that. We agree that the military are trying to cover up. But for the them to say, to say, come on. Uh, you saying that's that's failure as far as I'm concerned. And uh, but what can we do now? Well, we can only focus on bringing a, a a government that will not, you know, throw this full step. Uh, we'll bring another only full and man and try bring another full and man that we and try him. Oh, all right. Well, well, uh, <laughs> let, let me take you to a different space. Uh, um, uh, uh, Ovie. Uh, why I met article of Asanjo Tinobu in London. So that's wiki, of course. Uh, we, it, it was quite a long and uh, windy sort of uh, readout, but there was really nothing to come out of it. He's saying that uh, he and his group, they are trying to find uh, the best way out for Nigeria, out of the mess that we're in, and is auditioning the uh, runners and riders. Uh, d does that even make any sense, um, Ovie? <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. There's, there's more to what they are telling us taking place in that space. And I quite agree with uh, a uh, Joe's submission about, you know, the if you want to use the word conspiracy going on that, yes, it has to be, the presidency has to come to not. I mean, if that is what is going to reduce his struggle to, I will give it to him because he's be among the 17 clowns. He's the only one that I teach you to the course, if that is the case. But again, I still believe that, uh, other than what Joe said, I believe that is also a struggle between the 66 and the June 12 uh, candidate. The June 12 led by Tunubu, of course, and the Konkos, why the military guys through their surrogates coming in as OB and the fact that uh, Atiku is not trusted in that year and there. And I think that is what is going on. So, And that's what I said at the early stage of this platform, that when a new sheriff comes into town, a lot of things will happen. And whoever wins this election, there is, a, there, is a, there is every possibility that the power dynamic may take a different structure other than what we are seeing, you know, with the military managers running things going up to today. So whoever that come in, you know, before he finish uh, his administration, either for eight years, there will be a power, you know, you know, reshuffle. With the no, no, uh, it, 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 it's a certainty uh, of it. Because whoever wants yeah. to come in, because who, who the people that are coming in, they are strong personalities, if we leave Peter will be aside. So the people that are coming in, they are strong personalities. And they also know the Nigerian uh, space. So they will want to have full charge of uh, that country. And they know the, the power blocks of, and the power bases of all of these people. They know it's military, yeah. they know it's finance, and they know it's corruption. And they will go first to go and attack the military space that these people hold. Especially if Tenobo becomes um, the president. He will, he will do all he can to rebalance the Nigerian army so that it's not a threat to the Nigerian state and especially to his own administration. And I think Atiku would do similarly. So they would try and break, because they have to have full charge of that country and not be like Goodluck Jonathan, who was like the houseboy president. 
So, so, so uh, all those old structures, they would take them on. Uh, but then we do need the old structures to, uh, taken on. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's to say, a lot, I mean, we have six months to go, so a lot is still going to happen. A lot is still going to happen within the political parties. But one man, I beg, uh, let me, I beg to take a leave. I have, uh, you know, somebody just pull up on me. Let me bring oh, oh, guy oh, in, please. Oh, 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 all right, oh, all right, brilliant. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 all right, thank you, Ovi. Uh, uh, next time thank I come you. to you earlier. So, so that's Ovi. So let, let me go on from Ovi to, let, let's go to Solly. Uh, so we seem to be hemorrhaging everybody now. Uh, so, so uh, Solly, you're up next. Uh, are you ready to go? If you are ready to go, then you have to unmute yourself, Solly. Oh yes. Oh, all right. So, so I see you are on your yacht. Is that is that what it is? No, it's the beach. It's the beach. It's the beach. Is it the beach, or yeah. is it just a that's, green that's screen? The boat. Eh? <laughs> it, eh? the boat that is not moving. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, so, so thank you, Solly. So solid to it, then the, the 370, uh, 337 borders in Nigeria that is unmanned. So th that's the fight against insecurity right there. Nigeria, Nigerians are always look so late to news. It's like they're always late to the news two or three years later. You know, in fact, they didn't even know about it based on their own research. Somebody had to come out and tell them. No, Nigerians are not taking. No, that. it's the chief of defense staff now, so he is the one that has the information. Yes, but I knew this. I knew. I knew this. Okay, I didn't know how many borders were not secure, but I knew that the northern borders were not secure since like two or three years ago. You know. And no, we, we've if... always known that there are unsecured borders in the north, but we did not know that virtually all borders in the north are not secured. Woman. I... Have you, have you seen a border before? I don't know. I go through airports. I don't. I don't. Travel yes, by but road, borders yeah. for like countries. No, like I said, Imagine. I don't travel by road. You know. So 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 I've seen borders. You know, when you go to Cyprus, there's a border between Northern Cyprus and Southern Cyprus. I've seen that border. I know what a border is supposed to look like. What a border is supposed to. Nigeria does not have border, so it's just an open ground. You know, everybody in that country should be in hysteria because anybody can come from Niger, Mali, Chad, wipe out anybody and go back to their own country because there's nothing there. Do you know how dangerous it is to not have a border? Your house door is left open to, uh, should I call them savages? But savages are out there. They've been open since for years. And, you know, we may not know in the South, but trust that these northern people know i'm sure even a majority of the average northerners know that this border has been open for years the the counter argument is that the border lines between nigeria and all of those uh countries in the north is so vast and expansive that it's near impossible to man <laughs> near impossible how big is nigeria how big is nigeria uh, nigeria is very big is it bigger than us yeah, well, mm -hmm. you can't draw parallels between Nigeria and US now. Ah, uh -uh, one man, it's just an excuse. It's just yeah. border. It's literally just border. You, you, you don't even need to put cement or concrete. You put your border, you put your cameras, finish the end. It's not that hard. And you put your immigration spots. You are not, we're not saying you should not allow people to not enter, but you get at least let's know that these people are not bringing, we don't know what they are bringing in. What if they are bringing in uranium? We don't know <laughs> you know so it's just it's just nonsense is is it really a country you know is it really because the people are not alarmed they, they are watching big brother now they've started again you know so the the, the um the border between nigeria and Niger republic alone is 1608 kilometers which is uh, roughly a thousand miles so how, how do you mind that you put fence and security cameras everywhere. It doesn't okay, even, it doesn't, a thousand miles? Yes. A thousand miles? Yes. You put cameras everywhere. A, a thousand miles to save over 200, 000, 200 million people. Uh, uh, what are we talking about? To protect two, over 200 million people is not worth it. You don't have to put physical somebody physical there to man it all the time. What is it going to cost? 
and it will greatly save the people. Do you know how much that the, the, the amount of security that thing will give us? From just a little thing that we implement. Sorry, sorry. I mean, even the amount amount of money we have spent on insecurity. Let's start from there. If we say let's build fences with that money. So what is the cost of not having it? What's the cost of not having it? Do you, know, having it? Do you know how long the border is between Nigeria and Cameroon? One mile. One mile. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. It's a, 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 a thousand two hundred and twenty-seven miles. It and doesn't matter. It will it not be worth it to protect over two hundred million people? No, no. What I'm saying to you is that the the, the, the space is too vast to be. You cannot manage. How do you man? How do you man nearly saying. three thousand miles of our? You are not going to manage. You are not going to manage. Like I said, you put security camera. You you you. What you, do you mean you security make... camera? Security camera on 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 three thousand miles of our border. Yes, and sensors. Yeah, you can put on, on three thousand miles. Yes, you can put security man and camera. You can put sensors, different areas. What Spread security it. camera expands to three thousand miles? It's not going to expand. You are going to put a certain amount for every certain distance. Okay, if you are going to put a security ma uh, camera in, maybe like. Uh, 20 meters or 30 meters or every 50 meters you can also put sensors in some areas depending on the geography of that area it's just study it's just planning yeah, over I, I, 200 I, 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 you protect over 200 million people I, I, and no. now if somebody if somebody goes through the wrong border it triggers the camera or it triggers the sensor and you have enough you don't have to put manned people everywhere so solar powered security, security power. camera B. is it solar powered yes it can be solar powered even ah. a better idea <laughs> Then Look once the sensors once the sensors are triggered, you have forget to once that. the sensors are triggered. All these things now. are they are they are not viable for the Nigerian space. What what are you How talking about? Nigerian Nigeria, Nigeria does not have the infrastructure to support that sort of thing. To support this simple thing. They don't have the infrastructure infrastructure. They don't have the infrastructure. What infrastructure do they have? difficult about it. One man, do you say we we don't have the capacity to do it? Is that what you are saying? I'm, I'm, I'm saying we don't have the infrastructure to support it. Uh, yeah, we can, we, but we have the capacity if we want to really do it. We what, can what do, do it. What, what do you mean by capacity? What's infrastructure? We have everything that it, we have everything that it takes in terms of you know we have the money. We can get all the equipment. We can get we can get everything done. You know, exactly. to protect our border. Yeah, yeah, That's, no, the it, That's it, what it, I mean. It, it, no, in terms of putting cameras in, on the borders and putting sensors, mm -hmm. so you, you you need infrastructures to support that. That's what, what I'm saying. We can provide the infrastructure. So, we can put exactly the infrastructure in infrastructure place we if we want to do it. Uh, all right. Every okay. infrastructure to do it. We are, we, uh, we are know, talking of long. We are. We, what, what has happened to Nigeria is a long, long time ne neglect of our yes. border. We do not care if we have been, you do you don't protect. I mean, it takes years to do all these things that we are talking about. What have we done? Have we done anything at all in the past? We okay. just let everything open. See, it's it's so bad. People are using Nigeria to cross through to Europe. They are just passing through our country, like it's nothing. You know. So it, it, we 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 we. We, we can do it if you really want to do it. But you see, every money that is budgeted for security, some people mm -hmm. will loot it. Exactly. No, we, 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 we know that, exactly. but um, I don't mm -hmm. see that uh, you can have borders in our... Uh, um, you can have um, cameras uh, on a, on, well, a 3, 000, on a three thousand on a three thousand stretch of our borderline. That, that well, man, this is this is how well, that, this is how okay. So, how do they man the borders? Well, in man, Europe? it is very how do you possible. Think they man the borders in Europe? Very possible. Through all those people that are trying to cross through Europe, how do you think they do it? I don't know how they exactly. Do it. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, then, I'm, I'm, but I know they are not doing it by cameras. Woman, they have fences, they have cameras, they have sensors, they have everything. And, right? and, and I don't know how long they put the borderline. If, if not, if not, that your UK, you would have seen plenty of people there coming all the way from France. Yeah, well, well that's to so, tell you so, then that the Europeans are supporting that uh, space. Supporting which space? The, the Moroccans for, for reasons of not having uh, an exodus into their continent. So it affects Morocco too. No, it affects okay. Europe more. So okay. the Europeans are, are securing Morocco. Okay, because but they don't want man, in terms of manpower, you don't have to put somebody there everywhere on the border. 
once this camera or sensors are forget triggered, the camera this, this, uh, okay, this okay, is okay, 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 a ludicrous okay, idea how do you put cameras on the street okay, no no how do you put uh, how do you uh, how do you ask how do you put cameras on a 3,000 stretch of more it's than 3,000 3, miles now, stretch of our border line. You know how practical is that? How one much man, is, how much is, one man, they ban this themselves, they will take it down as soon as you put it up. What are you talking about? One man, one man. You didn't even listen to my plan. It's not far fetched, man. It's not far fetched stuff. You didn't listen to my plan. No, you are, you are applying a European uh, solution to an African problem. The European solution is a common sense solution. You didn't uh. listen to the end of my plan. Are you, are you, uh, 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 are you uh, cameras and sensors. Cameras and sensors in Nigerian borders. Can I say something? Can I say something? I, I, I think Soli is making a solid point. And you don't even, even if you don't have cameras, 50,000 people, Nigeria's perimeter is about 5,000 kilometers. Every kilometer you can build a border outpost and put 10 people there. What are our youths doing? 50,000 of them that, that, that can man each sense. of them. If you don't even that, need that, that, that many people, if one man allow me to talk, you will know you don't need that. No, no, you no, don't no, you don't, you, you you don't have the facilities yes, to support can, can cameras and sensors. It's just you know, ludicrous, how, how man. How much is it? How much is can, it? It's not I, the expense. It's a, you don't understand. Uh, anyway, sorry. I don't think you get can it I anyway. But please, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who's that? What is the infrastructure we don't have? What is Chris? Is 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 Brownberry? Oh yeah, Brownberry. Yeah, yeah, come in. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's all he's saying is is true. I'm just going to quickly explain what's what should happen. Cameras can be put in these places. Uh, sensors can be put in these places. Why we will have like 300 300 people, men and women, in the big hall, watching every steps of the way. Mm. You know they are they are in the cameras just watching. If any if there's anything, they will quickly yes. they will quickly signal they will quickly signal the police. You the, the, the military, the air force. Like that. I mean, in, 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 in this part of the world, every kilometer is in our highways. Yes. About two, kilometers and two, there are cameras being supported by uh, solar. Yeah, two four seven. Uh -huh. So, so, it, so solar it can happen. Cameras, it? it can happen in Nigeria. It can also happen in Nigeria. So, no, there is nothing that can, cameras. There is. Is there is nothing that cannot. There's not anything that can happen here in the West can also happen in Nigeria. It's not. It's not. It's nothing. It's nothing different. Why not? Why not? Because the West has infrastructures to support all these things. Nigeria does not. Nigeria, they will build. They will. They will build. They will build that infrastructure. It's more easier now to secure people because of the technology than just putting people there to be standing there. It doesn't really matter. You know, yeah. when, when you cross you, up, when you have yeah, and you have the money, you can build the infrastructure. And we, and have, we, the have, the money. And we have the money. Yes, money build infrastructure. What, what, so what, what, would the, probably what, make, what, what would that probably make more sense if you had, if you were say something remote like uh like drones and you know and satellite and that they will shoot it, down. Uh, Look at that. Everything they, 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 they won't they won't take down I mean, your drop. ridiculous. They won't take down your ridiculous. One man, uh, the camera cameras. is stationed in one point. If ah. these things are triggered, you have people that are manned that can get there in a certain amount of period of time. You, 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 when you have drones, you have to one, one man one man camera in your house. If you have a camera in your house, if you even if you are outside, oh. anybody oh. comes near your door. Oh, if you right. tell you that somebody is there, it's just yeah. But, but the, system, the, system here, the system here, the system here supports that now. <laughs> what what does the system to be built? What system to be built that will support that? Can well. Nigeria not get? All what right. system is there that Nigeria cannot get? All right. Okay. Well, one man, just just to address what Sol is saying, hmm. that is absolutely right. It can be done. I don't know if you have watched some videos. There's a guy in Nigeria now where he's doing that. Know, to make houses where if you put on your house anywhere in the world you are just like even here in the, in the u.s you will matter what goes on from all your rooms around the whole clock or everywhere you can lock the door remotely you can open it you'll be able to see what goes on in the, in the u.s in the u.s in nigeria i tell you in nigeria i've, I've watched the video i've no, watched man, the video of one more things are happening in Nigeria. Don't underrate that. Mm -hmm. the US, are this, 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 this is happening in Nigeria. This is happening in Nigeria. Uh, yes. the, it, we just we just we just tend to like look at it like people are going the all these things that we see here in the West that we want to apply in the in Nigeria, people are already taking it there and making money. There is this uh, billboard that they built in Lagos. I didn't know if you guys watch uh, watch it on uh, Arise. 
it's like a, a huge billboard of um, the ten million bridge. You need to you, you need to you need to take a look at that. I mean, it is it is massive. Guys are doing stuff in Nigeria with the economic system in the way oh, it all is. Right. Oh, 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 all right, let's get back to Soli. So Soli, this fantastic idea of uh, uh, remote uh, 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 cameras on three thousand uh, what uh, there it is. Yes, uh, uh, even even US and Canada uh, uh, have their own. For, no, no, please don't use US and Canada as examples of Nigeria now. The, the US and Canada they have vast advanced spaces nigeria is just some it doesn't it doesn't have to be super advanced sa one man. Space. it doesn't have to be one man doesn't you don't understand how cheap you can do these things nowadays and how easy it is technology has moved on no eh? uh, all right, all right. <laughs> you can you can even buy kind this kind of things on alibaba no yes it, 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 for, oh, all right <laughs> carry on but um I, i'm not quite sure that the idea of uh uh, cameras along a three thousand mile of uh, and then it sensors. Is, it, the camera is like, like they have in position. America, like they in have in America. Position. If it's anybody also, uh, damages it, they will have to, you know, run away from that place. They will not be able to stay there. They, you know, you'll be able to catch them. Either they are in the border or out the border. If they are out the border, that's the safest place for them. Not in the border with the camera that they just damaged. They will know that somebody is looking for them now, now, now at this moment. You know. Well, right. uh, you know, I've always said this, Nigeria has an immigration problem. You know, this is one of our immigration problems. Is it that they don't take... I think they, I think there was a time that anytime they want to do a project, they always take Nigerian officials abroad to go and see how it is done abroad, and then they bring them back to apply it in Nigeria. Or, or, because I saw this, they did this in Ekiti State now. So what 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 happened to our immigration officers are they not training them are they not showing what is happening internationally again you know so this is another issue I, i'm asking a question if anybody knows the answer you know oh, but, 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 but the wider question is that um because uh like you were suggesting the uh let me give you the last paragraph from the chief of defense staff he said uh so i am looking ahead uh uh so it says, Irabo, who advocated the use of technology as a tool in strengthening the Nigerian borders, uh, erection of physical structures, which may well be to do with the cameras we are suggesting, and an effective management, added that there is a need to have a broad-based integrated border management system to be established, she said. So I am looking ahead. When we bring technology to bear in the management of our borders, in addition, of course, to physical structures that needs to be established across the length of our borders, then we can contribute to the overall security of our land. Uh, so, so, all right, so, so good idea, but why, why is this still an idea is the question. Uh, with all of the budgets and all of the years they've had to address this, so, uh, I, I mean, so if he has the solution, why is he not implemented it? Uh, Solid. Uh, this is where we come into play with the full and new agenda now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only this is the only sensible answer I can give. You know that will make sense because any other thing I just think I'll just be saying gibberish and you know, but that's what we see because this 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 year's way for the full is to jump in. If we have secure borders, they will not be able to jump in. And they are not giving them blue guy again you know so they have their plan to bring people in they don't want you know and this is why we need to get them out of the uh, office man not this one that i say you want to vote article you know but, but i don't even have you know i can't even do anything about it and thank god i know article will not win you know so i'm happy about that all right brilliant let me take you to another spot uh uh why i met with article about sanjo tenobu in london so that's wiki of course trying to be uh, grand and presidential uh, as it continues to luxuriate in the attention. <laughs> you know, thank God this guy is not a woman. Hey, we would have suffered. <laughs> but yeah, he still likes the attention as they pay and then, you know, I'm even singing song now. Well, anyway. <laughs> uh, 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 it's a river state something. Carry on. <laughs> you know, he likes the attention. This guy, this guy has made up his mind since. You know, either somebody has to pressure or press him to make a decision, or you just have to watch the whole spectacle. This guy is going to keep on doing this. As the one thing that we know is that he cannot be bought because he's richer than most of them. 
Uh, so he has to be promised something is the yes. thing. Uh, but then whoever promises him something, he also has to be of the thought that, one, that person's politics aligns with his, and that person stands a realistic chance of being the next president. So essentially, it's that a choice. Problem. Yes. So it's a choice really between Tinubu and Atiku that he has to make. But how do you see him making those, uh, the, 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 those, that, that choice? You know, Nigerian politicians handle betrayal very well. <laughs> you know, they can still work with somebody that betrayed them for selfish interest. And uh, it's all about the ideologies. Does it align? You know, I don't think Biki has had issues with uh, Tinubu's people before. He has met them in the past many times. You know, had good uh, occurrences with them. You know, but he has felt he has he has he has been dealt multiple blows in the company he enjoys. Is it time to mature and move on to where he are loved, <laughs> or? Is it going to be like every other Nigerian that will just take a um, Stockholm syndrome and stay in PTP? We don't know, but he likes the attention. That's one thing I know. Out of everything that we don't know, I know he likes the attention and he's going to keep on pulling our strings till probably the final day of election. You know. Now, but but the things that we do know is that um it's not essentially uh it's not essentially I, I i think maybe we can conclude that he's not likely to go with Atiku, just because there's, of there's all nothing the, uh, Atiku yeah. can offer him except for Atiku step down and give wiki presidency that's the only thing he wants there's well, nothing or, or, he or, or, or if he sacrifices the uh chairman of the party uh that might persuade mm. the, uh wiki but then mm. he has taken that as a sticking point that he's not going to do it so mm. I, never say never. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing, though. The, the, the other thing that I am anticipating, Solly, is that uh, you may well over the next uh, uh, five to seven days uh, hear the chairman of the party say that he has chosen to step down mm. just, just to, 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 uh, to bring people back together. So he might well, uh, they might well go that route. But is that even too late with all these negotiations all already in play? I don't know. Because Tinubu, Tinubu does not know how to handle people that don't need him well. You know, he knows how to handle people that need him. You know, and he can offer them something. But what can he really offer Wiki? You know, Wiki is somebody that is strong-minded. He can't really need Tinubu for anything. You know, so that's another thing. PDP, PDP, PDP still has the chance and the opportunity to get him back. They still have the open window, you know. But if APC find a way, which I know that they are working day and night for, and it's not some illiterates that is working on it, it's somebody that probably went to school in UK and did masters. Probably a team of people that went to school in UK and did masters that are working on the plan to get Wiki back, get Wiki to APC. So, PDP is, is that is that is that your measure of a clever of a, of a clever person, somebody that went to school in the UK and did masters? Mm, compared to what the other uh, parties have as their thinking heads, yes. Okay. Well, uh, can I interject? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. carry on. Yeah, a a yes. APC tends to hire the best of the best. That one thing I know. They yeah, so let me quickly interject. You, you, you see the, the chairman that the, the wiki groups put there, that that condition they put there, they know that that condition will be met. They know what they are doing. They just put that condition there. They know that the, the chairman is not going to step down. It will not happen. And that's why they just put that condition there. And there is nothing on earth that will make wiki groups to work for article. That's just uh, that's just the plain truth. They are not going to... They, oh, I mean, it's, they are politicians. They, they are politicians. Be, in their politicians. They can let me tell you, let me tell you yeah. something. Uh, uh, solely is a payback time. That's what they are doing. That's what the Southern people are doing right now. Yeah, yeah, you are you are the one that you is a normal average citizen that used to do all those payback time, all those revenge, all those av avenge, avengers. These are serious times. Personal interest. These are serious times. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Have you forgotten that there were rumors of good luck Jonathan going to APC? 
You forgot. Didn't I tell? Didn't I tell you that was it? That was a rule. That that was just my interest. It's not vengeance. It's not revenge. It's not the other party. It's, it's there is, the, the reason I'm the reason I'm saying is that to pay time back. This this also happened before during Jonathan, mm -hmm. where or even those that were in PDP worked against Jonathan and said it's their turn. So it's just the same thing that is going on. It's the same thing that is happening. You know, let me tell you what Obasanjo is doing. Obasanjo, oh, all Delhi would have been the gov the president after Obasanjo. Obasanjo did everything to stop Peter Odili, former River State Governor, and gave that uh, presidency to say uh, Musa Yaradwa. Okay, just for the north. And Obasanjo, after what happened, happened then. That was why Obasanjo was against Jonathan, to make sure that the, the power goes back to the north. So Obasanjo is now saying that the power should also come back to the south, as he has always he, he fought for the north. So he's also fighting now for his people. So the power is going to come here. There is nothing uh, uh, Atiku is going to do. These people, they are not going back to Atiku. They are just trying to know who they are going to pitch their attention to. Is it going to be with Tinubu or is it going to be with the, the Labour? That's what they are doing. They are not if they are going to pitch their attention with, 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 with Tinubu, it's not with APC, it's with the man. If they are going to pitch their attention with, with Labour, it's not with Labour, it's with the person, the individual people, not... Uh, you know this is just a different but, time. but they, they cannot really give any consideration any serious consideration to labor party uh, because peter he, is not a viable candidate he, 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 you know what uh uh one i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna argue that with you but we'll just wait and see what's gonna play off but i just know that it's gonna be between tinubu and uh and labor but but i'm not gonna go out there and start arguing uh, with that let's see what happens we are all praying for the uh, new nigeria oh, 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 all right but um uh, so back to you, Solly. So back to you, Solly, uh, and uh, Wiki and his wily ways. I just see that the guy has just seen that he has small leverage, you know, and he's playing it very well. He's still giving PDP the opportunity, but PDP, they are letting it sleep, you know, they are, they are acting very unsure. And I keep on saying it's, this, these other parties and the other politicians they are kind of disappointing because they don't know how to play the game. You know, to, to me, they are disappointing because I've heard so much about them and from what I see them playing, they just, they just look like people that have been allowed to cheat all their life and it's now finally time to do the work and they cannot do anything. You know, but uh, anyway, I, I, if APC pushes far, hard enough, they'll be able to get wiki. You know, he still, he still likes PDP. That's why he's still giving them the chance to offer him something. But... The opportunity won't last that long. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Oh, all right, brilliant. So, so thank you, Solly. So, Solly, for time, let me go on from you to let me go to Kulata. Uh, if it's ready, uh, Kulata, are you ready? Hey, yeah. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, so, so, uh, are you sure you are ready? Because I can hear uh, your attention being sought somewhere else. Uh, no, I'm, dr I'm drinking. I'm just drinking my Friday wine to cool off. Your Friday wine. What, what's your? Uh, what's your? Are you a Chardonnay man or a Mole? What? What? What are no, you? No, this, your is, red this wine? is red wine Chardonnay. This is Chardonnay. Oh, 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 all right, br br brilliant. Uh, so, 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 brilliant. Uh, so, certainly you would need to drink when you hear that uh, thirty-seven borders in Nigeria are unguarded. So, what are you making then of that headline? Uh, well, I I kind of agree with Soli because. Uh, the technology, the technology to like we, we can use cameras and sensor system. Those things are commoditized now. They're cheap. They're, they're cheap as cheap. As, I mean, especially if I mean, if what we do is to go and buy the part and assemble it ourselves. I mean, we have smart guys from uh, Uniben, Ife, UI, and Code. I mean, they can put all this stuff together. Like someone's final year project. I mean, back in the day when I was doing my own. Um, what's it called? Wasn't a final year project. We built, I mean, we, we built some pretty stuff. I mean, now that those things are, they're very, very cheap. You you can mount it, put some transducer there, and if anybody passes, it will trigger something. And then you have some boys that are eating agbado and cassava, like a few kilometers away. They can carry their ding guns and go and check the border. So uh, something that they have to buy in bulk, and if we assemble it ourselves. Is perfectly doable so in 2022 is not an excuse for us not to be able to scale our border but if you put it through the normal government system procurement and all then they will cause some billions and billions of dollars and then they'll release the money and they'll chop it and then we know nothing will happen so it's, it's kind of like a shame that though that we don't have 
uh, a form of protection in our borders. But let's be honest with ourselves too. Uh, our borders will always be porous because uh, not it's not feasible. I mean, I don't know, depending on where what the terrain is like, there's some terrains that you really can't put anything against and th those will be there. But there's some high traffic areas that at least you need to uh, put protection in some sort of system. Even if you don't have the manpower, you should try and put some sort of system that can at least trigger, I mean, system that will monitor and make the most efficient use of the manpower. We don't need to kind of like populate the whole place with foot soldiers. Well, it is what it is. But it's not only Nigeria. It's across the entire African continent that we really don't have, um, that we have porous borders. So there's nothing, it's not news. To all me. right, brilliant. All right, brilliant. And to the uh, to the uh, wiki space and his convoluted politics. What's your reading of it? Uh, he's had all these meetings with all the front runners, and he says he's still indecisive. The the only my summary is I think they want the power to come to the south. Uh, uh the only thing I'm trying to think of like what is the calculus if uh they kind of like say okay they they try and gather support for both ob and tinobu will that weaken atiku more or will atiku i mean what's the how will it look like if wiki and his gang are conversing for both labor party and apc like Will that weaken Atiku more? I've been trying to think about that scenario. Because is that a stalemate? One way or the other, they need if, to... If Wiki and, and, and his uh, group, if they, are, if, they, if they are against the Atiku presidency, then that ends his ambition. It, it ends Atiku's ambition, but it drags the presidency. That means it probably will not end in one round. Because Atiku is not... Atiku will not go down easy now. I think we're still strong in the north. So, uh, I mean, Wiki and his gang is just south, south. Or your state is north. And who's going to get to your state anyway? It's, it's just south, south. And Benue. And how much power does even Autom control in Benue? In Benue politics. I, let's even really look at these men's powers. Like, to what extent can they even control their space? Does Wiki's influence stretch into Bielsa, or does Wiki's influence stretch into uh, what's it called, uh, Cross River and Aqua Ibom? I'm not so sure. And those other governors, what will they be doing? Will I mean, are they just going to be dancing to Wiki's win? I think this Wiki's thing may be even overrated. Yeah, it's going to be a spoiler, but it may not. At the end of the day, it may not end up resulting in that much. Uh, impact because i don't think he, he, his area of his span of influence probably doesn't move more than river states even the river states there's there's an extent wiki has not been tested in river elections he always goes to court and kind of like counsel one thing or counsel the other candidate yeah so you don't even know his own the power he actually wields in rivers to be to be honest so I just think it's just too much Cinderella. Yes. What do you mean by you have not been tested? What do you mean by that? The last elections it was supposed to run against someone, if I remember correctly, and that person was disqualified or so. Is that correct? I remember something mm -hmm. like it always goes to court before his elections and they cancel one thing or cancel another thing. So. Well, the, well. When the federal government used all the military might and it defeated them with uh, Amici and all of them, you said it's not been tested. All okay, that, um, okay, yeah, okay, it was tested that first time, but the second time it went to court. Which so, second time was that? The, the, the second, second election. election as well. The same thing. The it defeated them too. Defeated them again. Uh, but it the main his, his main opposition didn't didn't they disqualify it before the election or something? The, Something was, happened. I just but, can't remember it, the details. It was the AAC. It was the AAC candidate that was disqualified. Uh, you know that 
was uh, that they had issue with, not APC. Okay, so yeah, the world... just, just to tell you how strong Wiki is, Wiki scored three times as much as the APC uh, candidates in the last election. A three APC times. is APC is nothing. APC is nothing in River State. So, but I I just don't think Wiki has enough powers to say. Okay, what is Wiki supposed to do now? Wiki is supposed to go and tell Rivers people go and vote for APC or go and vote well, for Liberal Party. That tells you that he has a stranglehold on that our, our state. I don't. I I don't. He may be able to win elections under PDP. I don't think he's strong enough. I think he's overrated. I don't think he's strong enough to tell people to now not vote PDP, to now go and vote for APC. Collata, or vote for yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we case called uh, 474,000. Yeah, but that, that is, that is weak. Uh, that, that tells you that he has uh, a stranglehold. No, it, it tells me as a PDP candidate, he will uh, score high. It doesn't it, tell was, me was he can PDP tell... PDP they were voting for week a? Both. I don't think we can we can tell people to go and vote for APC and then they'll go and vote for Kulata. APC just like that. Kulata, let, can, let me quickly interject. Uh, when you talk about you know, see these Wiki and Autumn and uh, those governors, they are just they are just the face. There are a lot of people behind them that we are not even. Seeing. Yeah, they have structure. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, we, uh, Jerry Ghana is there. Uh, Donald Duke is there. You know, look that Taraba State Governor. We, we have not heard of heard from him. You know, so. There are a lot, hey, lot of people that are there that are behind them. They are just the face that we are seeing. So, I get that. I don't 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 say I don't get that. But can they redirect the entire? I mean, not the entire majority of the states vote from PDP to another party. They to what are extent? The PDP, or, or, or let me put it. Let me put it this way. WK is PDP in River I, State. Uh, but Take WK out. There what, is no more wait, PDP. No. To what extent can Wiki tell? As okay, let's assume Wiki caught a deal with Tinubu, right? Mm. So let's just as this is all assumptions. So to what extent can Wiki now say River State is Tinubu you are voting I, I, for? I, I, I and then they will answer that now. He has answered that Wiki is PDP in River State, and if you take Wiki out, there is no PDP, which is to say that he he has a a firm grip on the state. Okay, put Kulata yeah. under skeptical. Like I'm not saying it's not influential, but, but I just don't think I think the influence is overblown in Canada. No, 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 it's the structure. Now. We are talking about uh, structure. Uh, even, the even with the structure, even with the structure now, the represent the structure of PDP, and people, wherever they go, if they move out of PDP, that's the end of PDP. But we're, we're we're talking about a lot of people vexing for APC big time right now, really, really vexing for APC. And no, then, you see, let, let me tell you the sentiment that they are going to use, which is going to use. They are going to use these South, not, uh, South it versus North. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not, not, only him, not only him, not that him, that why must it be not all the time? They just completed their own eight years. Why must the power go back to the North? And it will re resonate with people. It will. Well, I guess so, but I just think, I mean, I'm okay. It's let me not put myself very easy. It's very easy. People will not people will not vote for the north once they come out with that argument and that campaign. That look, it cannot be it, we, we, as a matter of fact, they have it in uh they had it in their constitution before they change it that okay, there's gonna be power rotation from the north and the east uh, in and the north and yeah. the south, and now they rob them uh, of of that rotation. And again, you want to rob them of the general election again. They say no. So the people will still reason with them and then go and vote. Uh, but he, wherever see, they are going. He, he will have people that will reason with him. But will he majority, have the majority? Majority. Will he have the one? Will he have the critical? Will he have the critical mass? That is where I am skeptical. No, they will have the critical mass because they are the one controlling that state. They are the absolute controller of that state. Every structure, every local government. They are the one controlling it. So and Atiku, they have the apartment on the ground. So Atiku will let that... It will, it will look what at, is it, Atiku? It, Atiku it, have nobody line. there. You, Atiku have Atiku, nobody Atiku, there. Atiku, 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 Atiku is the person that represents the, the, the party you, there that will work for Atiku. Do you also know that the, that the traditional rulers as well, they also want the power to come to the south? So but south-south, do they listen to... Traditional rulers. It's not like that. All the permutations are. Of course, they listen to traditional rulers. Of course. 
No, you see, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Wiki doesn't have influence, but does he have? My question is, I, does, mean, he have have been enough, has you, not been does he have enough to kind of oh, like change, to change what the state's outcome will have been? Hold on, Brownberry. Has that not been established to you just from the commentaries you've heard? Adele Koko just explained now, and, and I think you know anyway that Wiki is PDP in. in I, 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 if, I, I'm not sure if you were around. There was a time we were playing a clip of the um, of the primaries in um, in Ekiti State, and and somebody was interviewing a very well spoken lady, and they were asking her. I, I think somebody went to canvas there, and the lady was saying, "Yes, we uh, maybe it was even Peter Obio. Do you remember that narrative, Ajan Okay, Kuku? let, let me ask one lady, question. And the, and the lady was saying that whoever fire she says we should go with is who we will go with. So yeah, but that's just that's just one. That's one. That's just one narrative. It's not empirical. Right. But okay, look at this. Let, let me let me print a scenario. Uh, who is the candidate in PDP going for governor now, and what what is his um, ethnic background? I, I, I don't I don't know that. Does anybody know that? Like this is what I'm trying to paint. Is he just is an job person from? Is an job okay? Is okay? Thank God. Is an job person. Yes. So an job person that they've not been governor for. I mean, I don't even know if they've been governor at all in River State. And a job person now has the opportunity to be governor under PDP. And a job people will be backing him. And Atiku now puts money behind that a job candidate. Won't that dampen weak is in? Kulata, Kulata, Kulata. Look, uh, uh, presidency doesn't happen the same thing. Uh, like two weeks. It takes like I two don't weeks. Know. Of I mean, I, I, call me skeptical. You, you, you have no reasons to be skeptical because I think all of the reasons why you should not be has already been explained. But uh, you know, I, I, I mean, it's just uh, well, well, there it is. Yeah. Uh, it's just culata being culata. It, it, it's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's go. Let's go to uh, Shetima and his funky uh, dressing. So a lot of uh, that, because this has this is now the only headline that has come out of the uh, the MBA conference. Uh, 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 so he said he was deliberate. And uh, and Renor Mokri also somewhat suggesting that he is deliberate, but he's saying that he's essentially doing it to mock the obedience. So the running battle between Renor Mokri and the obedience, and uh, and and uh, and the stylish uh, uh, Kashim Shetima. So your thoughts on that? My thoughts is after listening to Ovi, I kind of agree with what Ovi said, and I don't think it's to mock obedience. I think it's to divert attention. Or Tinubu not attending, and probably Tinubu going to meet with Wiki because at the end of the day, that event itself, no matter how great the speech Atiku made and Obi made, those speeches are at this point in time useless. I mean, not useless, but it's like a footnote now. Nobody remembers those speeches. We all remember uh, Shetima's uh, clown, clown sartorial uh, choices. So he sucked up the oxygen in the room with sneakers and an oversized suit, like coat, like coat ashipa. So at the end of the day, he deflected attention from like Tinubu not being there because Tinubu is successfully skirting the press, not talking to anybody, and he's getting away with it, whether we like it or not. And Shetima pulling all this kind of like ridiculous clownish stunts is going to kind of just, I mean, you know, Nigerians, we like to talk about nothing. And talking about suit and sneakers is really, really, really nothing. We're not talking, I mean, the time we've been using to talk about suit and sneakers, we've not been talking about issues. We've not, we've not been addressing uh, uh, real campaign manifesto. We've not been addressing anything meaningful. We've just been talking about someone wearing sneakers and a suit. So it's all those diversionary tactics that it will get, I mean, that is going to get deployed. And they will pull all these stunts off till February, and Tinubu will end up not having a significant discussion with the populace before you go to the ballot. Because he's not going to risk going, I mean, he's not going to risk messing up. And you deploy all sorts of diversionary tactic, tactics available to them. So we are the losers in this in this space. We are the losers because that was an opportunity for Tinubu to get on the stage and to present something. But they are smarter than us. They played it. They played us for clowns, and we bought into it. And look at us now. 
like almost a week after it. We're still talking about that ridiculous suit and the sneakers. So it's not about obedience. That's just an excuse. It's more to deflect from Tinubu's shortcomings and expect more. Expect more of that clown show because Nigerians are the same people that will be talking about meaningless stuff like primary school certificate and uh, things that are not that important. Now that we should really, really, really be pushing the candidates on what are your plans? What can we measure from your plans? How are you going to deliver your plans? Who are you going to hire? Like you piling around with Danguji and all these people, you owe them favors. If you owe them favors, are you going to be able to bring all this, um, all these technocrats into your government? Or you have to fill up the space with so many people you owe favors. You're going to negotiate with Wiki. That has to come with something. So a space that you're going to give Wiki could have been a space you're giving to a smart, to a smart guy that I mean that should be in government. So they're just diverting us to be talking about meaningless nonsense. So do, 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 do you think um Shatima is uh is 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 cleverer than uh, than uh, Peter B? <laughs> I've said that before now. Shatima is a very intelligent guy. And not only intelligent, he's better with numbers. The thing is when I start talking about people, do, 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 do you think he's more articulate? Do you think he's more articulate? Do you think he's more comfortable with the English language than Peter Obi? Yeah, I mean, Shatima is a well spoken if you can understand his accent. Yeah, sorry, sorry, apologies. Let me give you a flavor because uh, he especially impressed me. Uh, there's been two instances where he has impressed me. Uh, the, the speech that he made when he said, um, restructuring my food. Uh, with a lot of people, uh, they, they latch on to that. And yeah. maybe that, the topic itself, what, what the, his presentation style, very, very but listen to it's him very, again. He's yeah. a very effective, effect, effective communicator, in my opinion. Yeah, but, but leap past his accent to listen to him. One of the presidential candidates, he pondered his agents, they held meetings for three consecutive nights to commend this chief. Hmm. When I was told that it's a hostile crowd, I'm a banker. I was trained by one of the best bankers in the world. I'm a Jim Obia boy. I deliberately wore sneakers to swamp at them. Sorry, you see, is that word smirk that they especially got? Because that's not in the lexicon let me, let, of the let Nigerian. Me, let me be. Let, let me. Yeah. Let me. I did not start using smirk till I got to the United States. Some I, from Borno using smirk in smirk, context. Yeah. yeah. So I did not start using that word. Like, I mean, it's not like I, maybe I didn't read it in a book or something. But I did not start using that word till, till I was outside Nigeria. So it kind of shows the depth of this guy. And from what I understand, was it his, gra his grandfather is very learned. And they, I mean, they have a massive library that is that to pass down to him. So he's, he's a very intelligent and educated guy. Don't take him for granted. He has something upstairs. Do not take that guy for, for granted. People are just realizing that Shetima is very, very smart. And there's a reason Tinubu picked him. So do not underestimate this guy and do not conflate him with um, um, his predecessor, Adamu, what's it called, Sheriff or uh, whatever yeah. that one. Um, Modul Sheriff. Uh, yeah, Modul yeah. Sheriff. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't conflate both of them. They're different people. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy is intelligent. The only thing I have against him is, like I said before, he has something against uh, Southeasterners. I mean, most uh, does, it, do, does it do really? Because yeah, it, was yeah, just, it, it was just banter, wasn't it? Is it that infamous audio that... Uh... It's, the, it's from that audio. That audio rubbed me the wrong way. But it doesn't mean I still don't appreciate his intellect. I, I, I deeply but, appreciate his intellect. But we don't know if he really has anything. Remember, he's an Igbo man that brought him to limelight, uh, Jim Ovia. So Jim Ovia is not Igbo now. He's Igbo it, kind of, but he's not Igbo like Ibo, that. He's Igbo. Uh, so no, uh, if you're from, 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 from Delta, you're not Igbo anymore? Uh, no, no, there's some areas in Delta. No, no. <laughs> so really, no. there's no. some Igbo Delta, but the, the so part Igbo Delta is, is not Igbo. It's the same thing now. The part Jimovia is from is not Igbo. They're close. I mean, it's like saying look or look me. People are Igbo, even though they they have your Okay, so uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Okowa is not uh, Okowa is not Igbo. Okowa is from the Igbo side. 
So okay, Jim, Jim is not from is from Agbo, and I don't think Agbo is Igbo. Agbo okay, is not Igbo. Okay, okay. Yeah. Agbo is because from Agbo. Because the king, Igbo. the king of Agbo, will tell you that they're more a joy. They're like not. Yeah. Even the name is is Ovia. Is is almost Ovia is not an Igbo name. name. It's, it's yeah, more it's a joy kind of name. Yeah. So Agbo is not the, the king. Vehemently, I mean, vehemently says they are not Igbo. Dean is his title is Dean D I E N of Agbo. So forget Jimovia is south south. Anyway, Shetima, do not underestimate him. Can I? Will I be comfortable if it's president? Yes, I am. I'll be comfortable. Is a Kanuri man, and I would as well. Uh, is a Kanuri man. When he gets into like talking about artificial intelligence and he, he talks about what we could be doing as a country rather than acting on flimsy things, it kind of sparks like this guy. I mean, Polata, this guy yeah? Polata, how will you rate Peter Obi and Shetima in a hey, debate? People, you always put me in trouble with this Peter Obi Wala. I don't want to be talking oh, about uh, Peter uh, Obi. Uh, uh, Thomas, there's no reason to put Peter, Peter Obi. Is also an ego guy now. He's an ego guy. I don't want to be talking about Peter Obi. Shetima, Shetima is the best speaker amongst all of them. Whether presidency is the best speaker amongst them all. Yes. Uh, and the yeah. second best is Atiku. Atiku is confident. Is a confident speaker. Atiku yeah. has. Atiku has that dignifying presence. I mean, he's a bad guy, but you know when he stands on the stage, when he's, the way he talks, he doesn't rush He, he commands words, authority. And he commands he, he, authority. Yeah. So he, he has that pizzazz, that presidential, there's something presidential about him. Unfortunately, he's not going to make that office. But he, he has that pizzazz, he has that charisma. He reminds me of um, a, a, a Mitt Romney, like a Mitt Romney character. Like a, exactly, like a Mitt Romney. Honestly speaking, it would have been good for us if Adiku won that last election. No, oh, that would have been the best thing ever. It would have, would have been best, better yeah. for us. Honestly, it would have been better we, for we us. Not, we would not be anywhere near where we are now. We would have uh, we'll be, we would have been making money from the uh, Ukraine war now if he was president. If he was because president. He, he knows how to make money. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, anyway. But, but finally, on that shit, in my space, do you find him likable? I like I personally like Chetima because I, I, I like him very much. A, yeah. Because when you listen to him, you know this guy is smart. And yeah, what one part that and there's mischief me. in his eyes, like though he was some like it, you it, know, it looks like somebody you want to have a beer with. You know that those smart guys that are very mischievous, that they mm -hmm. want to use their intellect just to kind of get a reaction from you. Like, yeah. let me see how this guy is gonna say if I say this and say that. Let me see how it's gonna react. That's the kind of guy Shetima is and one thing I watched one Shetima video when it was reeling out figures so I thought this guy is just saying nonsense or maybe he's misstating figures like Peter Obi and I went to check what this guy was reeling some election figures this guy was spot on I was like ah what kind of brain does this man have he was just reeling those things on was it channels tv so he's a smart guy uh we, I mean, if he becomes president, if he has the interest of the country at heart, he will be a good president. But do I know whether he has the interest of the country at heart? No, I do not know. I don't know him personally. I don't know what motivates him. Do I don't you think know. It's Boko Haram, like people are trying no, to. No, I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. This was the same guy crying. This guy was shedding tears for. Bo I mean, when Boko Haram issues up, uh, issue up on now. He built the he built churches. He did. I mean, they did. He did many things. And one thing I also respect him for to know that he's a learned person. He only has one wife. Not that that means anything, but from nah, a, nah, for a mother, that, that that means a lot. Of. It means he, he only has one wife. So he's the not the movie has really civilized him. Yeah. So he, he's not. No, his dad, his grandpa, actually, his grandpa was educated. So he's not. He's more like a butter guy. I'm gonna say, if you mm. think about it. So I like Shetima. I just don't know. I don't know Shetima, but I like what I see. That's all I can see. And looks like Tinubu thought about it well and made the right choice for him, for his ambition. Let me put it that way. This is better than that grass cutter guy in that um, for Babachella. Wow, Shetima is better do, than Babachella. Do you think it's wow. a better pick than um, Ganduje or El Rufai? Ah, Jesus Christ, Ganduje, I beg. Ejekama. Because I like Ganduje too, because for the same no. reasons I like Shetema. If Ganduje is very Ganduje articulate. He's articulate, but he's, you know that that's a dirty old man. 
he kind of has that dirty old man look. Right? Yeah, he has that look. Uh, you don't nasty, want him near young children. Nasty do you, old baby? man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has that. The, I don't like... Oh, um, Kulata, like, you are not yeah. nice. Oh, you are not nice. Kulata. Kulata. It's a pedophile, yeah. it's a pedophile. Ah, No, don't use that word. Though. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no. Because YouTube doesn't like that word. It's the same. But carry on now, Kulata. Kulata, let me just be clear. Ganduji looks looks uh, old and uh, funny but he's a very nice person i uh, well i will believe he may be a nice person but he kind of has that nasty i mean you know what i'm saying that's he has that's a natural sort of look like a nambla like a nambla okay let me put that uh, uh -huh. it, so, it looks like it looks like the joker you know, the joker you know, you know, from batman yeah, 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 yeah. And, and also his look it doesn't look like someone you can take seriously yes but the short guy though on the other hand I fear that one because I feel that one's ambition, his ambition and his Napoleon complex combined, he will make a toxic mix. I don't trust him for with anything. I do not trust him. He, he, he tries to come across like he's well educated too. There is educated is everything, but I feel he's one of those guys that may have those deep seated. I think it's. Uh, it's I think it's. it's is somewhat body like in worldview that uh, it, yeah he may he may have the, the deep seated uh, affiliation with his ethnic group and when i mean his et ethnic group not for the promotion of his ethnic group to kind of like get educated and kind of like get into the city modernize and all it looks like someone that at the back of his mind may want to perpetuate that pastoral that pastoral, that gypsy kind of lifestyle where they're moving from one place to the other. And that's where the conflict comes into place because if they're not settled in one place, there's going to be just conflict with settled people all over the place. And he will not fight against them. He will never fight against that lifestyle. So that's why I don't, I mean, I, I will not take, uh, uh, what's his name, the Cardinal State Governor. I can't trust him. You know, there was something he said some years ago, Kolata, that really struck me and jarred me. He said, um, anybody that does uh, anything against the Fulani, that person carries a debt that will be I, paid even if I it's heard that a, thousand, same thing. a thousand years. Yes, I heard and, that. And, and, I heard and, that and, and that's it right there. And I just knew then that this is an extremist. Uh, it's, an ext it's an extremist. I heard the, same, the exact same yeah. thing you said. He also said something about Fulani not being um, forgiven, that they don't yes, forgive. Yes, they are vindictive. They are vindictive. Know? And so I'm like, nah, no, no, no. This guy is gonna be an ethnic jingoist. It's not. He can't. I don't think he can see beyond. Even though he's educated and enlightened, but I don't think he can see beyond that space. And also, if he also has some personal attributes, like is too cocky, is 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 way too cocky. Too the self assure is beyond self assurance that. He will have. He's, he's arrogant, isn't he? Arrogant and is maybe that? have some. Yeah. No, no, no L -Fi. L -Fi. L -Fi. It may have superiority, like superiority complex that is unwarranted. So, for, I mean, short I'm not... Man, short man syndrome. Uh, <laughs> Napoleon complex. I don't, I don't like L Rufai. Mm -mm. No. No, I, neither do not I, actually. All. Yeah. Not uh, at but, all. Um, I, I, and it, it would be like an article sort of vice president to to whoever you know you, you can you cannot trust him with anything because and he'll be he, wrestling power with you yes you. exactly and this is someone that you cannot put in like a security council don't you, you won't be you won't feel safe to see that okay assuming you are planning on taking some terrorists out or you want like a different way to solve the the bandit crisis, because at the heart of the bandit crisis is an ethnic struggle between Alsa and Fulani. So if you want to go take on the bandits that have gone beyond the scope of that war, they've now gone into kidnapping. If you want to take on them, he will not be able to see the, he will not see beyond that. I will be favoring Alsa over his own people, despite the fact that the bandits have taken the scope of their own issue beyond Alza Fulani is now more uh is now more of a money-making venture of kidnapping people for money and buying more weapons to grow that enterprise. So it will not be sincere with going after this. The same way Buari has not been sincere with going after it. So no, no, not now. Maybe later down the line we, we can get another Fulani. We need a break.
all right. Uh, I, I certainly think that um, uh, Shetima uh, Tenobu is an excellent ticket because they counterbalance each other in so many ways, in exactly the way they should counterbalance each other. Uh, 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 thank you. So let, let me take you to the British Airways space, uh, who are now insisting that our tickets will be bought in dollars, and the CBN caved in to release uh, 200. Uh, and, yeah. Let's so visit that, the GDP space. I think they've talked about this space, the British Airways. You talked about some GDP numbers. I wanted to just touch oh, on oh, that. Oh, 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 right. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yes, let, let, me, let me bring you to that. I, I didn't think anybody would want to take that on because, you know, people just like a, a, a more sensationalized. Uh, Nigeria's GDP drops to $47 trillion in second quarter of 2022. So that is the N, uh, NBS, National Bureau of Statistics. And off the back of that headline, you will think it's hemorrhaging, but it looks as though it's been ebbing and flowing and somewhat uh, uh, going up and spiking down. But uh, you are the economist. Talk us through those figures. Uh, uh, I'm not. I just pretend. Uh, 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 but... uh, and, and, and sorry, before you go on there, let me let me acknowledge uh, the first super chat. It says, uh, if Wiki and his crowd play the regional card, what stops Article from doing the uh, same? Uh, so I, I think everybody is playing the regional card anyway, so I'm not sure that Atiku is not playing the regional card, but uh, uh, thank you for the super chat, Jafar. So to the economics of it, uh, Akulata. So, I mean, based on what I checked, there are, two, there are two things. Year on year, it dropped. So in this time, second quarter, because it's the end of second quarter, in 2021, it was higher. So we've, the performance after COVID was better than the performance we have right now, like a full year. I mean, the performance immediately after COVID is better than what we have right now, like maybe two years after COVID. Then from the previous, from the first quarter to the second quarter, it also dropped. So it was, uh, it also dropped. I can't remember those numbers, but I know from last year it was 5%. Now it's 3.54 or something like that. So what it means is it's, it's shrinking. It's shrinking. But for how long before we declare it a recession? I can't even remember the technical definition of a recession. But it's, 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 it's shrinking. So it's not really... I, I think it's three quarters, isn't it? If, if, it's, if, you, if you receive for three quarters... That's for three quarters, thing. then it's yeah. a technical recession. So yeah. we, shall, we shall see. Because we still... We have three, no, two and a half more quarters before elections. So let's see let's see what that is. If the next two ones, it goes down, then we we'll probably are technically in a recession. But uh, we shall see. We'll, we'll see what they we'll do. But it's not, that's not good news. Well, all right. All right, yeah. brilliant. All right, thank you, Kulata. So thank you. So so for time, Kulata, let me go on from you to, let, let me go to Ayo. So, so let's see if it's ready to go. Uh, Ayo, are you there? Yes, I am. Oh, all right, brilliant. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, so are you now fast evolving? Uh, 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 actually, a voice as strong as Kulata now because he's quite a man of fact and figures as well. Uh, so so facts and figures on this uh, uh, are your uh, 137 borders in Nigeria unguarded. So it's the chief of defense staff, of course, Rocky Rabo, which is to tell you then that there's no fight against insurgency. <laughs> all right, thank you, woman. Uh, yes. That is the truth. You, we know that, yes, uh, we have so many porous border. And for the fact, I'll, I'll give an example just of recent here yeah, about that porous border, especially in the north. Yeah, a friend of mine from the north just got a car, an SUV that was bought around thousand dollars And it's not brand new, you know, like 2019 version of the car, SUV. Yeah. And I was asking, oh, how do you clear this? Because it's expensive now to clear out. How do you say, don't worry. When you're sending this, let this go through by the Republic, they will get it there and it will come through to the north. It's placed there. You know, it's basically there in Kano. And once it gets there, say, forget. Once it comes in, you register it, and that's the end of it. That tells you how porous those, the border is there. So, then what will happen in the south? So, now, let, let, I, would, I just want to go digress a little bit back to what we were talking earlier. When Jewel was saying, oh, it is this northern elite, them making this money out of this. But research shows that hmm, from 
2003, because the last chief of defense that we had then before the Fourth Republic was uh, General Absalom Abouaka, before he became the military of state ruler then. After that, most chief, chief of defense staff are from the South. Now, let's start from 2006. The chief of defense staff there was General Alexander Ogumudia. We know that name is not enough. And he ruled for two years, 339 days. He was Nigerian. After that, he went to Martin Luther Aguay for 35 days. After that, he went to General Owoye Andrew Azazi for one year, 87 days from Nigeria. After that, the next one was Airship Masha for DK. He rules for two years, 19 days. After that, Airship Masha Ulushei Pantiri, two years, 26 days. The next one was Admiral Ola Ibrahim. He ruled for one year, 104 days, Nigeria Army. After him was some Alex Sabundu Badi. Nobody is from the north. Down. For one year, once of eight days. After that, it was General Bayomi Gabriel Oloni Shekon. So, oh, Oloni Shaki, sorry, Oloni Shaki, sorry. For five years, 197 days. Now, General Loki Rabo. Why I'm bringing this out is just because more, the chief of the first staff is in Araki, is higher than the other service chiefs. They report to you. You know, chief of army staff, air force, and the rest. The chief of the defense staff takes more control of things than them. So, and it shows that we have them more from the south than the north. So, it it, it, it won't be good when we start paying politics and say, "Oh, it is from the north." This is a joint collective thing. If it's not working, it is not working. We are not doing it right. So no blame should go to one section of the country and say, oh, it is this. They are not doing the right thing. So if you have people like that there for five good years, General Lodishaki, five good years as the chief of defense staff, and yet... He but the, the chief of defense staff does not control troops. Oh, man. If the, if the chief of army controls the troop, right? Now, but still... So the chief of defense staff has more role to play because he can somewhat meet with them for with chief of army staff, air force, and even the naval officer. Yeah, but it doesn't have because the chief of defense, the chief of army staff, and the and the uh marshal, the the uh, the navy uh air force, uh, they report really directly to the president. They have direct access to the president. So the, the 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 yes, you might say because uh, the chief of defense staff is essentially a coordinating minister because he has oversight o over all of the defense spaces. But in actual practice, all the uh, satellite security agencies they stand away from him somewhat, and he cannot sack the chief of army staff, for instance. He can't. No, I'm not. Of course, he can't. But at the same time, he can some of them. He can lay plans with them. Say, oh, this is what okay, you come three of them and they sit down together and say, okay, this is this, this is that. So, I, well, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is a blame the blame should not go to one section of the country. If it's not working, it is the whole country, it is not just one section, it is all of us. It's Nigeria. We it is not working if it, it's not working. If it's working, the glory go to them, not just saying, Oh, this is this. So there are things that need to be done. And part of what we were talking earlier, you know, when Solly was saying is that, yes, Canada, you see, by this time, we should find a way to make it easier. I know it might not, but it can be done. They can, you know, look at how to, do, if somebody else can do it, and you're and you, and you here in the U.S., monitor what's going on in your place there? Lock your door, open it, check what goes on. That's as if I control what goes on and see what goes on there. If it's fire alarm, it can trigger and you can see what is going on. It stops that. It gives a signal. If there's this fire, it gives it, you know, it can call, ring your phone to look, look, there's burglary going on. Somebody just bugging into your house. So we can do that. I know it's, it might not be easy because of 
the land mass we have. But even if you cannot do it all, if the stance okay, at the stretch from this, maybe 10,000 crore, 2,000, let's start from there. After a while again, they move from there to the other end. And we only have a few military men there. So once someone crosses there, it triggers there, let them know. There's an alert, an infringement. Okay. They go there, they check, apprehend the person. I know what to do next, but it, it can be done. It's just that they need to sit down because it won't be easy. Say you, if you want to use the manpower, if it's manpower, that means you need more recruitment, more training to put them there along those border lines. Because truly, we have very, very porous borders. And I think technology will help us a lot to cope this influx of foreigners. We know foreigners come in. It's, 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 it's easier. You know, it's just like those times, those years then, I remember when we go to Kutor, you can there's a way you bypass things. And they just take you in. Even without going uh, to... Are you, are, you, are you admitting to... Uh, uh, what are you admitting to? Eh? Should I call yeah, the SS? Eh? Should I call the SS? <laughs> eh? uh, uh, eh? Well, man. Uh, you uh, see, uh, it's just the truth. That's the truth. That's why you see we have more of influx of people coming in. There is no record. You see, if there is record of those coming in, it will be easy to know that, oh, we have oh, 10 Nigerians that are coming or 11 billionaires, and we have that record. If they do something, but if, when there is no record, you can't track those coming in. If sometimes it was, it is easier for somebody to come in from a neighboring border, commit a crime, get away with it, and go back. So that's it, it's a very tricky thing, and it's not easy for the immigration service to handle those things. That is why I somewhat believe what is said, but it, it, it's more than just saying we have so 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 porous borders like this. But what it, is, it, the, is the narrative even bigger than him just telling us that we have a um, hundred and thirty-seven on on man borders? Uh, because really, the 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 expanse of that space is so wide that really it's not really border post that they they should be looking for more elegant solutions that would really like like you are suggesting all these um all these uh cameras which i'm not sure how viable that is but even more to drone threat technology which is cheaper to get and more effective so it, it is more a technology solution than manning borders uh, would you say that's yes that that's what i said i quite believe and I go in line with what Sola said. Yeah, it is more of technology. Now I know you need solar, but people are doing it, so it's not magic. We have, have, have friends have the house houses with solar. I know what I'm so with the years. They they don't care about what the other light comes or not. With your solar, if you want to even pump your water, it pumps it for you. So you don't care about them. You don't even you don't bother at all. So it's like somebody who's living in Nigeria, but taking a living in the US because 24 seven, you have your life. So if it's done, why cannot be replicated? It can be done. Those not that place, they can decide to use solar because they have landmass there. You just building that place, connect it around with the camera to see that. Give another line again, you move away. You say, okay, let's do solar here. That amounts about maybe 5,000 kilometers or 2,000 kilometers. And there will be a control room where you see things. So instead of putting maybe like 100 military men there, because you have there, it's just like putting like 20. Because once anybody triggers, it tells you. And once they know that this is going on, I tell you, oh man, they will not want to come in again. Because they know, oh, if I do this, I'll be caught easily. But when you know, oh, it's easy. We can pass through this end, pass through that, and we go away with it. So technology is a way to go. That is the best way to solve this for us. Because we've been trying other things. It has not worked for so many years. So that tells us we should try another thing that would work for us. And it's, my, it's even not, it's much cheaper than what we've been doing, which has not been working. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, and, and to the Wiki space, have you spoken on the Wiki space, uh, no. Wiki and, and its uh, uh, convoluted politics? Oh, man. You know, I was uh, saying, we said this yesterday. We said, look, with all this Wiki, is a little bright now. So, I think he's, he's having his time. He should enjoy it while it's last. Now, I was just reading why um, I think it was cool. I was reading something now about uh, what conditions we can give. 
wicked thing. And now the colleagues as well, Ayu must go. After Ayu is gone, that the Senate president must be seated to that team. Apart from that, that they need some key pastors too. That will be seated to wicked team before an agreement. But once that agreement is met, then he said he's ready to give them logistics. I don't forget that if you watch the their convention, week alone took about 40 buses, if no more than that, to Abuja. We saw it branded week. So they you know he has this when it comes to logistics for them. UK is number one. No other governors can meet that right now because those vehicles are still there. And so, but from what I was reading or what I read not quite long. It's now left for articles um, camp to say, okay, we will agree. Because they said, okay, if, because if it's going to agree, then. But it, has it not set them an impossible uh, 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 price? Woman, you see, when, when it comes to politics, you see, there is only one thing. The condition is if article can specify, are you? You say, are you say, look, my friend, we've been for a long time, we've been together. Okay, let's do this. Please step down. Because that is what they are saying now. That if I can step down, they want the next chairman to be from Southwest. And weakest camp also will determine who will be that chairman. They will, they will put out from the Southwest. Then they will not bring Ayu back into articles camp. It will be among those when it comes to the selection for the campaign. And then probably they might promise him, you know, a ministerial appointment, you know, after the week. Because those are both, those are those things that are planning now. But if Ayu decides to accept that step down, but as you said, I don't know how he would do, because just two days ago, he said he would not step down. But you know, politics, anything can happen. That, I mean, the PDP chairman, that was what he told the governors, the running um, candidate governors for the states have gone to meet with the meetings look okay about i will not step down but who knows we never can tell it might be next week now we might can say oh are you resigns as pdb chairman and the next thing we can come for bring somebody from the southwest well as it stands nobody can say if it's going to happen or not it's just about it's all about permutation if they check their books and say okay can we do without wiki to win? If yes, then they will say, okay, let's let's leave IU there because if you take out IU, there might be more crisis. That means we are just dancing to his tune. And but if they look at it, okay, well, even if we give this, if we see this to wiki and we get this vote, you know, that means it's assured for us we get Benue out of, we get um, part of the, the one on um, market they will give for you. You get the one from Abia and the rest. I think it's a plot. So it's all about the game and the numbers. If article teams look into that and feel like, well, let's dance with these two. It will work for us. Fine. That means they can swallow their pride and say, well, let's give it to him for what we want. But if they look at the other side and say, oh, if we do that, that means we're already dancing to his two. Because if you look at the list of what he's asking for, for one man, I tell you, Wiki is ready to ask his head and say, yes. If you can't give the, if you cannot meet these conditions, then I don't think anything will work for us because it's a lot of things that. Who, who, who do you think Wiki wants to be the next president of Nigeria? Oh man, you know, nobody sees a man's art. That's just the truth about it. Wike. Yeah, well, so speculate. Yeah, yeah, that is one thing nobody can tell you. Even sometimes the wife might not see what you want to do. You know, a friend of mine has asked for something. And my wife says, don't give. But I know, oh, no, I want to give this. I was okay, I'm not giving. And I went behind, I'll give just to do. So, but if we're, if you look at the permutation of what is going on, it's likely you want somebody from the South. That, yes, that is probably what is, is the aim of what is really going, where, what he would have wanted to be. Because he has said, oh, their decision was this to come to the South. I know that, and that was first thing they were saying that, oh, that, oh, um, Get that state governor. What's his name again? Oh, oh. Okowa. Okowa. That Okowa betrayed them. And this is part of what they during the convention and things like that. So 
if if we are to look at it, he will prefer it to come to the south. But if it comes to the south, let's ask, what does oh, Tinubu want to offer him? You know, he will have, you know, we don't know, he will have wrote some things too. That if I support you with my brothers on oh, some autumn from Benue and this and that, what do we stand to gain? And you know, he said something in his video. He said, before anything, Rivers, we ask for what we want. That gone all those days, you they want to know what are you sitting to Is it minister for uh Niger Delta or is it minister for finance? What are those Jewish? I, I think it would demand the Senate because um uh, that's something that Tenobu can give him because the North already has a vice president, the Southwest already has a president. So if he demands the Senate, I think it's something that uh APC can give him. Yes, you're right. That won't that won't be a problem. But if he demands the Senate from Atiku, Atiku can give him because the Senate has to come to the Southwest under an Atiku presidency. You're right. But part of what he demanded for, you see, that's what I'm just saying that that they need to produce the Senate president and some principal officers of the National Assembly. So but they can't produce, sorry, they can't produce, unless it's going to pick a Yoruba man, they can't produce the Senate president under an article presidency. That is one. They have to go to Yoruba land. You're right. That is one. Two, they need the numbers too. Even this, what he's saying, you need the numbers. If APC has more senators, how do you want, how do you want, to, how do you want them to give you the Senate president? It's not possible. It's no, under Atiku, Senate, Senate President will not go to Yoruba land. Where would he go? Senate, Senate President will go to Northwest. Do we have any senior then, senator then what, that's then, a Yoruba then what, what, will, what will come to Yoruba land? Maybe Nothing. possibly... Uh, as of reps. As of yeah, reps. Maybe deputy. Yeah. Deputy. Deputy, deputy Senate. Senate. So, so they, will shot, deputy they will shut Yoruba, they will shut Yoruba people out of, uh, yes. out of governance? No, it, it's... Uh, it, 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 you know, it, this is... It, it, the... Uh, 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 those uh, um, heavyweight position have to be shared among uh, all the geographical zones because Atiku is from uh, is from the northeast and the vice president from the south south. So you cannot have the senate president from the south south as the well. South again, yes. It, it's going to go to northwest. Senate president will go to northwest. And then I, I, I'm not. I'm then, not sure people will maybe, be saying it like maybe. that. Oh, oh. And uh, and then and then east, we want to get maybe the speaker. But so nothing it, comes to Yoruba land. Still, you will have the deputy from, senate from president. Deputy what? That, that is so, what so, you will so, get. So Yoruba land will be. Uh, yeah, good luck, Jonathan. Again, Abi. <laughs> no, you might you might be compensated with some heavyweight uh, ministerial appointment now. So that's what you're going to have on that yeah, but, but, uh, article. So it's, it's still going to be, as I said, it will be the numbers. If they do yeah. not have the numbers in both chambers, it will be difficult to say you want to do it. So if it goes by what is going on by numbers, it shows that it's likely to be APC again to have the numbers at both chambers, the degree and the red chamber. So, but yes, yes, way, yes. I said, yeah, I said, I said, I said, I said, you are right because uh, you know it depends on uh, you know how they are party maybe from the west. Uh, if we have some senators from there, we, you know. But I know that senior president will not come to Yoruba land on that. No, yeah, it I'm will. A, a, it it will might. because the permutation even for APC now, the, the, the who's likely to be the next. Speaker, will, will be because if you look at if you look at the current arrangement now under APC, you see Buhari from the northwest, right, and they have Yoruba as the vice, vice, yeah. vice president. Yoruba as the speaker, <laughs> and and Yoruba as the speaker. Too so, uh, and and you see the senior president from the northeast, I mean northeast. So. Uh, the Northwest might want to get the Senate president now. There might be it, it is going to be a battle between the Northwest and the South. Where it is going to be in the South, maybe Southeast and, and Southwest. It's going to be between Southeast and Southwest. That, I see the Senate president going to Southeast, and I see that going to Ojik. Oh, this guy, 
Mm. It cannot go to a southeast because uh, Okowa yeah. already have that semblance no, no, of right. southeast. No, I'm talking for I'm talking. I mean APC. If APC win, oh, uh, oh, 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 APC. There is nothing about okay. it. Now. Nobody, nobody will drag that. It will go to southeast, and it's likely to be uh, Ochikalu. Who I think if, if he wins again, that will no. Tenobi, uh, Tenobi will crush. If uh, I, oh, this guy is, is not going to be a senator. Um, oh. what's the name of that governor? Uh, that Imo state governor, Rocha Sokrocha. No, who's on the No, who's on the map? No, 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 if who's on the map? Could be senator, he's the one that will be the senior president. Go yes, and if, it if, if, if he is, but it's not. And yeah. even I tell you, the, the speakership for MPC is going to not northwest, and it's going to be like I'll tell you, right? This is going to be Alazan Dugua. Alazan Dogoa, he will be the next speaker. Ah. Yes. From Kano. Alazan Dogoa, he will be the next speaker. Femi is going back, but Femi will not be the speaker. If if oh, the president senate president goes to Ahmad Lawa, he will not be, he will just be flowing back there. So that is go that will go to Northwest. I can tell you that because I've I've watched, listened to some of those interviews with him, and he said it. And they asked him, they know that, and he's a diet Tinubu person. So, Alexander Dogoa, it's like he will be the next speaker. Why? So, that, that's why I said, I don't know why Wiki is giving this student uh, uh, conditions for an article. Because if you're saying you want you want him to give you Senate President and headship of federal prosecutors and agencies, if they win. So, you've not even win. And you don't know if you have you have the number of senators in the house than APC, and more than number of rep. And already you are giving this. That, that means he's not even ready to to do anything because he knows he is he might not meet those conditions. And these conditions will cause trouble again by, by tomorrow if they start looking at this and say, "Oh, what is going on? Do you want to cut us because of you want this to be done and you are giving us this? How do you want this to be made?" And that might be, that's what I said, it, it, it's it's a very, it's going to be very, very tricky unless if Yosha Ayu is ready to humble himself and say, okay, let me leave for peace because of my friend Atiku. But if not, I don't know what is going to happen regarding that. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, thank you. So so for time, let me go on from you, um, uh, Ayo, and go on to uh, Babati, who I suspect may not be with us anymore, uh, but... Uh, are you still there, Babati? Yes, I'm here. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant, fantastic. So, Babati, then to the border space. I, I, I suspect this is something that rankles you somewhat. Uh, a country that purports to even be a country fighting insurgency, but with the borders open. Uh, what are you making then of this revelation by the uh, defense chief? I mean, it's, it's. I won't use the word revelation. It's an open secret. Let's just say that. Uh, I think we, we need to come to terms that we don't have a country. Uh, and uh, there was a time on this platform that we went back and forth with Ovie, which is a uh, Pan-African, borderless, uh, ridiculous uh, viewpoint. But that's a different topic for another day. That's, you know, we don't have a border. That's just the reality. So when you talk about... If you don't have a border, you don't have a country, really. Yeah, that's just the reality. You don't have a country. So when you talk about... Uh, when uh, Soli was talking about the CCTV and the cameras, they are wonderful ideas. I agree with that. In addition, you have people manning the borders too. But the reality is that when people actually don't believe that there should be a border there in the first place, so whatever you're proposing would not make sense to them. So you don't look at it from the perspective of... Because we live in the South. So when you think about the borders up north, don't think about it from the from a certain perspective. Just look at it for, through their own lens and see the, they view their neighbors differently than the way we view people from Benin. Although we're Yorubas, but we still understand we're different people in terms of borders and countries and, uh, and language. I mean, like Francophone and you know, Anglophone and different things. But up north is quite different. So we understand their own perspective when it comes to border lines. It's quite different from the way we see down south. Uh, 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 all right, brilliant. And to the wiki space, um, your, your thoughts on uh, your thoughts on that. So he continues to maintain his relevance, and it looks as though he will have quite a big say 
and in, in whoever becomes the next Nigerian president. Right. You know, people have been talked about, but let me just add to that. I think he's also fighting for his own political survival as well. It's, it's more than just being a woman. I know people have used the, the example, analogy of being a woman that needs attention. I think it's more than that. He's also fighting for his own political survival. You got to understand, he has to look clearly before he jumps. Because whoever he supports will determine his own political future as well. So it's just more than just attention seeking. I mean, he already has enough attention. His personality itself is enough to get the attention he needs. But I think he's fighting for his own political survival. So he's taking his time to make sure that wherever he, you know, he swings the pendulum, we guarantee him his own his own political future. So it's more than just uh, uh, attention seeking, in my opinion. Oh, all right, brilliant. And to the British Airways space now insisting that travelers uh, buying tickets from Nigeria have to pay in dollars. Uh, can you really blame, blame them if they are earning, not able to remit their money, but they continue to have operational costs? Right. You know, I've heard, I can't confirm, but I, I've been told that that, that, that uh, Lagos to London is one of the most lucrative for British Airlines. And that come by may they will always find a way around it to to you know to 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 make it work that is the same thing we said in when i was in houston when buari came in and screwed up uh that a uh, flight from houston which have a uh, flight from houston to um to lagos 13 hours and it was one of the busiest for united and we thought oh they will find a way around it and what happened they just Cancelled that that uh, that pathway, and they never went back to it again. They moved that that those uh, those flight paths. They moved it to 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 Europe, to sorry to Asia, and they didn't even care about that uh, route anymore. So let's not think that let's not be dismissive of this. Uh, what's going on? Because if they keep going this way, they might just shut that that path down, and you might need to find alternatives. To, 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 to come to Nigeria. So I, I don't see that happening. But if this continues and they're losing money, because if you're buying in there and the money is losing value before you change it, that means the airline is losing money. So there's no point in them uh, servicing a route where they're not profitable or, or not making enough when they can easily move those uh, those uh, flights into a different pattern and make more money. So let's be careful. Uh, but it's quite unfortunate. But once again, it's why in office. Let's just. Uh, continue to endure for the next six months. That's all, all I can hope for. And just endure. We're Nigerians. We are used to enjoying, anyways. So just endure for six more months or seven more months, and uh, you know, pray that something better happens. So that's my only solution. Just endure and pray as usual. All right, but at what level of endurance this? He wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. So are uh, the um uh, Shetima space and it's a uh, it's a uh, fashion style. Uh, many things you think of uh, Shetima, not a fashion icon, but it looks as though he's now a fashion icon. If you look on social media, all the kids are now trying to replicate uh, his looks. So what are you then making uh, of this controversy around a suit and a, and a, and a, and a shoe? You know, you know uh, respectfully, unlike you and Mr. Gomez, I look beyond the way somebody sounds and the way they dress. You know, I remember you mocked my candidate a few months ago. Because of the way you know you didn't like his tone, he wasn't British enough, he wasn't well spoken, he, his tonation was not educated, and you, you you kept going on and on and on and on. But I look beyond those kind of things. And one one thing I picked up from is uh because I actually go watch that thing from, from beginning to end. One thing he said is remember I had concerns about him being a co-president with Tinobu, but he made it clear. He said, I am coming in, I'm a primary function as a VP. Is security. So for number one, he knows what, what why why he was picked, and he has a, he has a title. He knows what he's there for. That means it's something like someone that, that can that can that can work well with Tinubu. And number two, he's a very brilliant speaker. I was surprised. I mean, the way he spoke about the issues. So he's very knowledgeable. So I like that about him. Beyond his dressing, people wearing in uh, in America, people wear tennis, those sneakers on, on anything. Even to their wedding, they wear sneakers. So it's, it's nothing. It's a cultural thing here. So I don't see the big deal in the way. It, maybe, maybe the tie, the tie was a little bit off, and and the, and the suit was oversized. Somebody needs to get a new tailor for that guy, or just fire whatever fire the tailor that 
put that on it. That was you, you, you see, it, it has to be deliberate because one, uh, he certainly can afford a suit that, that is fitted, and two, he was a banker. So he certainly knows uh, just what a suit represents and how to present in a suit. So it's not as though we can't say is this, we can't just leap to the lazy derision that is just some malam from Bono. So he knew what he was doing, but what was he doing? But 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 he won he won the crowd and he, he won that event because it took it sucked up all the energy, it took all the attention away from Obi and, and Co. So I think he's doing his job politically as a sidekick to uh, as the robin of the ticket he's doing his job let's at least give him that he's doing his job to the batman of the ticket so we, we need to at least give him that but i think i i, I like the way he spoke and, and he knows he, he knows his role that is the most important thing when you're picking a vp they have to know their role they're not there to compete with you they're there to compliment you and it's a perfect compliment to tinubu the batman of that ticket if uh, if the presidential race was a straight shootout between uh, Peter Obi and uh, Kashim Shetima, who would you choose? Um, oh, luckily they're not going to be debating because there's, a, there's different roles. But in terms of economics, I would still go with Obi. But in terms of security, I would go with Shetima. So it's a, I'm kind of splitting that. So I'm more comfortable with him because he knows the terrain. So I, for security, and I know before you say oh, Buhari was so, supposed to be a general that knew the, that knows the right by any fault, but it's kind of different with him. I'm kind of when he speaks, I, I feel comfortable with him talking about security. So in terms of security and, and the homeland issues, I, I, I would like Shetima better. But in terms of like just pure economics, Obi takes that. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. And um, to the uh, to the Nigerian economy. Uh, um, Kulata was trying to uh, explain it all. It all went over my head. Nigeria's mm -hmm. GDP dropped to 47 trillion in uh, quarter two. But what thing I do know is that uh, if it drops, uh, uh, if it drops concurrently uh, in uh, two or three quarters, then, then then the country officially is in a recession. Uh, so what are you then making then of the uh, of the uh, economy continuing to hemorrhage under the malam from Daura? Oh. Nigeria is a very peculiar country. I don't think we should measure the growth or decline of the country based on those numbers. The man on the street does not care about any GDP growth and decline. We, we can clearly see that the country has always been in recession for the past six, seven years. So I, I don't have to wait till one GDP drop somewhere to tell me that. So sometimes the numbers might not really reflect what is going on on the street. Nigeria has been in trouble for a long time. And I do not know how the people still continue to endure this nonsense that is what bothers me the most and you will say they're nigerians and they endure but i don't know how they continue to tolerate this so let's not wait for the numbers to tell us what we can clearly see with our eyes i mean it's, it's, it, it, we know what is going on we know what is going on so i'm not going to even bother myself with the numbers but earlier on I we were talking to uh Coletta about the numbers and he brought up the taxation you know tax the poor i, I don't know why he lost me with that one but i did not say tax the poor well, Jesus. Right. I, 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 I said uh, i said i said file taxes when you file when i was a student i was i was making zero dollars i still file taxes it's just to show that I am a citizen or I'm a legal resident and I'm, I'm filing my taxes. Now. I'm even if I file zero. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Am I I'm getting there. Polata is a typical uh, sorry, accountant. Yeah. They, they uh, see numbers, money, not people. Know, they see numbers, not know, people. What money yeah. you're about, you're about to say, they, they said, I will punish on you that same. If my much, you might be a man, so need to be there. When you when study too much, it's just a joke. You don't take it personal. Mm -hmm. But I, I think he's read too much books. But I was preferring a solution where we have a way of taxing the poor while insulating the, uh, the rich and, and insulating the poor. But we should need to find a way to cushion that. But in the comment section, we were going back and forth in the private chat, me and Coletta, and I came up with something about how about we give subsidy to those areas, those key areas where it will actually help the poor. Like if you are part of a union, for instance, Let's say you you have in, in not intra, interstate now interstate, where if you are a part of a, a transport union in the state, 
if you are moving people in, in the, within the state, then you buy from your union gas prices at a reduced rate. So because that way we can track what you're actually using and we can subsidize that just for you only. And number two, if you are moving goods and services like 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 produce from the farms to the cities, we can also you can also buy at a reduced rate. That, at least we know when it comes to moving people around and also food, we don't have that much increase in price. So it's a, it's a direct uh, uh, approach. And uh, Mr. K, I call him Mr. K now. He came up with the idea of the board. The, what, what did you call it again, uh, Coletta? Uh, something board. Commodity, commodity commodity exchange bond is yeah. is our idea. Yeah. Oh, and actually, yeah. Tinubu's policy as well, yes. and also Tinubu's policy. Yeah. Yes, we can, we can, we can also bring that back and just kind of localize it. You know where, because I said earlier that we need to also consider poverty index in, in each state. What applies to in Lagos as a poor person might not apply in Kogi or other or smaller towns that the cost of, of living is kind of you know relatively okay compared to Lagos. So being poor in lagos is quite different from being poor in abuja so we need to also factor that in so i i mean to i mean to studying that more if you have any links for that Colata, i would like to look into that that is a very interesting um uh, uh thing that i would like to study there, 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 there has to be an elegant way to subsidize to directly to yeah, like yeah. a targeted Ge subsidy exactly rather than, rather than um then go bo, bo, bo. Yeah, then yeah. go to go to those you know, uh, and like you have suggested if they use the transport associations to say okay this is a bunch of tra transporters these are vouchers that are enabled that insulate your petroleum uh, right. consumption so use the vouchers and then reduce the prices of transportation I, I, th that's a more targeted targeted uh, towards yeah. helping the poor so you don't they, so you so that way you don't have the problem of scamming and people filing false taxes and you can't track numbers it becomes more convoluted at that point so look at those focused uh, opportunities but once again that, one of, that's a good one that's yeah. actually a good one yeah so one of the we have a, a talk about your the board and i'll also read up on that with the whole award and come back with a better uh discussion with you later, later, later on yeah. Oh, 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 all right. Finally, on this space, this was actually where we opened up, but I don't think we ever went there again. Uh, police break silence on alleged arrest of foreign armed dealers with helicopters in Niger. So uh, I, I only brought this story because, uh, in fact, I, I didn't even know the content of it. But when, when we were reading through it, it was brought ado about nothing. So the story went around the social media space like wildfire that uh, the police in Niger State had arrested, uh, apprehended a foreign national that was using helicopters to, to, to drop uh, uh, weaponry to bandits. But alas, it, wa it was a total fabrication. So as soon as you realize that it's a fabrication, then you start to speculate as to who comes up with this sort of storyline. So do you have any thoughts on that space, the, uh, the alarmist headline and the rebuttal by the authorities? You know, in as much as, as I want to believe the official story of the police, I'm also very aware that there have been some events that would suggest that in Nigeria in the, in the recent times. So even though even though we want to be dismissive, we also just let's just be cautionary and just be careful about dismissing these kind of stories. You know, I don't want to be like uh, the iPop thing that you meant. It was funny earlier when you were talking about iPop just telling you. <laughs> that somebody saw something in something really somewhere that was very funny but i will also not want to dismiss that as well let's just keep our eyes open and you know you know do better you know the police are covering a lot of stuff a lot of things right now i'm not saying they're lying but i'm not going to also just put my feet in, in their in their official report at the same time so it's just it's a case of me just waiting to see how this things falls apart because eventually if that is going on we're going to find that eventually but let's just wait until then. But I'm not going to buy to that it was not true or it's true. Let's just, I'm, I'm on the fence on this one. I'm very skeptical with that. Very oh, skeptical. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, thank you, Babati. So, Babati, for time, let's go on from you to Brownberry, uh, who may or may not still be with us. Uh, Brownberry, are you still there? I'm still here. Oh, right, fantastic. Thank, thank, thank you. So, so Brownberry, then to that border narrative. So, we've come up with quite a, a series of both elegant and psychedelic solutions, but <laughs> all, of, all of it are 
it's just alarming that uh, the chief of defense staff will come we have the just the bravity and audacity to come and tell you that the borders are unmanned in the space that we know that the insurgents and terrorists are coming through uh, what does that even mean Brambury? Uh, number one, I mean, in that tells you that Nigeria, I don't know if Nigeria is a country. I don't I don't know how it's being run. I mean, that's not the job of the defense, uh, the, I mean, chief of defense staff. They are not in charge of the borders. I mean, he's not the one that's come, supposed to come and tell us. I mean, we have immigration. They are in charge. They should be the one that will come and tell us what is going on. But uh, this, is what, this is where we find ourselves that uh, the, 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 the internal war, that the military are fighting internal war, they are, they are everywhere. Military are everywhere in Nigeria. In my village, they, they are there. They are there. In everywhere, they are supposed to be in, their, in the barrack. But unfortunately, we don't have security. We don't have, the police are not effective. We have, uh, 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 what's their name, uh, uh, these guys that stays on the road. Uh, is it uh, uh, the road safety? You know, over, over in, in the Western, we don't we don't have anything like road safety. The police are also road safety here in the West. You know, we don't, we cannot have road safety and also have se and also have police separately. No, the road safety, the road safety and the civil defense, or they should leave the civil defense. But the road safety and the police should, should should be one unit. We cannot have road safety and also have police. You know. That's why we don't have enough. We don't road safety. Road, the road safety people they should leave there. They, you know they should they, they should they should become the, you know they should come and become part of the police. You know of, of the police that we need. Not not them staying on the road and, and and just you know that's you know. But when it comes to manning of the of the border, it can be done technology with technology. It can it can it can be done easily. And uh, there are a lot of Nigerians that are doing a lot of great things that uh, I believe that can be done. But Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with that. We need leader, just leadership, leadership. You, you know, something that really, really irritates me about the Nigerian governance is that they mount rostrums and elegantly tell you about the problem of the country as though they were presenting breaking news or inviting you to come and solve it. Uh, so uh, imagine the chief of defense staff telling you that, uh, that, that most of the borders in the country are unmanned when we are battling insurgency and it feels as though so what what is he inviting from that comment it, it, it does not irritate you oh it, it might be i don't know is he trying to talk to the president you know the president doesn't know you know he doesn't know anything that's going on you know perhaps he's trying to talk he's trying to talk to him via the media you know but who does, does he even listen does the president even watch the tv does he even watch the news does he even read newspapers you know, this is the president that said he doesn't even know that uh, he was threatened by the uh, by the by by by, by Boko Haram. Yeah, they were going to you kidnap know? him. <laughs> yeah, like it was it was Aero fight, Aero fight that came to tell him. Yeah. I mean, so and, and additional additional will come and said, "Oh, president reads newspaper." I don't think he read newspaper. I don't think he, he watched news. Doesn't even do anything. You know, whatever they tell him, whoever meets him first, if you tell him, another person comes and tell him, you know, whoever get there first, that's what it takes. I don't know what uh, the defense minister is trying to. I mean, most of us we know what's going on in the, in, in the northern part of when, in or the border in the, the borders in the north. We know they are they are porous. We already know. I guess it's just giving us the numbers. You know, I didn't know that they are. But they are what it should be giving us is that we are we are we have deployed drones to cover that space, and we've put in some smart, um, uh, uh, very nifty aircrafts to respond. Yes. And then we have a troop at the ready to to confront. So that's what we want to hear. Not that the borders are open. What what does that? He is just a, he's a funny man. The, uh, the, 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 the truth of the matter is that uh, in during this uh, Buhari's uh, uh, regime, they 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 they've spent a lot of money on uh, on the military. They 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 spend more on the military. But procurement is the issue. Procurement. Who are buying these things? Where 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 are the money going? Is it going to uh, the pocket of uh, both the senators that are in charge of the uh, of uh, uh, I mean, uh, military? Uh, uh, those that are watching over the uh, those are the set up committee to watch over the military and the military people. They are just sharing the money. You know where? You know what are they buying? What equipment are they buying? They're supposed to be going for technology. I, I, you know, drones. You know, all uh, uh, things that you know. Things that, that should make it easy for the, 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 the men and the feed 
but we don't know what they are doing with the money. We don't know what they are doing with the money because they've, 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 they've given them loads of money, but where are the money going? Nobody knows. You, you know that under the Nigerian system, the security budget is never really audited. In Nigeria is a scam. It's just a scam. You know, that's so, why we so, need... Because they say for security reasons that, you know, you, because, because of the nature of the space. So you just give them, uh, you just give them two, three billion dollars and you say, you hope for the best that they'll use it properly. <laughs> is that not a scam? <laughs> it's, it's, okay. <laughs> it's laughable. Very. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right, let me take you to the wicked space, a never-ending saga. I, I don't think we'll ever escape Wiki until elections are concluded. But what do you think then? He said he's been to London to audition all of the front runners, but he's still not yet made a decision. Uh, but what do you think is uh, playing out in that space, Wiki uh, versus the presidential space? Wiki, Wiki is just standing on Wiki and his group. They are just standing on the South presidency. That's where they are standing on. They, you know, they are going to stand there till the election is over. So that's where they are standing on. You know, like I said, who, who to, who, who to, who, who are they going to back up? Is it Tinubu? Is it? Ah, uh, we've lost you somewhat, uh, Bramberry. I, now you've muted yourself. Unmute. Or, or, or if you need a moment, okay, let me give you a moment. It looks as though you may well need a moment. So let's go on from uh, Brownberry was is taking a moment to go on to Ajan Le Coco. Uh, uh, Ajan Le Coco, are you ready? Yeah, one man. All right, brilliant. So, so to the border space, um, uh, no surprises, but nevertheless, uh, alarming. Uh, just they just it's effectively just told us that the, the border has been thrown I, open. I think Blackberry is back. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you're Brown, Brown Berry. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was calling my phone. Uh, yeah, oh, like oh, I was yeah. saying, uh, that uh, I mean, uh, the uh, Wiki group, they are not going to back article. I think they are just there fighting for the uh, the president to come to the south in whatever way. If it's going to be OB, if it's going to be uh, Tinubu, they'll be satisfied. But. I don't but know. you are reluctant to explore that place where it's coming to in the south, uh, because I'm not <laughs> sure that Wiki uh, especially rates will be in any sense or you, manner. You, the, and, uh, at this point, it's not about rating. Does Wiki rate uh, Tinubu? There's not about rating who or rate, not rating who. Jeez. I think Wiki respects Tinubu, but I don't think he respects it or be especially. <laughs> okay, but I, I don't think that's the point right now. The point first is let the presidency come to the south. But I don't, I, I don't know if we can start, uh, uh, I mean, talking about who, who are they going to give it to. I don't think they will give it to OB. Oh, I don't think they will give it to Tinubu. Uh, you know, let's see, you know, as the campaign starts on the, I mean, uh, September 28th, and we'll begin to see, we'll begin to see where they are, the way they, who they, who they are going to align with. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, you don't want to be drawn on that space. Okay. No. Let me take you then to... Uh, uh, you are a dedicated man of fashion, yeah. as we know. Uh, but then, what is your assessment then of, of the uh, sartorial presentation of your incoming vice president? He wore the gym shoes to mock obedience. This is Reno Omokri reacting to uh, 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 Shetima's uh, attire at the law conference. So, what are you then making then of the hoo ha around this uh, Malam's dress sense? Uh, I don't think he wore it to mock uh, the obedience. I mean, we, we, I mean, yesterday you guys were talking. I mean, uh, Ovi was taking uh, was taking the uh, credit that credit. Not due him. Yeah, he was taking credit that uh, you know, you know. I mean, I think I have to align with Ovi and uh, Kulata that uh, they are just. The, I mean, if you see now since that event, we've never talked about Bolatinibu not being there. We've been talking about this uh, his attire. You know, we've never talked about Tinubu not being there. So I think they are very smart. They came up with this and said, just just go there as a clown. Let's let's see what's gonna happen. And uh, and it worked, it worked very well for them if that's what they plan. And I mean kudos to them. You know, but to say, I mean Reno is just I don't know Reno if he's if he said, you know, last time he said he was a pastor and now he's no longer a pastor. <laughs> that guy is a clown as well. So do do you do you do you think that there's a bit of a Bobrisky about uh Reno? Is there is there Reno is a confused person, uh, you know, if I if I may say because uh... do, do you find him somewhat effeminate in his mannerism? <laughs> I don't want to quote there, I don't think so. If you know the fact that he talks, 
you know, like, it talks. I mean, it talks. I don't know. What are you suggesting? Oh man! No, there, there was. A, <laughs> I saw a clip of him once that that's disturbed me ever since. I can't get. He was he was doing some dancing, and it was a sort of dancing like what you'd imagine. You know those American cheerleaders. He was dancing like that. Well, it's not dan- it, it, it was it, quite disconcerting when I saw it, it. Is it the dancing he was doing in uh, Nigeria House in, uh, in, in London? Yeah, he was doing... Uh, let, let me show you. I'm, I'm able, so, so apologies for, uh, for this. But he was doing... Let, let me... let me. He was doing this, all this hand movement. You know, he was doing all that. Yes, then, no, no. Uh, woman, uh, it's called sauce. It, 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 it was very, very, very was it calm, sauce? It very, very, very sort of camp behavior, you know. Well, sauce, I mean. yes, yeah, yes. Very sauce. <laughs> yeah, very, it's very suspicious indeed, you know. So, so yeah, but it's a, it's a funny fellow, and I don't yeah. mean funny, and, and, funny, and, very funny, peculiar, you know. And the worst part of it is, that, I mean, the uh, Shakiri people are not like this. I don't know where, it, I don't know if it's, it's I don't know. Yeah, he's one, he's person. one is like that too. He's one is like that too. Is is that, is a, is what has Reno done wrong? Because he's uh, anti OB, or what? what, what no, 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 it's not because he's anti-, anti OB. I mean, look at what he's just saying. I mean, there are some things you cannot, there are some things you don't just say, just keep your mouth. Oh, he, 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 he wore that to mock OB. I mean, he wore that to do this. I mean, there's sometimes just be decent. That guy said it himself, too. Now, Abi. Shetima said that himself, isn't it? It was it was if, if Shetima said it was after Reno said that that was that's why Shetima is not saying it. I, I think Shetima just wore that for uh for another cop, just not because of uh, obedient people at all. But Reno, Reno should just calm down and just uh, concentrate on his work. If he wants to come, he should come to Nigeria and work for and work for his principal. Cannot just be in Florida. I think he's in Florida or there, you know, just yapping from there. I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with that guy, man. I wish yeah. him all the best. Yes. Do, 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 do you think uh, Reno is delighting too much in his, uh, in his little back and forth with the obedience? Because he seems to be trolling them somewhat, and they seem to be uh, uh, taking the bait somewhat. Uh, what, what do you think he's doing with the obedience? The way to always at them all the time. I, Reno just want to be relevant. Reno just want to be relevant. He wants, to, he wants his name to always be there on the, uh, on the social media. And, but uh, is he really working for 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 t- article? I don't think so. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. He's just because I, I. I mean, if an article is not going to become the next president, so what is he going to do? Can Reno come into Nigeria? No, right now he can't come into Nigeria with a uh, Buhari's government. <laughs> they'll, they'll pick him up at the airport. I, I think even I will be more welcome in Nigeria than Reno, you know. <laughs> what, what have you yeah. done? Uh, what have you done? Uh, my, my, my mind. I, I, I think I think I think if I turn up in that country, they will shoot me from the airport. Just, uh, <laughs> you know, all of this, la- all of this funky me. language that I've been using. Malambuari, Malambuari, I'm booking from the Ora. What is new on my laptop on TV? See, I'm capturing what my nose. Ah, some of you will be popping champagne. I, I know the the Ipobians, they will be throwing a party. They say yes, and then they can't say so. That they never, 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 never. You know, those, oh God, those people they're a special breed. They're a special breed. You know, you need to be drunk. Oh my God, oh, my God man. Oh, is it because? Where am I saying that? They, oh God, man, it's it's just it's it's quite a spectacle. Well, man, just wait until you know. I remember I told you on this platform that when Obi loses, the, what, what, what would be the number one reason? It was rigged. You, you see what you see where we're going with this? No, so, I, I, I don't think that uh, there's yeah. no rig this time. I don't think that's gonna come. No, let's, that would be the excuse. That would if, be guys, it, guys, if, let's let, let, if, let, if Obi let, loses, the Southeast will not accept it. Let no guys, the guys, go, guys. Let's not hurt. You know, let's not the, the politics. Let's let's just not too hurt the politics, man. Oh, like, all right, it's already hot now. Very no, hard. you are bringing it up again. I mean, let that time come first. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's gonna happen. If it's free and fair, and Tinubu wins. Everything, I mean, everything will be fine if it's free and fair. Uh, uh, OB wins, I think we all be fine, you know. Um, whether, whether it's free or fair, do, do, you, know or fair seen, or not, do, 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 do you know that we've seen a, a rifle on this platform? I know, I, I don't even know where that guy comes from. Did, little, did you see there's, a, there's a little boy, I've seen it since. Really, uh, yeah, no, I, not a video clip that was going around, or somebody that actually came on the platform. When, when was, uh, this, this was a while back. Wow, and he was saying uh, if they don't get their way, they'll be in trouble. I have to shut him down quickly because, of course, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> where was that? Was that was that was he in the U.S. or where? 
Was it I think it, I, no, it wasn't in the US. I think it was in that Turkey sort of area. That and it um, showed his face. And it showed, it showed, face. It showed his face. Well, you, you should have taken a, 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 a screenshot now, just in case. No, no, no. I, I, I just, did, I was just quick to. I wanted it off the screen because I didn't want to trigger any YouTube, you know. So that, that and video, I didn't like the language either. That, that video was not saved for that day. The video. Uh, was uh, not. Uh, and and there, we've had instances of people that didn't show their face coming to make all manners of threats. You know, uh, it's it's a uh, yeah, they, they're just a uh, anyway. Let me not say that. But please, uh, please, uh, please, uh, please, let's just oh, be. Oh, let, oh, oh, all right, yeah. all right. Let, let, let's go on quickly from there then to a different space. Uh, British Airways to stop our travel agents uh, from paying in Naira. So uh, Nigeria is fast turning into a dollarized uh, economy. Politics run in dollars. Everything, even now, are uh, just purchases being done in dollars because this is just a purchase within a sovereign state that has its own currency and a foreign uh, 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 actor within that space is insisting that the currency of the country is not good enough. Uh, I don't think uh, Nigerian government should back down on any of these airlines. I mean, if they are not... Uh... I mean, if they can, if I mean, if if they can use our naira, we know our naira is bad. We know that, and I mean, it's just gonna be. It's a matter of time. It's gonna bounce back. Hopefully, when the when the next government comes in the in the next uh, ten months. But Nigeria is a huge market. Nigeria is a huge market, and I don't think anybody should, like we say, you know, in the local palace, nobody should make shakara for us. It's just because we have dumb leadership. I mean. And if, if you listen to uh, one RI's interview that was uh, granted recently, I mean, no, it's, I think it was, yeah, it was interview. Uh, it was talking to one uh, one guy that owned uh, an airline and another guy that is also into uh, just uh, aviation. I mean, you, if, you, if, if you listen and you can, you, you cry for Nigeria, the way these airlines are just shitting. I mean, they are, they, they are just taking, you know, defrauding Nigerians. I mean, if you, you know, if you want to go to Nigeria, the money you pay. Blueberry. It's yeah, brownberry. It's brown <laughs> brown you, you, yeah. you have been blackberry, you have been yeah. orange <laughs> berry, you have been every other berry apart from the berry on the screen. Berry is my berry. You'll be yellow berry tomorrow. Yellow berry. <laughs> my goodness me. <laughs> Nobody is deep. They are not defrauding Nigeria. It, this issue is very simple. You sell my market give me my money that is what is happening i know i know i know uh, so there uh, is nigeria that is defrauding them now they are yeah not, for for, yeah. for now for for now yeah, yeah. Well, I, I understand on, yeah. This, on this particular i think i was i was trying to deviate to another part, but let's just stay on this one and you know one of the reasons why dollars are not available in nigeria it's just because of this policy it's just because this election that is coming they are we've all hidden all the dollars you know just to pursue this election Mm. you know and it's a shame yes i i think one of the reasons why because you know uh it, it's it's just it's 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 a, it's, it's um I, I think the one of the reasons why they they do that is the dollar is easier to the bulk is not there so if you want to give somebody a million a million naira in bribe for instance all you needed to do to do is just count what five like thousand dollars five five thousand dollars from your pocket but imagine the bulk of it. So, so I think it's just for the it's for, for the, the uh, less than two thousand dollars, not five thousand dollars. Oh, it? <laughs> can you imagine? I forgot. Uh, uh, look, look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, I, I, I'm suggesting that people buy the naira. You know, because uh, in six months' time, it's going to there's going to be it's going to gain a quarter at least on international monies. But um, th there it is. As I certainly am doing that, I'm buying as much of the naira as I possibly can. Um. Uh, uh, so, so to bribe so, your way too, huh? To bribe your way as well? No, no, no be, be, because because the naira the naira now is about um eight hundred and twenty to the pound. To so the pound. Man. Yeah, but but yeah. but by the time we have uh Tinubu Atiku, it, it'll be probably be around about six hundred and something to the to to the pound. Uh, certainly, between be, by the second quarter of next year, it should be around about six hundred and something. So and what, by the so end of the next year, it will be around about five hundred, thereabout. So, what what would change that figure to that to bring it down that drastically? That? Uh, because there there be there be investor confidence that will come in once, uh, one, and, and international money will come in too, 
and proper governance will come in, policies will come in, the economy will bounce back, you know, but, but, and so uh, all of it. The, the, okay, the, okay, okay, one man, one man. We have one Oshiba man. now. We have Oshiba doing a good job right now. Forget Oshiba. One, one, Oshiba man, is not the one, president. one man, after all these things, after all these things that might have bounced back, what are we going to do to Buari? Are we just going to leave Buari like this? <laughs> Uh, Buhari will get away, but the people that I don't want to, to get away are people like Abu Bakar Malami, it will and, really and, 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 Pan, and, and Pantami, and uh, Zainab, and the... uh, Farouk Lawan. Uh, no, no, uh, Sadia Farouk. And, those, you know, those, 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 are those people can't get away. Those people can't get away. Um, uh, uh, bro, 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 what can you do to Buhari? He's 89. What, what do you want to do to him again? He's 89. Hey, Jesus, yeah. this is really terrible. These people just brought us like this. Ah, no, I've never seen anything like this. All right. Uh, 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 Babati, did you want to put something to... No, I was saying... Uh, you said, Brutai. Brutai. <laughs> Don't forget him too. Oh, yeah, Brutai. Oh, he has escaped. He needs, he needs to be dealt with. He needs to be dealt with. With all the, oh, oh, with, yeah. with all the killings, he needs to be dealt with. Oh, uh, oh my God. If you think of all the people that need to be dealt with, uh, they, they go deep, deep and long go. But Bangida needs to be dealt with as well. No, 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 no. We, we, we are talking about this. <laughs> we, I mean, but Bangida didn't bring us. They didn't bring us down like this. Now look at what happened under under seven years, man. Hmm. I mean, this is it, it, it's quite it's quite frightening. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, is. Because their wealth, their value. I think, think Babangida. We, we only need Babangida's money whenever he, he caputs, so he mm -hmm. can be paying, so we can be getting. I mean, the way we've been getting Abacha's money. So we can get Papangida's money for another 20 years. And Abu Bakr. Papangida and Abu Bakr. Money from the dead, I I don't think that's going to happen. The children, you know, they've already... Look at the eyes of Papangida. I mean, the way she's been presenting herself right now. Before you know it now... I saw her on TV today, Aisha Papangida. Before you know it now, she'll be running for the... I mean, she's very sound. I mean, she's intelligent. She'll be running for governor of Niger very soon. And it's one hand. I, I, I think I think from March next year, we, that's the last we'll see of that woman in in uh, in Nigeria. She got, she, she, she's already she arrested. She, she's already she, she's not running no, but she's just you know what what more? She, her children are in London. Her her life is in Dubai. So what business does she have with Nigeria? You know who is she, that? She, oh no no, we are not. Oh okay. I, you we, mean uh, Aisha no, no, we are talking about no, Aisha, Aisha Bambida. Bambida. Oh right. Oh 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 oh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh right. Okay. Yeah. Oh oh. It, it, it is, I think he was trying to push one of his sons into the Niger State um uh, governor governor uh governor's uh space, but I think he feels. I mean the, the 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 nerve. I mean they even have uh, this guy's son running in Kano. Abacha, Ab 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 yes. Is he, P, is he the PDP candidate? Imagine the, the, the nerve and the audacity to even come out and run in the upper office. Look at what you're saying, uh, Babati. Do you know that uh, the, uh, the our former AGF, uh, not AGF, no, um, what's his name? Uh, this um... Al Mustafa, Al Mustafa. No, Mustafa. This that guy, that just... Adeko or something like that. No, this guy that just left the uh, Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, uh, the Chief uh, Judge. Tanko uh, Mohammed. Yeah, Tanko, Tanko Mohammed. Mohammed. Two, Tanko Mohammed is two key, is two key boys are running. running for parliament and the yeah. other one are here. Yes, if, in different parties. Yes, one is APC, one is PDP. PDP. So, <laughs> do mind even the order, just in case. I... <laughs> this, the, you know why he's doing this because this is what he promised him. You know, all the dirty job he was doing for them, this is what he promised him. So, I mean, you are even talking about Abasha. Abasha's sins has been forgiven. This new, this one's that this one that just have new sins. They are not Tango even Junior, they are just you know, yeah. you know, Tango Junior. Tango, Junior. <laughs> Tango yeah. Are, are we reading anything into the fact that uh, they they replaced Tanko Mohammed with a Yoruba man? No, Tanko Mohammed. Be because the elections we we end up in the Supreme Court, though. we all we all know that. No, okay. Why 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 is Tanko Mohammed not persecuted? Why why are they not persecuting him? I mean, no, no, just... uh, no. They, they, they've um, Tanko, the, the chief justice of the federation now is a Yoruba man. I know. So I, I, I mean, I'm, but I'm, I'm, the I'm, next I'm in line. It yeah, was the next in line. line. Yeah. But Tanko Mohammed was not the next in line when they sorted him in. He yeah, was that, that's... as an interim and <laughs> then kept in. And then... Buari, can, Buari is just doing anything. It's, it's now that Buari is almost about, is about to leave. That's when he's not giving. You know, he's doing all these things. Buari is just, and he, he just, and it, whatever he wants to just do. You know, 
look at look at this Jaffa. He never knows when to give it up, man. Uh, this is Jaffa, our cousin Trouble. He says, uh, what about the what about the perpetrators of Odi and Zankin Bian massacre? Should they also get away with it? So so uh, uh, that's why I said about defending the indefensible. So, so, so there it is. Uh, so, so there it is. Uh, let me take you to one final space. I'm not sure if this is comical or not. Police break silence on alleged arrest of foreign armed dealers with helicopters in Niger. So, what are you making of that storyline? Uh, is, is, is the headline a lot of promise, but uh, ended a damn squeak? It, it's not the fake news you guys were talking about. Yes. I mean, Phobian style uh something fake news fake news is gonna bring is gonna burn nigeria one day or fake news if they don't if they don't do something about this fake news <laughs> to put that country that country will be on fire no, do but, what do a ban twitter burn no 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 i'm not i'm not no look it's not about banning twitter there are so many things that people just do they are not supposed to do okay you know what, what percentage of the news do you think is actually fake news in uh on social in Nigeria's social space, yes, in Nigerian social space, there's a lot. I mean, when it comes to this kid, when it comes to this uh, uh, uh ethnic uh, stuff, like people are killing these, these people are killing these. I mean, most of the time, it's, it's even happening from other country, and they will not put it there and say, Oh, this is happening in Nigeria. There's so many things for me. I, I believe there are so many, many things they should stop in that. You know, when people die, you know, so you know. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to deviate, but I just want to say something. When someone gets into an, an accident, you are recording this person with blood. People die on accident. You are taking the pictures. I mean, people like that should be arrested because you, you but don't. That's not you just can't Nigeria. Just I, I think that's a global phenomenon no, that it, we're it, now. Yeah. It's not. It, I mean, uh, someone that dies on an accident. You just it doesn't happen here. You just record them for what? You take that picture. You don't do that. And they do that a lot in Nigeria, and it should, it should stop when something happened. The crowd are there. I mean, look at it. Look at what happened in the in our war. I mean, the police hasn't been there. They've not condoned the place, and everybody was there, just touching everything. Just people should they should teach. I mean, you can't blame this. This is all boys to leadership. Nobody's teaching. Nobody's you know nothing. Did, did some top American um top American sportsman's wife not get uh? Some heavy compensation just uh, two days ago over that. that Kobe Is Bryant, Kobe, yeah. Kobe, yes, yeah, yeah. That they took his pictures whilst he was uh, dead or something. LAPD, LAPD, uh, one of the. Yeah. 17 million dollars. Uh, almost 17 million dollars, yeah. I mean, you can't do that. I mean, look at what happened with uh, Akun Yilis' uh, uh, husband in Anabra during that election. It wasn't even there for the election, it was just there for a lecture or something. So they, they gunned him down, and so these fools, as this man was crying, you know, and, and this they were just recording him. How I mean, we have to our uh, people. We have to. There's a lot of work to do, uh, Wama. A lot of work to do, because we 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 are still behaving as if uh, we, we are in the bush. Who do you think the greatest purveyors of our fake news is in Nigeria? Are uh, the government or the social media space? Who 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 who, who presents more? Uh, 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 fake news, would you say? It's, it's the social media space, but remember that this government came, you know, this government, is, you know, came with a lot of fake, fake news and propaganda, you know. And when the and when they are when the people they taught, they taught the people, so they started bringing it down. So they were overwhelmed, and now they are, you know, they started shouting. I mean, so there are some, you know, there was a day I now I don't forward anything before I forward, I'll go and look for, I'll go, I will go to the, I'll go, I'll go Google and try to Google the news before I forward it because. Sometimes you, they send you things, and you you say oh, you are, you say oh let me just forward it to save people. No, so most of those things are just lies. They are fake, and you join them spreading it. You know. Oh, 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 all right, thank you, uh, yeah, blue. Oh, thank, thank you, blue, <laughs> blueberry. Uh, thank you, blueberry. Thank you, blueberry. As Ajale Koka has now rebranded you. So, All right. so, 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 so let's go to uh, Aja Nikoko, as uh, uh, Igo would say, uh, and take his sounding. So Ajale Koko, you're, you're up next. And of course, we're starting you off with the Nigerian borders. Uh, but what borders is the question. Uh, Ajale Koko, uh, your thoughts? Yeah. Um, thank you, one man. 
Thanks to everybody, listeners around the world. Uh, click on the like button. Share, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, we are open border nation or open border country. Any country that have no secure border is uh, a country that we never know peace. A country that we uh, will not stop uh, having security challenges. And uh, that is what is happening to us. If we are a nation with a strong uh, uh, border security, we won't be having this insecurity that is uh, ravaging and killing us in Nigeria. Because uh, most of these uh, terrorists comes from outside the country, from um, Mali, from Niger, from Chad. A lot of them uh, have been caught. We have seen several videos, some that were caught, that, uh, uh, you know, mentioned it clearly that they are from Mali. So it's just, uh, but for that statement made by that man, um, I don't know what he's trying to achieve, but I think that information, uh, we have to um, we have to praise his courage for giving that information out. Uh, why? It be, you know, uh, come up with this inf information. We don't know. Is he frustrated with some situation that forced him to make this information? Or uh, because that information uh, sounds like uh, national security information, which should not be uh, in the public uh, domain. Uh, say national security information which will have been within the uh, security apparatuses and uh, within the the command system security command system in the country uh, particularly between the president and the legislators and other security chiefs you know those are the ones that should have handled this uh, situation better and find solution to them, but uh, because they are they are failed in all respect. Uh, maybe because of one situation, this man um, is giving out this information so that he can put pressure on some people that are not doing their job very well, or people that have neglected uh, some, uh, you know important role to play in the in securing the uh, uh the border so because i'm not sure if it is the military that are uh, in charge of the border one man do you think so i'm not no. sure if it's the military I, I i don't think it's the military but i'm i'm, I'm i i think it, the borders has to be manned by the immigration services uh, but, uh, but because of the nature of the border you'd expect like a joint task force uh, is what i suspect would be the case Yes, I think it's primarily not under the control of the military. It should be under the control of the immigration and the custom. So um, it, it is sad that those numbers you mentioned are official numbers. There are many others that are, are unofficial, that are, are not even known. Um, some other, uh, you know, uh, porous uh, uh, border lines that are not in the official records. So it is the official ones that he mentioned that uh, out of 261, they have 134 uh, not manned at all. So, so um, it is just... Um, it just tell us that uh, our leaders have failed us because the primary responsibility of uh, every responsible government is to 
um, number one, you know, is to, you know, secure the country, um, security of life and property and the welfare of the people. So uh, which one has Nigerian achieved for Nigerian people? <laughs> so they have failed. It's just unfortunate. And uh, Soli that was uh, saying the other time that, yes, we have the capability to put what do you call, what do you call it uh, to put uh, uh, cameras camera and sensors sensors and uh, uh, personnel and, uh, and um, was it was that thing flying on the air what did they call it uh, drones uh, drones yes i mean this is the way nations that are progressing in the world listen that take the security of their people and their country uh, uh, important. This is what they do to secure their border. Why must we be living behind? Why must we be behind all the time? Why must we be living in, in the past? What kind of country is that? Sometimes you just see what is happening in that country. You just get frustrated. Sometimes you don't even want to identify yourself with that country. You just feel that even Lou Lele, let me just abandon, let, 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 forget about it and just have peace of mind. How can we be alive and seeing our people being killed every day in the north, all over the north, and some part of the west, I mean, uh, the south, but all over the north? Why? And they have leaders, elected leaders. This is, uh, it is, it is uh, pathetic. But what that man is trying to achieve, I don't know. It seems to me that the, uh, that information is a national security information which should not be out there. Uh, I don't know whether he knows the implication of what he's doing. Maybe he knows it, but he's doing it for a purpose to achieve uh selling things if we have people that are really representing us with this information that this man has given out there the legislators need to invite him and others in the security or others uh, like uh, the immigration they need to invite them to uh, a, a committee hearing in the national assembly you know, uh, maybe they want to make it open or behind the door to know why do we have so much borderlines that are open, that are so porous without nobody. So anybody can just come into our country. They can come in. Some people can commit crime and go back to their country. Like you said earlier, one man, that we have 1,000 miles or kilometers uh, of uh, you know, a um, uh, 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 borderline with the public of Niger. The same we have maybe like 300 with uh, uh, Shad and uh, almost 800 with, uh, uh, you know, Cameroon. Cameroon. And why can't we just have, and all of those are just so porous. People can just come in, commit crime. They will kill people, you know, um, you know, kidnap people take some ransom and go back to their country. In fact, there are information that, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 that, that, that in the, uh, uh, there, there are some information that came in recently that in, in some part of uh, 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 Niger, some people are building, you know, fantastic houses and they don't know where they are getting the money from. And, some um, some people are saying th th those people are those that are the uh, um, how do I say it? The, those the, the, the kinsmen, yeah, the kinsmen, the, the terrorist kinsmen. The so much money they are making from Nigeria, they are using it to go and develop, uh, uh, you know, housing estates and uh, um, uh, uh, properties in, uh, in 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 Chad and in Niger. You know, so, but 
it, it's a it's an information when, that when, uh, when, when did you come across that story is this something that's what uh, that we should explore um I, I was listening to a program and um yeah i, I heard it that um, there are some um security information that um, uh, 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 in Niger, some areas, um, some people are building some, and they don't know where they're getting, who are they, where did they make the money? They said the investigation is, is ongoing on uh, those uh, people right now, but they suspected that uh, they might be the kinsmen behind the, uh, the um, maybe terrorist activity or the uh, kidnapping in Nigeria. So it's, uh, I just overheard it. I didn't have uh, detail, you oh, know. Oh, all right. Yeah, facts that uh, information, but I, I had it on a program. Some people are saying it. So, yeah. So it's a fortunate one, man. But uh, let's see. Let's wait. Maybe they're going to take action after this man have done giving out this information. It, that information is uh, good for us, but it's not good for the national security of Nigeria. Uh, that's the way I see it. Because that just adds to more difficulty for the, the bandits to come in easily. If we have proper borders, then they have to negotiate the borders to come in. Then they have to negotiate the borders to get out. And then in the process of negotiating that border, they have to, they cannot move in the mass and at, at, at ease. It just, it, it, you know, that's the first line of defense, isn't it? it it's just busy. I know this, and I'm not even a military guy. But one man, the question we have to ask, uh, I don't know in that report if that man mentioned any part of the, did he mention any part in the south that are so porous or did he just mention only in the north? Uh, let me just give it to you again. Uh, it's a short read. It says uh, 137 borders in Nigeria are unguarded. Chief of Defense Staff Loki uh, Irabo. Uh, Loki Irabo, the Chief of Defense Staff, has said that uh, 137 out of 261 borders in the northeast and northwest regions of the country are unguarded. Delivering a lecture on security, defense, and development in Nigeria at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs in Lagos on Thursday, August the 25th, Irabo noted that porous nature, Irabo noted that porous nature of the borders has made it easily, easily accessible for terrorists and bandits to enter the country to commit mayhem. He said, our borders are largely unmanned. The penetrability of our vast unmanned land areas, the northeast and northwest zones are particularly Bono, Yobe, Sokoto, Zamfara, Katsina states, with neighboring countries such as Niger Republic and Chad, amongst others, has continued to be a key source of criminality and violent crimes in those parts of the country. So, so, so he's, he's quite specific, even narrowing it down to the states. So, one man, what I want to conclude here is that, um, or rather, um, we'll conclude that it, that, um uh, 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 could, could we conclude that uh, for that country to leave those borderline open could we conclude that is deliberate you mean on because the part of, or the part of those countries as well yeah could 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 it be deliberate by nigeria state or by the northerner, northern leadership, so that some people from Niger that look like them in the north can come into Nigeria at ease, add up to the population, and uh, you know help to boost the population of the northern of the of 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 of, of, of northern Nigeria. Why are we not having I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's as um, uh, um in, in my own view, I should say, I, I don't think it's as deep as that. I think it's uh, I think it's just more a cultural thing. I think um because if you look at the borders in the north, it, it can come through like a village, for instance, or a community or a township. 
that has historically traditionally been the same people and they don't really recognize that uh, they should be separate from their people just because of some artificial border uh, put in place by some European. So I think it's more a cultural thing that doesn't recognize the border than uh, some um, grand conspiracy. The same thing happened to us in Yoruba land. Yeah, but we are not so civilized. No, no. Why yeah. our own people, why, why did they man our own with strong and uh, um, uh, 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 every um, uh, measure to control that border? Why is it on down here in the south? Why not in the, in this, in the north? Why not in the north? I mean, we are two different nations. They have been, they have caught us away for a very long time, for for centuries. What are we talking about? Why not? The, why not leave the butter poles here so that my own people in Kutoni, in Ketu uh, me, 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 uh, 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 area of Kutonu, they can have easy access to come here and you know just come in and out the way they like. Why are they? Why do they have control? in the south here and they cannot do the same in the north it looks deliberate to me and this is what has caused this country killing of the people massacre of the people destruction of villages destruction of our our our, our, our wealth destruction of i mean this is this is security problem is killing this country. If we cannot handle it now, we might not have nation again. That are we do we have to pay for this nonsense that some people deliberately did? Do we all have to lose our country, succumb this country because of some? Some 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 people that fit for no purpose because of one reason or the other for tribal reason, sentiment of you know satisfying their own um, 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 uh, 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 tribal interests. So the country have to go because of that. It, it's just it's just this is just this is it. It looks to me as deliberate. These uncontrolled borders all over the north, it looked deliberate to me so that they can add more to the population and to use that to say, oh, we have more population than them. And that can be used to suck more resources of the state for, 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 for their own part of the north, uh, or their own part of the country and be galvanizing that, oh, uh, gallivanting around and boasting around that we have more population than them. That is it. That's the way it looks to me. In one man. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, brilliant. So, Adele Koko, let me take you to the wiki space. Uh, a, a brief commentary on this, uh, and then I start to round off. Uh, it says, uh, why I met Atiku Obasanjo Tenobu. So, this is wiki uh, still trying to hold that spot, and he seems to be on a grand plan that is going to unfurl uh, in the fullness of time. Uh, so it's by process of elimination that uh, one can land on where his intentions are. So the people that he auditioned uh, 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 are 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 uh, are Peter Obi, of course, uh, his own principal Atiku Abubaka and uh, and Tinubu, who was the first to show his purse. So uh, we get still on that journey. But where do you think his destination will be, uh, uh, Ajahn Lekoko? Uh, let me tell you one man. Look, uh, Wike is doing what he got to do. Uh, PDP leadership, uh, particularly those from the north, are not uh, helping the situation at all. And when I mean those from the north, number one of them is Atiku Abubakar. He is the most elderly. He is the most experienced. And I will expect him as the leader of them all in that party. He is the leader of everybody in that party. 
I expected him to have acted maturely and, uh, uh, you know, and bring everybody together. But I don't know what is wrong with him. I don't know why he allowed this thing to fester uh, to this point where the party is looking like uh, the party is uh, uh, look like the party is uh, moving towards uh, disintegration. Is is Atiku allow gave Wiki and his group the momentum they are enjoying now. Wiki and his group, and now they now look as a factor that will determine who will be the president in the Nigerian, Nigeria now. Every group, everybody wants them on their side. APC want them or be looking for, for them. So it's caused by Atiku. I mean, wh what is it? And if Atiku and his group in the party cannot manage crisis within the party, that tells me that that man will not be able to manage Nigeria well if he becomes the president of Nigeria. Because this is the same nonsense that APC was doing, and we have seen what they have given to us in that country. Total destruction. That is what they give us on all fronts. Everything you want to talk about. Security, failure, economy, failure, and um, uh, 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 what else? Uh, Anti-corruption. Uh, they are the worst looter ever in the history of that country. So the same thing Atiku is, is, is demonstrating now. It, and that is why Wike and his, they, his group must fight him to the, they have to restructure the leadership of that country. And that will tell me that once that is done, that is the same thing is going to replicate when they get to the gov position of, of governance, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will share the, the, the um, uh, uh, all positions that matters in the country equitably and you know it, 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 with with fairness and in such a way that you know everybody will have sense of belonging. But the party already, the party that want to govern, have a lot of uh, um, uh, 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 irregularities in it already. Now, how can they govern well? So it, it, it's we should not stop. They should they should continue the struggle until Atiku and his group do the right thing. They need Wiki more than Wiki needs them. If Atiku that want to be president, if Atiku should fail now, I am telling you one man: if PDP should fail and cannot win the presidency, that will be the end of PDP. We cannot hear PCP again. After all. The same fight that Wiki is fighting now, the same thing that Atiku and his group fought against Jonathan back then, that it is the turn for the North to have the presidency. Jonathan, with his greed back then, did not want to let it go to the North. He was trying to hold on to it. And Atiku and his group disagreed. They fought to the ground and went to form APC with the Balantinugu and them. They are the ones that want the election for APC. If Atiku, if Tambua, if, um, 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 uh, what do you call him? Um, uh, um, uh, 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 what's the name of that guy from Kwara State? Um, uh, uh, Saraki. Saraki. Uh, 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 and some others. Um, um, uh, 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 um, and some others from, from the North. If all of them did not go to APC, maybe it would have been a different. Maybe Buhari wouldn't have won. But they left because of the interest they are of, of the North they are fighting for. So it is time for the interest of the South as well. So we pay and this group to stand up and fight it to the ground. You can't have a party that is all dominated, all the important position, all strategic position in the, in the party, all that matters are all dominated by the North. No, you can't have it. One in Latin cash already, charity begins at home. When you don't organize your party 
structure well, leadership structure well, so you are going to do when you get to government, the position of uh, 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 power. So the, the, we, we, UK is the man of the time, and uh, let them continue the struggle. It doesn't matter. Let them break the party into pieces if it got to, because the party, all these two parties, do they fit for any purpose for us? Let them break them into pieces and, um, you know, and look for another way. If 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 PDP is not good anymore for fairness, for justice, for equity, then what is it that we have to stick, they have to stick their head in it? I mean, look at the rotation. How long will they continue to sacrifice for the party and sacrifice for the Northern interest in that party? The rotational presidency in this constitution of the party that was jettisoned is because of it, it was done for the interest of the North. Just for the article or the Northern to become and they jettison it for article. Why? And this chairman of the party said openly, he was not forced, he was not pressured. He said it before even the primary, before the presidential primary in the party that if the Northerner, you know, um, uh, uh, emerges as the presidential candidate, I will step down. That, that statement is very clear. I have the video, I watched the video. He said it clearly. And that was during the time they were fighting over the, um, uh, what do you call it, the rotational presidency. He met the leaders and in the, in the Abuja, in the meeting of National Executive Council with other members, the leaders of, he said it clearly, if Northern should emerge, emerges as the presidential candidate, how we step down. Now, another now already emerged. Why don't you want to step down? So you just tell me that they are not truthful, they are not honest, and they, they have a particular agenda they are pursuing, and the, 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 the other side of the country, the wicked and their group should stand up against them and fight them to the ground. If the party want to be rocked down and, 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 and to a state of non-existent, let them fight it down. And that, that will help our democracy to grow. Another party will spring up and uh, um, it will teach politicians, this criminal and fraudulent commission some lessons. So that's the way I see it. We can should continue the struggle and this group and uh, we hope that we achieve. But I know that Article wants him Let's see what Atiku is going to do. They still have time. And I believe the Wiki and the group too, they love the party, but they're just looking for justice, equity, and fairness in the party for the interest of everybody. That is what they are, they, 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 they are, they are fighting for. They are not fighting for uh, selfish interest. They are fighting for the interest of everybody in that party, for, for the parties to come up stronger and, 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 and go uh, you know, um, uh, forcefully into election and win the election for the betterment of their uh, all all the members. We can sacrifice so much. He, 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 when when Atiku and the rest of them run away, the party will have collapsed. If not, Wiki and the group that and his group that were funding were standing by each other and doing everything to keep the party together. Well, that's a matter of past now. But at the same time, fairness, equity, justice must be the worst words. Uh, uh, what was in the uh, in, in the party uh, in the in the operational uh, 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 you know um, uh, as as operational base of the party? That's the way I see it, one more. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Well put. So thank you, Daniel Koko. So uh, uh, we, we seem to start to round off here. We are headed towards that uh, uh, that that six hour space again that we promised not to go to. Uh, but to land on Daniel Koko, of course. Uh, what piece joins us laterally, but uh, I'm not sure if it, even if he's still with us. But um, uh, let, nevertheless, he cannot turn up, and we're not here from him. So what piece um, yeah. uh, uh, is really just uh, is a hello and goodbye. So when the uh, closing uh, closing remark phase. So just a quick word from you, uh, what piece? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you, everybody. and all that. Uh, I was only in the comment session uh, just to be chatting and saying because i cannot see conversation if i don't come into the uh the show even though i'm not in the panelist 
So, so that's why I was there. I got your message, one man. It's okay, thanks. Anyway, my country people, don't reach the final hour. I'm gonna click, like, share the button. I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna get to PVC, I'm gonna vote on a candidate, I'm gonna vote on a, on a choice. I like what we think we could do, we could fight for the South right now. Because for that PDP chairman, I think we could say maybe they give out to fire or say something like that, so that make the South get relevance for the party structure. Because for Article win like this, we are done. Just like we are put for APC. That's why I say Amo. Thanks. I'll see you oh, again tomorrow morning. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, thank you, World Peace. So thank you, World Peace. So from World Peace, let's go to the elegant Babati. Babati, that I'm about to tell you again. Babati, uh, 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 you've not gone to relate to the fridge again, have you, Babati? Uh, the chicken lead now, go Basoro. Look at that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Babati. <laughs> eh? Babati. Oh, the Lord Jesse. Oh, the Lord Jesse. Look at that. All right. So, so uh, you were there in the comment chatting section. Yeah, just that's now. it. The comment uh, section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look eh? at that. Eh? Ah. I uh, bought him uh, Wallace in Uyarani. Uh, well, Weekend, uh, uh, All right, Babati. E enjoy. So, so from, Babati, <laughs> so from Babati, we go to our our statistics man, uh, Kulata, the final word. Uh, the, your closing remarks, brother. Closing remarks. Uh, so, yeah. first of all, everybody share, share, like, and subscribe the, the very, very best platform on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, so, like, Glad to kind of like share our thoughts, our ideas, whether wrong or right. It doesn't really matter. At least we share them. And uh, as we move towards the election, like Thomas will say, vote your vote your candidate and make sure you vote for the South. South Locon. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Ah, hey, 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 <laughs> at, la at last, at last we, we know where he is. So you can try to hide like well, some neutral guy. But South, 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 but a man that wants uh, every poor man in Nigeria to become a rich man, of course, the uh, socially conscious Ajahn Le Koko, the mighty one. Thank you, one man. Uh, thanks to everybody that came on the platform this evening. Uh, your contribution was quite meaningful. Come back tomorrow uh, and do another round as uh, one man will bring uh, uh, the news, new round of news to us tomorrow. So let's join him and do it again. Uh, those in the commentary section, thank you all, uh, and thank all of you, brothers Alexander Gomez, thank you, Akashi, thank you, Jaffa. Jaffa is saying that we don't have a land border in the south. Ah, oh my god, he said only maritime border that we have. Ah, hey, hey, okay, I heard you. But, so uh, Jaffa has never been past Quara. He doesn't even know. He thinks Lagos is somewhere. He thinks Lagos is somewhere in Germany, and he, and and he thinks he thinks it's bad. It's a, it's a some sort of delicacy. He thinks it's a food. Yeah. He said we don't have yeah. land border. From, from only land border. to America. Only in the north they have land border. He, he, he has never been beyond uh, Quara. The guy. Okay. So, <laughs> are you done? Uh, thank you. Um, or Gadi Master, I think I saw my sister Bongsma. So, uh, KU's eight, thank you, RB, thank you all. So, you guys, you are the strength of the platform. Come back tomorrow and uh, do what you know to do best. And uh, our listeners, we are rounding down, we are rounding up. Please click on the like button if you have not done so, do it now. Share, subscribe as well. And to one man, uh, the greatest thanks to you uh, for bringing us together again. We have done it well again. So tomorrow, bring us another round of uh, news from that uh, uh, country called Nigeria. And I guarantee you, Kulata, Rational Mind, me, every other person 
Baba T, we shall all join you to trash it out and continue the struggle from there. Thank you, one man. See you tomorrow. And you have a good weekend. Thank you. Oh, all right, brilliant. Thank you, Daniel Koko. So it looks as though Babati has woken up from his, uh, I was going to say slumber, but then that might well come across the wrong way. So let's hear Babati's uh, closing remarks. Uh, this, mu this must not happen again, you know, because after Daniel Koko speaks, we should not really hear anyone anymore. But you know, oh, Babati, my best uh, 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 Look at uh, that. Special uh, to you from, uh, 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 from, uh, from, from, from Jaffa. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if they even need Suya in the north. We have to ask Jaffa. Maybe it's just something they feed us in the We eat it yeah? most here yeah, in the south. Uh, uh, we uh, like it like crazy. They don't even eat meat in the in the in the in the north because they consider they consider their cows some sort of gods. I think yeah. Yeah, I, I, that, that that is very true because I, I remember when I first went back from after seventeen years, the very first thing I wanted to eat at the airport. I'm like. Get me suya right now. I don't. If we stop on you, I want suya. That was the first thing I wanted. I prayed for. So that, that is true. We love suya down south. But I, 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 in my closing submission, I, I wanted to plug in something. Um, uh, we got together with uh, UI, uh, some doctors of ours, some cardiologists, and we are doing what we call medical herbalism. So because the issue we have with, with uh, people taking like book is that they have dosing issues. So they come back with liver kidney damage. So what we've encouraged is to have them uh, do some lab testing for their kidney function before they start taking it. So we have a friend of ours that's actually doing his PhD in pharmacy right now, and he's going to do a paper research on clubhouse. We are bringing in a one test in Namawa, and we live with Namawa and Be. So pharmacists will be there, doctors will be there. Kind of, so we are coming together to actually narrow this thing down and to you know integrate uh uh bar herbal medicine to other doctor medicine so that's what we are we are planning to do together so if you, if you don't mind joining us on, on clubhouse and just come listen and learn something and uh, hopefully is, is there a link for it um uh, yeah. that we can uh, share in the comment section uh, uh yeah i'm seeing you to this clubhouse thing, so uh, let me see if i can get it uh, uh, or, 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 all right, or, or get it for next time. We're, we're on twice tomorrow. So wh when is it? When is it taking place? Oh, uh, we're gonna do the first one. Will be on the first one will be on um, September seventh. So, but the, the the second one will be on uh, September ninth. But the, the ninth one is more of I don't know. People are not comfortable with you know. I mean, to you fast the kind of stuff. So the first one is more a little bit more on the pharma uh, the pharmacy part. The second part is more of integrating IFA into part of uh, healthcare as well. So if you are not into that one, don't show up. But the first one is on the seventh, seventh and the ninth. All right. Oh, 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 all right. So uh, try and get uh, more details for for next time you you do turn up uh, because uh, we might well have people who are uh, interested to come and uh, learn some more. I know I certainly am. Uh, so so that's Babati bringing us uh, information pertinent to uh, matters of health. Uh, um, Baba, a uh, health professional. So, so thank you, Baba T, and uh, thank you, Ajahn Koko, and thank you, one and all. Uh, so, when we set up the the session, we did set a target of two, of fifty new subscribers, and and I should have been pushing that all the way through, uh, but uh, it just skipped my mind. But uh, that that target, but but we, but when I set it off, we had a, a rush of it, but not sufficient enough of it. So, uh, we're still setting uh, because in the course. In the course of every session, we'll be setting our benchmarks, uh, but uh, and that's left to you, of course, whether we hit those benchmarks or not. So, so the the benchmark, the target uh, for for this session is still there: fifty new subscribers. So, if you're not already subscribed and you want us to, uh, by way of encouragement, uh, help us uh, hit that target for today, uh, then they'll click on the subscribe button. And click on the like button, of course, that, that you should be doing as a matter of routine. So as soon as you're coming into the session, just click on the like. Unless you are viscerally opposed to clicking on the like button, then it doesn't really cost you anything to do that. And it does add on to uh, propelling the platform. So click on the like button unless it actually really to the core offends you not to do that. And click on the subscribe button as well. Uh, for reasons that we're setting targets, 
which I'm sure you would like to see us achieve. So do all that. Then, haven't done all that, come join me in the comment section where, as you know, the conversation never stops. So I leave you here. Carry conversation with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.